How about that? Here we go. That was a ride. That was indeed. Oh my goodness. We're back at it again. The redemption bracket is over. We're back to the top 64. That's exciting. Yes. Get excited, everyone. Um, so for those who have just joined, my name's Kaiser. Yeah, my name's Oleg. Yes. Uh, here we go. Let's get into it. So we've got the top 64 here. We've, uh, we've had the entirety of yesterday. Saturday's done. Saturday's yesterday. Uh, and now we're here Sunday. This is when uh, we've separated, you know, the, uh, the godlike players from the slightly less godlike players. We've got the top 64 cooking right now. We've got Ray's sitting down against I'm 23, bro. Yeah. He's uh, eating a bag of something there. He's, uh, it's, his, it's a special game of fuel. Sean, uh, Sean, a.k.a. I'm 23, bro, bro is a uh, really highly talented guy who I haven't seen in a long bloody time. Rob Main. Um, got a real good talent for Smash, but just hasn't been playing that much. Uh, hasn't been coming out, but, you know, it's the big cheese. How could you miss it? There you go. And it, the, the first thing we see coming out from him is, uh, is him calling himself uh, your mum. So what a, what a great way to start it. Uh, it's better than his other tag, which was probably not a great thing for an all ages stream. But, uh, <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah. Yeah. Never mind. Oh, gosh. All righty. Use your imagination and uh, you can probably work out what it could or couldn't be. <laughs> Now, uh, meanwhile, we've got Ray's on the other side here. We've got a, we're going to have a uh, Link slash Pit slash you know Dark Pit player. Yes. Uh, and what a what a phenomenal play player is we've seen out of him so far, in, both in doubles and also uh, in his singles run yesterday. Yep. Now, uh, I think it's really going to be. I mean, we're winners side here. I'd like to see what um, I'm 23 Bro can do. Mm. Um, they're getting the rock off started, but I would say that definitely it's, it's certainly raised favoured from the outset, just based on you know the strength of his uh, you know position in Victoria. Probably he's been playing a hell of a lot more, but uh, yeah, we could see some surprises. Yeah, absolutely. And I mean, th that's actually what I'm really, really excited for in this in this position here. Both top 64, all the way up to the top 32 as well. I think this is really where some of the biggest upsets are going to happen. Yeah. So uh, I think if anyone's you know if anyone's watching right now, got to make sure everyone stays tuned. Yep. Because so uh, this is the exciting part. Looks like we're about to go in. So let's have a quick cheers. And oh. uh, here's the game one of Top 64. Cheers. Let's get it done. Here we go. Oof. All right. I'm very, very excited. All right. We got Ray's Rob versus Link. Here yep. we go. All right. So we saw yesterday in the doubles matches, we saw uh, Ray's was kind of hesitant to go onto the Link there. I believe it's due to mainly, you know, due to his setups. But uh, I think now that he's got just a, just one other opponent to worry about, I think he's really going to start going pretty crazy. And already... Super aggressive start. Indeed, 31% already in uh, in just a span of eight seconds. Good grab, but a real quick mash out there from Ray's. Now, obviously, everyone's seen uh, everyone who's anyone has seen the Ray's Twitter combos as well. These are uh, these are the ones that are known the world uh, the world around. Uh, so it's pretty pretty crazy. Uh, and so I'm really fascinated to see. Oh, there we go! Whoa. Wow, that's the Robble right there. The down tilt into the up smash. Jeez Louise! Already the the damage actually completely reversing. Now Ray's at the uh, very much in the bottom. Whoa, that is some really aggressive stuff there by 23. I'm really liking this. Getting the down throw. What's he going to go for? Yep, up tilt and to up air. The up That's air. the first stop. Wow. And he raises his fist in victory. Look at that. Local boys are getting excited for their man. But let's see if Raids can take it back. Let's see indeed. What's up? Oh, he's just going to... No, he's coming back. All right, nice rising up with that up air as well. There you go. Yep, faking out the uh, switch to the other side of the stage. Let's see. Some of the tempo of 23 has just gone off a little bit. Oh, and he takes that bomb. Oh, he's stolen the bomb. He's like, nah, look, that's mine, buddy. You're not having that back. All right, all right. nice. Using that, uh, using a little bit of time there where Link was pulling out his bomb to go all aggressive. Go kind of ham. 43% on him. And here it comes, the real shield oh, pressure. Gracious. This is scary stuff. And going up and underneath, faking out. I love the double back air just to take it back to the original side. Absolutely, yeah. That hero spin, that's, uh, there's no slash there. Just because hero's banned here, it doesn't mean that Link can't try his best. There we go, that net barely uh, barely missing the combo into the uh, the hero spin as well. Oh, oh, just missing. There he goes, the here. rocket man is at it again. He's out of yeah. He's out of fuel. <laughs> oh, <laughs> out of fuel and way too high. Yeah, hate to see it happen. What a, what a tragedy. <laughs> yeah, ran out of fuel. Oh goodness gracious. All right, but uh, still got a got a fifty, you know, twenty odd percent lead. Uh, meanwhile, raise. Oh, okay. Look at that. Twenty three. Just getting those uh, great combos into the forward tilt too. Excellent oh my goodness. There. Down to it. Ooh. Uh. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm not too sure what was going to be gained there, but I suppose holding 
the smash was just as good as letting it go absolutely. at that just point. The absolute patience as well from both players. Just and uh, uh, 23 just thinking to himself, I have made a terrible mistake. <laughs> really just reflect upon your actions. Uh, right. Down throw. Oh, okay. Going for something different there with the back air, but kind of gets punished for it. Yeah, it doesn't work out for him, unfortunately. Oh, wow. Just nicks him. Oh, no. Oh, here oh no. With the up B. Yes. Oh, my goodness. What we a reversal. We were talking about it. We were talking about it, and he's showing this isn't just some fancy Twitter combo. This is for sets. Yeah, this isn't This isn't just training mode that I'm doing this in. Oh, my gosh. Nice. There we go. Just Z dropping the bomb. Just leaving that. There's just a latent bit of pressure there on his shield. Because like, what can you do? He can just blow. There we go. The laser actually blowing up the bomb for him as well. Yeah, I feel like Raze has found his way in this game now that uh, 23 has played a lot more patient now. He was, he was very aggressive in the beginning. It seemed to be work, working more for him. Oh, wow. Okay, straight from center stage. All right, 60% deficit right now. It's going to be pretty difficult for, uh, for 23 to be bringing this one back after what seemed like a pretty commanding start. Okay, nice landing with the neutral air. Doesn't really get anything out of it, though. Nice. Beating out that boomerang as well doesn't actually get uh, doesn't get knocked out of his combo there. Oh, okay. Getting that full forward air. The bomb is is going on its little reading rainbow there. Oh, nice. He's still at his jump as well, so we can kind of just surprise Raze by showing up on the platform. Ooh. Yeah, I think oh, that was... Oh, no. Unfortunate. Misses the tech there. Yeah. I really don't think he was expecting to even get hit by that, I think considering how low down he was. But uh, he, he gets sent straight back into the stage and gets knocked down to the blast zone, unfortunately. So Raze takes game number one. Yep, yep. 23 sh showing is no slouch, but he's definitely got to, I guess, adapt more to the, the link play. Uh, Raze just perhaps himself not expecting such a, a strong start from 23. And then really taking his time to, to find a, a way through. And yeah, he, he took it back in confidence. Absolutely, yeah. It was a yeah, pretty, pretty commanding uh, comeback there from Raze. Uh, and so this is going to be going into game number two. Now, I believe we are at the top 64. I don't believe this is going to be a best of five yet. Um, so, uh, like, surely still got not. a way to go. Still yeah. got a way to go. So, uh, this could be for all the marbles uh, for uh, I'm 23 Bros winner's side uh, life here. So, let's see. And stage pick, very important. Very important. At this Absolutely. What, what is he going to have as an option? Oh, he's going random. All right. So, smash yeah, sure. yeah. So, uh, interesting pick there. Let's, uh, we're going for something which is going to be quite a, quite a small option. Uh, so, especially with a character who's got such, uh, I guess, zoning and also just such stage control as Link, uh, I guess Rob may, might just try to, you know, maybe out stage control him with his uh, with his gyro and his lasers. Yep, the openings for both players. Yep, gyro, but Ray's ready for it. Just coming yeah. in with the aerial. And again, just a, a completely equal opening to the, la the last game, actually, as well. Just uh, completely ignoring any projectiles that Rob might have and just going straight for the four days. Yeah. You can see 23 is kind of misspacing and just uh, jumping in with his neutral. He's been punished for it a couple of times. Oh my god. Down right. there, trying for something a little bit cute at the beginning. Yeah. Now, one thing that's interesting about Link as well is the fact that he falls incredibly fast. Uh, and I think he can kind of almost accelerate it as well. Oh no. Uh, thank goodness. All right. I'm um, 23, bro. Uh, surviving by the skin of his, uh, his, you know, little metal teeth there. Uh, but meanwhile, yeah, Raze and Link as well. An incredibly fast forward, just landing straight into him with a neutral, uh, you know, just, just neutral air straight into the up A. Yep. Crazy stuff. Alright. Alright, interesting that neutral air doesn't actually explode the bomb. Uh, so even despite the fact that it does have, I would assume, fire properties, uh, the bomb is still unexploded. Yep. You can see, once again, doing the up throw onto the platform into a couple of forward airs that time. Rather than just the one. Still a bit to get Link to kill percent, but getting off stage is good. There oh, it is. That's exactly what he wants. Yeah, straight downwards, and I think that's actually the advantage of Smashville, having those pretty skinny edges there compared to other stages like uh, like Final Destination or even uh, Battlefield 2. You've got these yeah. incredibly small edges. Just those oh up tilts on the platform, really good. Yeah, juggling both Link and the bomb. In this projectile, oh, coming back with the, the side B. In this projectile game, I feel like Gyro is great, but just the sustainability of Link's bomb is is actually quite good for Link. Yeah, I would say it's definitely a much stronger uh, ledge, you know, I guess just a pressure tool, uh, just because of the fact that it can sit there and it's not really going to just disappear after a while, unlike the Gyro, which will eventually run out of steam. Yes. All right. First forward smash throw out. Gyro on the edge, and wow, reading the roll in, it's not enough percent to kill. But it sure as hell is sending a message. 
Oh, yeah. there we go. Using the bomb as a jab lock there, or essentially as a lock, keeping him on the ground, going straight for the forward smash. Yeah, that's, uh, that's a lot of character knowledge there by Raze, and that's exactly why he's in the top 64. Now also looking for a jab lock. Yes. Oh, but going for the down air instead. Excellent timing there. He's got the second of them. And that's a bit of the uh, weakness with Link's recovery on that. It can be incredibly exploitable, uh, unless he's maybe got that bomb recovery. And even then, it's still somewhat, uh, somewhat difficult to get back on stage. Right, Ray's quickly throwing away the bomb, realizing he's not really going to have too much of an option, considering how much pressure on 23 is actually keeping up here. There's but the bomb uh, there again, right at the edge. And you can see it just creates that difficulty. Nice, I, I like that. He's using that bomb and juggling it, basically just trying to keep a, a, like a I guess, a lasting hitbox to try and knock somebody away. Down Good option there with the tilt. down tilt. It looks a lot more punishable than it is. Oh uh, no, rolling behind the hero spin doesn't actually uh, doesn't work out though. Getting across with that up tilt. Goodness gracious, that, that Z drop into the forward yeah, air. Oh, he's done for. It. There we go. That's a 2 0. Look at that. All right, Ray's uh, showing those Twitter combos out in full force. You think it's just training mode, and then he does that in top 64 of Big Cheese 2. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my Beware. goodness. Beware. Anyone who's coming in the path of Ray's has just got to be ready for it because this is, like I said, this isn't just a lot of the times we see these Twitter combos, see, okay, yeah, yeah, very nice, very nice. This is it. This is the proof in the pudding. And yeah. I mean, certainly Rob, an easier character perhaps to do it on, but... Uh, Fair enough. Yeah. Admittedly, Rob is always the one that uh, a lot of people are doing their combos on. It's just because he seems like such a, a mix between a relatively, you know, he's somewhat heavy, but he's also very, very easy to combo. Yeah, a big hurt box. A big, exactly a big right. Big robot of a hurt box. Yeah, and uh, so unfortunately, uh, 23 being sent down to uh, lose the side. Yep. Ray's uh, continuing his tear on winner's side still. I feel like uh, 23's got uh, uh, quite a few more wins, maybe through losers, uh, you know, in his up his sleeve. But, Absolutely. Uh, yeah, we'll have to follow everyone's journey. We're going to go to our next winners game, which uh, is being teed up for us as we speak. And meanwhile, big shout out to, to Fumble there as well, the man in there with the long hair and the beard. He's just dancing around his little Bowser Jr. I love it. Yeah, yeah. Look at him. Look how look how happy he is. It's uh, it's absolutely beautiful. Uh, all right. Now, meanwhile, we've got we've already got a bit of a crowd here. Obviously, there are going to be a lot of other top 64 games happening, so I think there are going to be a lot of people looking at a lot of different screens. Yes. But uh, the main one to watch is obviously going to be right in front of your own eyes, right here. Yeah. This is where you got to perform. This is where the pressure is. So, uh, yeah. I mean, we'll have to see who comes up next. Right, let's let's take a look. Oh, I think There's the, some discussion you know, about, about who's coming. Be. Up. But uh. Coming back to this, so we've got top 32, top 8. Again, we've talked about some of the threats that have been uh, in the mix here. Oh. I am really curious to see what our top 8 looks like. Oh, here we are. Here we go. It's going to be Shadru sitting down. Yep, and we've got our boy Taicho from South Australia on the left of the screen. Fantastic. All right, let's get it done. So, yeah, it looks like we've got a Ken... Uh, Greninja, you know, we've got the different martial arts, but Taicho really, he uh, doesn't have any Kens or Ryus, anything like that in the scene to really practice against, so I think he's going to have to rely on really his, his raw brute skill. Absolutely. Um, Shadow, on the other hand, I'm not too sure whether he gets uh, much Greninja practice. Yeah, I feel like, uh, I, I think it's it's always, yeah, always very difficult as well. When you've got when you've got a character like Ken as well, I think it's just, you know, you give him an opening, you, you give him an inch and he, and he runs a mile. Uh, so it can be really, really tough to, uh, to deal with that. Uh, yeah, especially right. with no sort of like frame one, you know, out of, uh, you know, out of get out of jail free card options, yep. essentially. And I don't believe Greninja really has any of those. No, just really strong um, ground play, mm. you know, uh, anti-air. Um, yeah, down to it just makes stuff happen. Yeah, absolutely. Makes stuff happen. Yeah, the same can be said for both both characters, actually, in fact, as well. Yep. Down tilt is the uh, is the bane of any Ken opponent's existence. Yes. It starts stuff and it ends stuff, so uh, it's very, very dangerous. But uh, So let's see, what stages are we going to pick? What uh, what stages do you reckon you'd even pick against a Ken? Like, what, you'd probably go for something, you want something with a bit of space, but uh, I don't know, that might just be, uh, might just be me being scared of someone just flying at me with a Tatsumaki Senpukiaku. It's terrifying. I, I guess Taicho's uh, considering the top of the stage, and... My apologies, I didn't actually check what they, they picked right there. I think they went for Battlefield. Yeah. Greninja. So, yeah, the, 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 obviously for, for Taicho, he's probably thinking about the Shoryuken, um, you know, kill potential. So he wants to give himself mu as much time to breathe as possible. Absolutely. All right, so yeah, confirmed Battlefield is here. 
So uh, stage is set, let's get into it. Uh, uh, Shadru, uh, both players I feel like kind of trying to suss each other out, but already going in with those down tilts, get, managed to get 30% out of it as well. That's a, that's a classic bread and butter combo there. Oh, but there we go, four tilt into a... Uh, Oh, I believe it was 4 tilt into the into the back air as well. Look at that damage already, 78.3%. Right, getting the neutral at that time, following it up with an up air, a second one, which is not going to be stopped by focus. Yeah. Now, interesting as well, yeah, interesting to note the fact that the up air, which is going to be one of Greninja's best combo tools as well, uh, yeah, Shadru just won't be able to get through it with his focus alone. He's going to have to uh, try either air dodge or potentially just trying to avoid it altogether. You can see Taicho here, this, his edge guard game is going to be absolutely critical to gaining success. Mm. Nice, getting the, uh, the, I believe, the weak hit there of the up, uh, up smash, so doesn't quite get the kill, but definitely puts a bit of a message and a bit of damage onto, uh, onto Shadru there. Whoa, up smash, not going to take it, but he nearly eats the Shoryuken. Oh, and there you goodness. go, that's the sort of stuff he's going to want to get. Yeah, against, against a, I would say, a relatively exploitable uh, recovery of Ken's. Yep. Um, I think it's the, using those waters. Oh, getting the first hit parry, but uh, it's still got a couple of other hits to go, my friend. Yep, still alive. Couple of shurikens to get back on stage. Yeah, well, a couple of shurikens on the ledge as well. So, yes. Uh, I think he's just kind of trying to mimic uh, his friend Greninja there. Oh, with the back air straight to the froggy dome. Solid right up the side. Absolutely. So that's going to be uh, back to even Stevens, and again starting off the down tilts into the uh, into that roundhouse kick, 24%. But uh, already damage coming out from uh, for an injury as well. Yeah, Taito really good at get, getting that guaranteed damage. Indeed, indeed. Look at that. All right, the up tilt though. I I, I mentioned this earlier in doubles, but. Uh, Boy, oh boy, the, the wet tongue sound of uh, Greninja's up tilt is really quite disconcerting, but it, it comes out numbs up, it comes out nonetheless. Alrighty, yeah. again, uh, Ken using his Shoryuken as well, actually poking through the stage, so it can be a really, really good, uh, a bit of an anti edge guard. Yep. Taicho's still sitting okay, I think, for now, but yes, that Shoryuken's not going to get it, was what I was going to say, but now it's really the scary zone. Oh, nice. Reading that roll in. Across the stage, keeps him alive. Right, now, 125%. Shoryuken is a little bit stale. Oh my goodness, but that roundhouse kick isn't. Yep. Oh my god. <laughs> he just disappeared. Oh, there we go. But getting that down tilt straight back. into the up smash. Yes. Immediate response. Really back and forth game. Both players showing they know exactly what they need to do to get it done. Absolutely right. So we see the uh, probably one of the first kind of on-stage Tatsumaki's coming out. There we go. And coming out with it again. Uh, such a great combo tool as well, and especially around the sort of 30 to 40 percent mark, it does send into a tech situation as well. So that's something that Greninja's going to have to be incredibly ca uh, cautious of. Right, both players just kind of taking their positions on the other side of the stage, going for Hadoukens and Water Shurikens. Time to breathe, but the other down tilt. Down tilt again. Backhand. Oh, Whoa. great patience from uh, from uh, Shadru there. Roll back. See, Taicho's doing a bit of ground play mix up with a few bit of jumping. Trying, to, he's trying to get his opening. Yeah, you can see it. Yeah, both players, are ex that's exactly what they're looking for. They need it. Getting the down tilt right. to up smash, not going to kill. Again, putting a lot of damage onto Ken though. But again, Ken with rage. That's a, that's equally as dangerous. That's right. You don't want. Oh, the, wow! There we go. The landing neutral into the forward edge, just enough to kill. Barely, but uh. There we go, the first game is going to be going to our friendly uh, friendly frog there off the left. Yes. Fantastic stuff. Confirmed game absolutely on fire for Taicho. I for sure. really don't think he's been messing up much. It's really been a, a matter of him fighting his neutral. Um, Shadru too, like, I can see he's finding his way through this match, so I think his stage pick and, uh, and how he approaches this next game will be really key. Mm. Now Smashville as well, having, a, uh, having just a single platform up the, uh, up the top there, I think is going to serve Ken pretty well. Um, now I feel like, uh, I, I guess just you know having the option of being able to call people out on the platforms uh, with your Shoryuken, with other things like that is really, really good. Um, also with, uh, oh my god, alright, look at him go, 61% already. Right, let's you see Taicho going for those neutral airs back onto stage quite a lot. But I'm wondering whether Shadru's going to clue onto those eventually. He oh, wants no. that Shoryuken. He does indeed. <laughs> You can see those up tilts just poking all around the spot. Oh, okay. Wow, getting out of that Shoryuken as well from the down tilts. Might have just been a spacing issue there from Shadru, but uh, it definitely saved Taicho's life there. 
Taicho slowly just tacking on bit by bit that damage. Uh, yeah, both players are more or less even, but I feel like Ken, Ken with an opponent at 86% is a lot more dangerous. Yeah, Shadow is definitely playing the uh, chase down game at the moment. Taicho is being a little bit more evasive. Oh my, oh, oh hello. Sends him up onto the stage, but oh. he is going to take the first stock. <laughs> Directly, basically exactly where Shadru kind of wanted to be. Yeah, yeah, that he's was okay a, with it. Yeah, that was not really what Tacho had in mind. But uh, you know what, Shadru, he'll take that. Down to, wow, down to the forward air from the other side of the stage. Not even the center stage either. Yep, as I say, he's going to be able to count on those when, he, when he's needing them. Oh my goodness, look at that conversion, 66% already. Again, Speaking yeah. of conversions, getting a bit of damage on him. All right, Let's double up, up there. Can I get a third, sir? No, not today. Oh, okay, that's just, a big punish. Yeah. Don't Anything think that's what he wanted to do. Yeah, rapid jabs can be very, very dangerous when uh, when used improperly. That's a, a lot of end lag, and I think Shadow knows that of all people. Also, just get him off stage. I like that option rather than the grab, Ooh, and that's going to be we go. stuck. That's a beautiful, beautiful uh, use of the hydro pump there from Tacho. Uh, it comes a little bit more into his favor compared to the last stock. Uh, so I think that's exactly what he's been going for, and he's going to keep trying to go for it. Jump the wall forward smash there. Get off me, Shadru says. So 100.9%. Uh, All right. To back air. And the Shuriken's air dodge. Oh, nice. There we go. Poking through the stage with that Shuriken. All right, again, the chase down from Shadru and just the evasiveness. Taisho's just running back. And I think that's really working out for him because he's finding the openings out of that, of the overextensions. Yeah, Shadru really looking for those uh, shurikens as well. Just needs to get this stock, uh, needs to get it now. Yeah, Shadru's holding center stage, but Taisho's just running it left to right. To find it. And again, neutral it back onto stage. I feel like Shadru just needs to uh, open his mind to that, that option. Absolutely. There we go. Just the gentleman's jab, the triple. Oh I'm just happy goodness. to do those counters off stage. Oh my god, he's going for it. Just trying to get as close to him as possible. All right. Again, yeah. yeah that's a, a very good punish. It's a heavy punish, and that's a 2-0 lead, 2-0 uh, win there as well for Taicho. Yeah. Excellent stuff. stuff there. Yeah. Against against such an intimidating character as Ken as well, uh, Greninja absolutely held his ground. And uh, Taicho walks away relatively unscathed for all intents and purposes. Yep, did what he needed to do. I mean, you can count the three things in my mind coming into that set. Number one, he had to do a lot of the edge guarding and basically just keep make it hard to recover back on stage. He did Absolutely. that. Number two, conversions. And number three, he was playing the very much uh, bait and punish game. Mm. So um, excellent stuff there from Taicho. Shadro, on the other hand, I think, you know, through losers, he's going to be scaring a lot of people coming through that. But I can see Ghost up on... Uh, coming up so the main probably one of the major SA hopes absolutely yeah and you're going to be playing me brawler as well uh, oh my tag it's uh, Oleg uh, O-L-A-G yeah um, alright so uh, Ghost okay I was going to say despite the fact that uh, Ghost's tag you know is supernatural he actually didn't have an opponent so I thought the other guy was transparent but no he, he's back at it back at it again um, now let's uh, let's quickly take a look here they're, uh, they're choosing their stages yep so Ghost versus Lumi is that Lumi? yeah okay yeah um, just make sure they're on the, on the setup. Absolutely. Yeah, me Brawler, um, he was tweeting out to to the Smash Twitterverse, Ghost was, um, asking people to watch what he can do with the me Brawler. And absolutely insane. And he, he has all of these, you can see he's all got all of his different um, setups for his, for his me Brawler. I'm not an expert on which ones he likes the best. Mm. I think it's matchup dependent. Um, so we'll have to see which uh, which one he's going to go for. Yeah. So we so we did just see the uh, the first four moves that he's going to be using for now. Uh, so it was that uh, that sort of multi hit neutral B, the suplex city, the side B, uh, that multi hit punch as well, the up B, as well as the ZSS flip kick for the down B as well. So that's what we're going to be seeing a lot of. Now, what I've seen as well uh, from previous sets of ghosts, uh, I believe it, especially at OHN, was one of the ones that I really got to see him shine. Uh, what is what he actually can do, uh, and I'm really interested to see if he does it today will be uh, jumping up and using his neutral B to kind of stall himself in the air. Because yep. that kind of hovers there for a little bit, doesn't actually fall down. And straight after that, you can go for your up B as well. You can kind of mix up your opponent and catch them really off guard with an early kill. And such high uh, fall speed on it really quick. Absolutely. Right, so let's, let's take a look here. So we're going to have 
Uh, I believe it's just guest B, classic, uh, me brawler, versus uh, versus Rob. Uh, so we've still got the player cam on as well. So we, you know, we'll, we'll swap from that in a little bit. Uh, but in the meantime, uh, we're just kind of just kind of you know feeling each other out. Oh my goodness, look at this! Uh, this man's not letting him breathe. Look at him go. Uh, all right, so finally, uh, finally we get a bit of an opening here for our uh, Lumi. Uh, all right, getting those jabs there. I, I honestly feel that the, the jab sound of me Brawler sounds exactly like the Donkey Kong uh, Final Smash as well. Just like the multi-hit just punches from Donkey Kong. It's crazy. There we go. The down tilt, down tilt to dash attack. All right, so finally, Lumi finding himself an opening, getting a bit of damage in there, but still at 132%, 133.5%. But uh, this is a camouflage drop, so we might be able to might get a hit in when we least expect it. Nice, turning on with that gyro Fire as well. Hands. Roll back onto stage. Two down tilt. There we go. Here's this is the raw up B. Listen to that sound of Rob just falling off the back as well. It just sounds like a computer just going haywire. You just see that airspeed off of me, bro. It's just something else. It's it's inspiring. That's what, that's what I'd say. It makes me feel like I could go that fast in the air. Uh, all right, nice. Let me go. Landing with a neutral aim for the down tilt, the forward air as well. Oh, my God, he's dead. Yeah, overextension just gets punished by the, the back air. Yeah, and great, great awareness there from Lumi. Uh, now, Ghost in control of the Gyro. Not for long, though, as uh, as Rob manages to get it back as soon as it hits the shield. Dash attack getting punished. Throw back into dash attack. And neutral air tries to get the forward air as well. Going for that low down air as well. Kind of try to you know mix up the timing. It doesn't work out in Loomis' favor. But uh, a really, really interesting mix-up option. And I'm interested to see if it works out for him later in the set. The dash attack so fast, it really took out the laser. Very deceptive. Now, uh, again, that full speed coming in clutch for Ghost as... Uh, as Lumi was kind of trying to punish him still in the air, but Ghost was already on the ground. That's how that's how fast that me brawler is. Down throw, up B. Oh, okay, uh, he was trying to call him it. out. Oh, going really high for that. Now, uh, Ghost, I think he really loves using that flip kick, just kind of flying around the place. Yeah, really good to get back on stage and just mix up your recovery back on stage. Indeed, so we might be able to see more of uh, Ghost's grand adventures coming out today. Just that kind of flying around right off the side. Right, calling out his jump there with the gyro from the uh, from off the stage too. You can see Ghost going for the down air there too, just uh, trying to punish that that Pokemon Stadium too, sort of the edge where it goes underneath a bit. Yeah, indeed. You don't want to get pineapple down there. That's for damn sure. All right, what's he going to do here? 176%. That back air. Yeah, there we go. All across. That's from all left you need. Right. That's a that's an absolute powerhouse when it comes to a move that's going to kill. That's a Suplex City. 22%. Now, also bear in mind if you do get the suplex uh, and you drag someone off the stage with it, they'll just die. <laughs> like you just Ooh, take it with you. I think we oh, but he's still right, got his up yeah. B. Yeah, thank goodness for that uh, that the down B there. Yeah. He would have been dead otherwise. Oh wow, going crazy for it. Oh, great tech though. Yeah, but oh. he flip kicks the wrong way. Very unfortunate. Yeah, it seems like uh, the one thing as well of me brawler's kit, which is just incredibly difficult to uh, to really maneuver, is going to be that down B. And uh, I think even Ghost has fallen victim to it a couple of times. All right, up to into the up air. Right, we're looking more or less Centages, even right now. Yeah, coming closer and closer. Down throw, going for Ooh. it in the up B, all the way up the stage. That last hit of the uh, of the back air from Lumi is still yep. coming through. Lingering hitbox. Up down throw, right. can we get the up B? I like how we just keep calling for the up B, just expecting it to happen. It, surely it's got to happen now. And there's the mind games just in the recovery. You could try and go for something else. Uh, if Lumi really tries to air dodge it or fast fall it. Yeah. Now, bear in mind as well. Oh, there we go. Just straight raw upbeat getting out of there. Ghost taking game number one pretty co uh, pretty competitively. All right. Goodness gracious. We hear a little of a pop up, a bit of a pop up at the back. Don't know who that was for. The action is coming. We're bringing you the action, but there is a lot of action going on here. Heads are turning, but we're here at the game, which uh, Ghost has taken game one versus Lumi. There we go. All right, so let's see what Lumi's going to pick as a response. Let's find out right now. Lilat, okay. okay yep. a, a stage where you can really, really easily poke through the floor. And I think if anyone's going to be able to do that well, it's going to be Rob with that damn up air. So I'm really interested to see. Let's, uh, let's see if we can make it happen. Yeah, those Lilat platforms, I feel, is probably a lot of stuff that Rob can do out of them, really punish them, a lot of up tilt stuff. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, it seems like Lumi's kind of trying to camouflage in with this stage. Yes, no, I, it's I, a, astute went, observation. I think yeah. is exactly what he's trying to do. He went, went the green skin for PS2. Now he's gone complete raw silver. It's for, one of the uh, reasons for, why for uh, Final Destination in Smash 4 used to always bug me was the transitions would blind me sometimes. Oh, absolutely, yeah. 
No, I wholeheartedly agree with that. I'm glad that they kind of fixed them up a little bit. Even though the transitions in this new one kind of sound like the, the PlayStation 2 opening, but that's all right. Uh, anywho, back, at, uh, back to the game at hand. I really like the option of, uh, of Ghost just using that, that full and neutral just, you know, throwing out the neutral and just fast falling straight away. An excellent awareness there of the side B from Rob. He was able to punish it. Um, he would have been able to kill if he got it. Ooh. Oh my goodness, wow, throwing that gyro straight to the forward smash doesn't connect though. Oh, beautiful conversion, the f jumping into the up air, straight to the up B. No messing around here from Ghost, he's out for blood right now. He's yeah. got the lead and he's going to keep it. The up B is just so nice when you've got a good fall speed. Absolutely, yeah, because it's really hard to punish. Back air does take it off the side and uh, even it up. Oh, wow, again, great awareness from Lumi just grabbing straight away as soon as the uh, the gyro comes out. And there you can see those up tilts on the platform, it's just really good, great coverage. Alright, down to it, up B. What a, what a beautiful set of conversions though, again. You wouldn't have expected it from me, Brawler of all characters, but, uh, but Ghost is making it look pretty easy. Unfortunately, still. Oh, Ooh, wow. That was rubbled. very, very close. Alright, nice. Using that wave landing onto the platform, just standing there, waiting for, uh, for Rob to make a move, going straight for the up B. Flip kicking across the stage. Yeah, it seems wise to it. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, yeah, he's, he's, he's kept trying to get a little bit wise to his tricks. Uh, at the same time, though, it seems like up is by far Ghost's best option right now. Whoa, the air dodge. Oh, wow. All right. So we're back to even Stevens, only 8% on Lumi. But that percentage straight to 57. Yeah, that's, eight. A, that's a conversion if I ever did see one. Oh my goodness, another one. Not going to kill just yet, but boy, boy, it's getting pretty close. Yeah, Up till another one. Oh, he's going for it again. The right. landing is just so hard when you're a big character, when your aerial mobility is just not as good, you really have a hard time against that up. You can just throw those up bees out. Alright, nice. Oh wow, again raw up B. No other moves really connecting out of Ghost just yet, um, other than that up B. So it seems like uh, that up B is gonna be pretty stale right now. But even at 150, surely it's gonna kill for most parts of the stage. Oh wow, oh. it is completely straight through that up tilt. Ignores it and just takes him off the top of Lilat. Middle platform, up B. Uh, yeah, the percentage was just far too high for Lumi to do anything about. Yeah, absolutely done for. Alright, so everyone's favourite character, 2332, three, taking it over everybody's equally favourite character, the robotic operating buddy. Uh, game number two, pretty convincing. Yep. Uh, more or less going from uh, going to Ghost. Yep. And I think in this first round of top 64, while there's a lot of talent, it does tend to lean a little more towards the two zeros. Um, We'll have to see though, our next match, I'm not too sure who we've got teed up, but um, we're ready to bring the next stage of the bracket to you. Absolutely. Only time will tell. Let's see, All right, look at that Look at that clap animation from Rob. Look at, look at how fast he can clap. He's, an, he's a very efficient robot, you know. He's very polite too. Yeah, he is. He's also completely motionless other than his hands. That's actually <laughs> quite, that's quite intimidating to be honest. A little bit intimidating, a little bit discerning. Alright, so meanwhile the uh, the crowds are starting to kind of gather all around the place. We've got we've got a whole lot of people standing up waiting around. It's uh it's getting pretty intense when it comes to the the pointy end of uh, of this tournament. Obviously the top 64, we've kind of whittled it down to the uh, the top quarter, but uh, even after that, obviously the brackets are only going to get smaller and smaller until just one remains. And who will that be? We do not do not know. We do not know either. Sending a couple of messages, you know, what with being <laughs> incredibly popular and all. Sorry, I'm just kidding. Hello, I was just saying hi, saying hi to hi to, hi to people. Cool, cool. Um, alrighty, Kaiser's just uh, gone for a wander. He's uh, I don't know, just getting grabbing a drink, maybe having having a chat to Juon. Uh, God only knows what uh what's going through their minds right now. But uh, yeah, it seems like it seems like uh even when it comes to the commentary too, everyone's uh. There have been a lot of upsets being made. We've had uh, even uh, Chip, for example, making it to top 64 on the winner's side, no less. Uh, he just played against Extra. I believe he did lose, unfortunately. But uh, let's uh, let's take a look. So I heard, was that Ari and, and who, sorry, on mainstream? 
Let's take a look. Oh, let's take a look here. All right. Um, let's find out. Only time will tell when it comes to who sits down. So going through some other results through the uh, bracket, we can see that Rust beat Jay Dizzle. What Damn. the? I think that was what that pop off over it, there was it from. It must have been. Rust is back. He's been playing like League, being absolutely like a DJ in his room playing League. Fantastic. Not coming out to Smash. Come, brings back his Inkling to take a J Jay Dizzle. Massive upset. Stabby J has taken out Luma uh, with a 2-1. So meanwhile, we've got Aya and Fierce here as well. Now, uh, Fierce being a member of the uh, Battle Cap Bunker team uh, out at New South Wales. Now, I unfortunately, I'm not too aware of, uh, of, of the member here known as, uh, as Aya, but uh, I'm very fascinated to see what he can bring to the table right now. Uh, I believe it's going to be on the... Oh my goodness! Wait, okay, hang on. So, oh no, it'll be, I think it's going to be down on the loser side right now. Uh, so that's what we're going to be looking at right now, the uh, Aya and uh, Fierce right there. There we go. Uh -huh. So the winner of this is going to be going up against Ignis as well. Yes. All right, so BKB is being typed out as well. Incredibly uh, proud of not only his hometown, but also his, uh, his home team as well. BKB, a great item in Dota 2 as well. <laughs> Black King Bar. Well, there you go. Uh, now, I don't know whether or not that might have been intentional in their naming scheme, but uh, only, you know, only, only the Battle Cat Man himself will be able to tell you. So uh, we'll, we'll have to find out. But in the meantime, just Aya, just being created. Simple, three letters. Simple that. Right, grab, jump, all the, all the best parts of a, of a kit. I mean, obviously you need to grab, you also need to jump too in this game. Yes. Uh, anyone, anyone telling you otherwise is a fool. Uh, so let's let's see what uh, what both of these players can bring to the table. Now, Fierce as well is going to be, I believe, a mix of uh, both Game Watch, if I'm not mistaken, as well as uh, uh, as well as a Zelda. But uh, let's let's see. I believe he used them at least in bracket yesterday. Uh, now, I am not too familiar, but uh, it'll be incredible to watch and see how he goes against uh, such an annoying, but also such a, such a, such a wacky character as Game & Watch uh, were that choice to come out. Yeah, a, a Game & Watch character, you just need to have your wits about you. Up the outer shield, I mean, there's just a lot of stuff down. All the smash attacks, amazing. Uh, yeah, so we got Mega Man coming up against it. Yep. Okay, so it's going to be, I feel like we're going to be in for quite a patient game right now. It's going to be, whoever can find their opening first is really going to run away with it. And I'm not sure you choose, I'm not an expert on the bucket interaction in this matchup either, but now I, I would I would assume that a uh, bucket can absorb uh, Mega Man's forward smash. Yep. Uh, I believe other than that, I would assume it's actually just going to reflect. Actually, no, it should also absorb the crash bomber too, uh, being uh, Mega Man's side B because it yes. does have sort of fiery properties to it. So I believe that'll be absorbed. Roll back onto stage, and the forward air bomb. There it is. There so it's a reflect. Already, he's already won. He's got the reflect off. <laughs> he's got the first reflect off. All right, now Fierce just kind of creating a bit of a, a bit of a battlefield for Mega Man to try and uh, try and navigate with all of these forward airs. He's Both players having bombs. very good patience with their shield game, um, knowing the stuff that can come out of shield. Absolutely. Oh wow, just sniping him out of the air with his own uh, with his own metal blade. All right, look at him. Oh, geez, Louise, B BKB, more like B52. He's dropping bombs everywhere. Oh my goodness. Alrighty, I'm just dropping those, uh, dropping those shields as well. Trying to wait for a parry, maybe on the, on the uh, get up attack now. Uh, smash out a shield into up B and then the uh, tornadoes. Yeah. Now, a difficult thing to keep in mind as well about the the difference between Mr. Game Watch and Mega Man is uh, probably a, a lot of weight. I think Mega Man's yes. going to be quite chunky. Uh, Game Watch, meanwhile, is going to be, I believe, like third or fourth. Oh wow! Third or fourth lightest in the game, and he absolutely showed it just there. Forward smash, copping that straight to the 2D noggin. Yeah, eating for breakfast. There it is. Oh, ball. nice. Yeah, there he go. did bucket. Very clever. It's and I think he, they look at full, yeah. So you might want to save that. Yeah, save it for a rainy day because I feel like uh, I feel like that's going to do pretty well for him, actually. All right, nice. Oh, oh unfortunately, missing that yeah. bucket. I feel like now that uh, now that I have seen the, uh, the the bucket coming out, I feel like it's going to be something he's going to be a lot more wary for. He doesn't want to be using it too often. Oh, All there right. we go. Landing with that forward air, there we go. Landing straight on top of Mega Man's head there. Yeah, only 30 odd percent for the uh, the stock, so keeping it reasonably even. And the normal Mega Man walling stuff, pellets, leaf shield. Oh, 
Oh, unfortunately getting up straight into that forward smash. Yeah, the, the stage get-ups are really not in the favor of Game Watch here. Yeah, again, reading that roll as well, getting for the up smash. Oh, jeez, Louise. Yeah, getting up straight into the up B as well. Such a fast option and also just a great get-off missile. 109% on Mr. Game Watch. This is not looking too good right now for the second stock. All right, falling straight past the Mega Man's Blaster. Yeah, again, great uh, great options and great movement there from from IR, getting away from uh, from Fierce once that uh, Leaf Shield hasn't worked out for him. Yes, and I think Fierce has really got to get some more of those. Uh, I think there's a bit more combo extension possible with, with Game & Watch with some of those up -bears. Absolutely, yeah. That back air as well, almost. Oy, oh, wow, up being straight it. through it, yeah. Planks it. Right, that back air coming out incredibly quickly for Mega Man as well. It's such a dangerous kill option. Yeah. And 149, it definitely will kill, I'd say, from most parts of the stage, if not all. Yeah, forward airs and back airs from Mega Man would be very crucial here. Oh, oh, no. Gets straight up into it. Now, Aya has a pretty commanding lead. But, uh, I mean, look, if anyone knows Game & Watch, he's uh, he's got that side, but he's got a lot of really, really great combo options too. So uh, it's going to be pretty pretty tough there. Again, the up -E just out of the shield straight away. Oh wow, pelleting the bomb there as well. Basically any hitbox which uh, which clanks with the forward air is going to be enough to break it. And uh, the pellet is definitely going to be enough in that case. Yeah, Mega Man having a tough time getting back on stage from the air and from the side. And Ooh. that patience in getting back is going to undo uh, Fierce if he tries to hold on too long uh, with that forward smash. It might not be this one, but he's been hit by so many. I feel like you've got to make up your mind about how you want to get up almost before you've even grabbed the ledge when you're up against the Mega Man. And yeah, without a doubt. Oh, okay. Absorbs yeah, two yeah. pellets. And that's what I was hoping to see maybe a bit more of. It feels like easy bucket speed, you know? Yeah. It seems like it seems like bucket's such a difficult thing to uh, to sort of be calling out for Mega Man because on top of that, he's also got so many really, really strong kill options in him from a sort of melee side. Oh, yes. Ooh. There we go. Forward tilt with a bit of rage as well. The Lion Tamer comes out and the, uh, the Mega Man drops. Alright, oh, okay. there it is. He's got the bucket. He's got on the lock. bucket. This is actually there's some potential here, but oh just missing the forward air. And back, the back air, air on the edge. other hand will take it. There we go. 13 percent going only. Wild. Yeah, very, very intense match here. Uh, now Aya has to whisper to Fierce because there's gonna be so much noise in the background that no one else is gonna be able to hear him. Goodness gracious. So uh, again, a very, very uh, patient match between the two players, and I think... Decisive I think switch to Kalos. Yeah, need even more space. Mr. Game and Watch. All right, so let's see what Mega can happen Man. here. Blue and white Mega Man still sticking tried and true. It looks like Fierce is just looking, uh, looking at himself in the camera up on the wall. He's like, hey, Mum, that's me. Uh, he's very, very proud of himself to be making it onto stream and making it this far as well, a uh, couple of rounds into the loser's top 64. Uh, it's a pretty good effort and a great effort for BKB, so that's probably where all these cheers are coming from too. One bucket charge for the saw blade, taking some damage. One back air and a second is not connecting. Already getting in there with the dash attack. Now, uh, interesting enough, it, enough, it seems like uh, Game Watch is almost kind of going for, you know, just it's still being incredibly aggressive. Um, no, oh, it doesn't get the forward air land, unfortunately. I feel like the, the dash attack of Game Watch has really not been utilized as much as it could be. Mm. It's, uh, it's an excellent dash attack and very good for punishing that spacing. It is indeed. I feel like as well, yeah, that the bucket, considering how many options are... There we go, the bucket sending downwards, getting a bit of damage on Aya too. Alright, now let it... Shield to the side. Absolutely. And the platform roll-in, that could have been very risky. Oh, the shield, shield pressure. Yeah, My very low. goodness. Uh, and again, he's using that rising back air as well, actually poking through the shield of Mr. Game & Watch. Interestingly enough, that bucket didn't actually reflect anything. Oh, okay. Up smash almost, uh, almost catching out Mega Man, but the forward air slicing just off to the side. Oh wow, very, very, I guess, lucky approach there from Fierce, for, for want of a better term. Getting right. the spike. Down oh. with the key. Goodness gracious. Sawblade up into the air, and oh, they could Ooh, be followed up. Oh, that was almost Dragon Ball Z there. They were kind of just floating right next to each other. Now, he's going to go deep for a kill there with the back air. No, he's not. But the back air of Mega Man, not going to kill either. Not even going to touch him. 
Yeah. Oh, there we go. Up smash out of shield. A quiet breeze would have been enough to take Game of Watch of that, but an up smash would be just as fine. There Looks we like we've got a charge bucket. It does indeed. Yeah, that's what's going to happen if he ever gets stuck, though. Uh, he kind of wants the crash bomb to be stuck to him. Oh, no. Uh... Misses the bucket. Such a shame. Now, I don't know exactly how powerful that bucket's going to be when it absorbs a crash bomber. I can't imagine it would be anything less than uh, devastating, though. No. Yeah, I think he's being a little too cerebral with the bucket as well. Absolutely. Either that or maybe some misinput mis inputs. Nice, getting the back air. Now, I don't really know if there's anything that's really going to combo into the bucket either. So I might be interested to see as well. Oh, okay. That's the first <laughs> time we've seen Judge come out, actually. Oh, nice. Getting with the up air. Not going to kill those. Still 187. Yep. Super high percentage. There we go. Just running straight up. Lion comes out. That forward tilt. Yep. That'll be enough for it. Indeed it will be. And then some. That's a strong, as strong as anything moving. It comes out really quickly too. It just hangs there for a long time. Oh. Sends out a single little bit of back in. Just making sure everyone's had breakfast. Second dash attack. And there it is. As I say, really nice to punish the spacing. If you can see your opponent overextend or just miss input, that's a great way to deal with it. Nair on platform, yeah, up B, that's good. Go. It's, it's quite even actually. Oh, oh this, is, this is the place you don't want to be. Oh, okay, jumping in with the shield though, beautiful stuff. Alright, slicing a little bit there, Game of Watch. Oh, catching Ooh, the tech great tech. Right. Oh, nobody air dodged. No. Oh, that's so unfortunate, I think he must have buffered an air dodge after the, uh, after the tech. That's not ideal. Alright, but getting that landing hit as well of the back air. Great shield pressure as well. That forward air actually hitting both uh, both in the air and on the ground too. Yeah, I got to be feeling really happy with that. Seventy-one percent doesn't mean a lot to Mega Man when you're that heavy. Oh, nice getting a cheeky little flex. Doesn't really do that much damage though. All right, he's gonna have to get a bit of a hail mary. I think he's gonna need to get a bit of a get a bit of lady luck on his side with that side B. Yeah, for Mega Man, you're just gonna get safe damage here because any damage right now is just free. It sets you up for the end of the the game really nicely. Looking for that down smash. Would have gotten a kill out of it too. Oh, go. what a conversion! Oh. oh my goodness. Wow, wasn't expecting that. He was trying to just DI out of that. Yeah, I think the DI was a bit suspect on that. Um, but a representation of the dominance that uh, the I was showing there. Absolutely, yeah. Just going straight for the, the uh, metal blade of the, what, angled upwards into the left as well. Such a strange angle and going straight to the forward air. Great, yep. great awareness from Mega Man. And uh, great awareness from Aya as well. So uh, unfortunately, I believe, seeing as that was on the loser side, Fizz is now out of the co uh, out of the competition. Yep. But uh, making a pretty respectable run for himself as well. Strong showing. So it looks like the winners round two. I don't know if that counts as top sixty, top thirty-two. Mm. I don't think it would be at this point. I think it is because oh, that's, it is? Six, that's sixteen people in tops. That's sixteen people in winners round two. Ah, here we go. So we're going through. I believe we're going through losers to establish what will be our top 32. It's coming thick and fast. We've had some great games, a lot of excitement, plenty of hype in the audience. Yeah, this is, uh, this is definitely the time where, uh, where the audience kind of comes alive because there's no longer really other sets being played other than the big ones on the stream. Some We've people are getting knocked out. They're, they're hoping for their, their hometown homies to get through. Absolutely. Speaking of hometown homies, we've got our boy Con from South Australia. Fox, well, let's call it Spacey's main. Fox, uh, Falco and Wolf. Uh, Here we go. Primarily Fox and Wolf. Um, absolutely, I, I feel like Con, and I've said this before on stream, is a, uh, he's got a natural aptitude for the game, parry and tech monster. <laughs> um, and, and perhaps he can sometimes just be his own worst enemy. All right, just going for mod there. So yeah, on the other side, we have Master of Disaster, who took out Iro uh, to progress, loses round two. Fantastic, and what a name as well. Yep. What a tag, Master of Disaster. So obviously just abbreviating that to mod. Now, uh, just deleting MM, don't know who that is, get rid of him. Yep. The winner of this earns the right to go against South Australia's Blue. Um, so he took out Whistle, the other South Australian We Fit Trainer main. Yeah, so there we go. Some other matches I can report is that we've got 
John Bombo, uh, aka OHKO, he has taken out Sifo. Um, Ari has taken out Jacko. Juan has taken out Vine Green. This is all in losers, by the way. Lumi has taken out Spewis. Ignis has taken out Q. And I'm 23 bro, bro, who we saw on stream at the beginning, is still in the mix. He has uh, beaten Ever to fight him against Shadra in the next Ooh, round. Interesting. Okay. So what? An interesting sort of match there. I believe I'm 23 was going to be going as, uh, as a Rob against a, uh, a Ken as well. Yep. So these very, very are these are all spots for top 32. Um, all these matches you're seeing, I think, are pretty much establishing. And just look at the crowd. It's there's standing and sitting room only. Absolutely, People are getting yeah. around it at the moment, and the excitement's palpable. Striking happening at the moment. Yeah, let's see what they uh, let's see what they bring out right here. Shadow Moses spam taunt. <laughs> yeah, I just want to hear. Uh, I just want to hear Otacon start talking again. Where's uh, Where's my big boss? Alrighty, both players being incredibly patient here as well. I think. As we get to sort of this part of the uh, of the tournament, it's uh, just as important that we kind of get the uh, the striking right. We get those bands right because uh, it can really it can really spell disaster if you if you lose your first game based on a uh, based on a stage uh, stage error. Yes, Kalos the pick. Um, now I'm not too sure if Master of Disaster what he picks uh, mod. I like the the abbreviation or the acronym now. Yeah, there we go. So yeah, Rob versus Fox. Alrighty. Oh my goodness, All we've got right. a lot of Master excitement Zaza here. has the crowd behind him. Let's get it done. Alrighty, this is uh, this is it. This is going to be still part of the top. Uh, you know, we've got the top 64 here going on. We've got the, uh, oh, goodness gracious, already we're getting that reflect straight back out. Fox is being incredibly patient, throwing anything that uh, Rob has straight back at him. Now, here's the most difficult part as well, is what can, uh, what can Fox do once he finds himself in there, and what can Rob do to try and get himself out of these combos that Fox is going to have? And uh, Shield seems like the answer right now. Yeah, now. Gyro just waiting for him and forward smashed into it. Yeah, there we go. You can't really get up. Oh, okay. The Gyro just waiting there. Such a great option. Oh. Whoa, I'm Rolling surprised away. you didn't get the second Gyro hit on there. Amaze, yeah. The okay. rollback. Very risky, but back air. Wow. Straight out of there. Mod. Master of Disaster taking stock one. All right. Now, Con waiting out as though, uh, as though Master of Disaster has some form of Arsene or something. You can't wait him out, buddy. He's just going to set up and he's going to wait you. He's going to wait for you. He's going to meet you as soon as you get off that Angel platform. Yep, and the, yeah, the shield getting so late there for Con. I feel like for a rushdown character like Fox, he's approaching it the right at the beginning of the stage, but now he just needs to show that he can get into the face of Rob. Yeah. There's the first parry, second parry. Oh, parry. Oh my god. All right, you cannot parry that stuff in the air. All right, that's a very, very slow moving gyro to kind of get that, uh, get that shine straight back into Rob's face. Up, right, tilt. up tilt, getting the drag down. Ooh, nearly the reset. Yet. Great tech though coming out from Master of Disaster. Oh, okay, again, waiting for that shine, running straight up, going for uh, going for the down throw. We get the up air, right. there he goes. Con getting that up air, that's a double hit as well. You can't be, uh, can't be messing with that one, no sir. So Con getting underneath, but just punished by the neutral air. Oh nice, dropping down straight into the forward air. Great bit of damage there. All right, the, the Con parries. You hear every time he parries, the crowd will just go absolutely nuts. They love and, it. And rightly so. He got almost 50% out of that combo. He's, he's next, to, next to even. Oh, sniping him straight out of the sky. That's the, uh, that's the laser eyes right there. Ooh, okay. Beautiful stuff from Con dragging himself against the stage to yeah, try and avoid getting spiked. Yeah, just stalling it out a little bit. That's, uh, that, that's what separates a good from a great Fox player. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> he always just got sniped by, by his gyro, moving at absolute turtle speed. Oh, Con going in for the grab. Now, I'm intrigued by these kind of baits here. I guess Master of Disaster is thinking, look, if I angle it downwards, if he jumps, he's going to get hit. If he doesn't jump, he's going to shine. And uh, and maybe he might just start, might just miss it altogether. So I'm interested to see. Maybe Con might start jumping and using the shine to try and reflect it back into Master of Disaster's face. Yeah, those recoveries, always tense moments there for Con. All right, nice. For the first time in history, a fox goes for a grab to throw him off the stage. Uh, you never see that happen. Oh my god. Oh, okay. Right. Hey. Oh, oh, there we go. As the if by prophecy. Back. Yeah, he, he does exactly what I told him. Oh, he's very, very low, but wow. he does somehow make it back. 175% sniped at the edge. Oh, okay. Oh. He's still got his jump. Yeah. Oh, wow. wow. Beefy up, he's straight across the ledge. Actually uh, knocks away Master of Disaster. 
Back there, Ooh. takes it off the stage. Con at 191%. This game one is absolutely off the chain. Oh up goodness. there, we're back to zero. Straight back to equal as well. No Fox has ever lived to 191%. And unfortunately, Con had to prove us right there. All right. Oh, okay. Tries to get out of it. Uh, going for the jab straight away again. Getting a third jab. Only 30%, but I mean, it's still something. Look at this match, though. Oh, okay. Getting hit. Up tilt, up tilt. Th third up tilt. Tries to reset with a tomahawk on the ground, but doesn't get yes. it. Oh, nice. Getting a little getting a little shot in there. I mean, the only thing that Rob can really do there is use his gyro, or use his, uh, use his rotor to kind of send it back. But I mean, why would you do that? It's only going to give him 2%. Back on the platform with the neutral air, but the back air of Khan just takes him back off again. Nice. Again, grabbing with the get up on stage. I'm honestly getting quite a few of those. Back air oh takes it. Oh my goodness, straight into the face. There we go. The big fist pump back to his crowd. He's got the crowd on his side and he's absolutely loving it. Con takes game number one. Big cheese too. Let's get excited. This is really for top 32, you know? Get People around on it. their tournament lives. Oh my goodness. Yeah, this is going to be for, for quite a lot of the marbles, to be honest. This is uh, for, for people. If they want to stay on, they're going to have to beat... Uh, they're going to have to beat their, their opponent on stream. And Ma right now, Master of Disaster is, uh, is not looking too hot. But he's got, he's got a couple of games to, uh, to play with right now. If yeah. he wins, he might be able to get it back. And I'm kind of wondering where he wants to go on the one hand, you know, stages like maybe... Ten I mean, he, the side kills, maybe, he might be thinking. But, I mean, you don't want to give Fox too much room to just have free running around and deal with the projectiles too. It's, it's a tough balance. Yeah, something that was interesting as well, there was uh, not a single kill with an up smash there as well. Yep. Obviously, Lucalos being such an incredibly high ceiling, he was really focusing on those back airs, but he got them all. Home uh, ground advantage here for Lilac with Fox, but to the same effect, I think this is actually quite a good pick for, for Rob. Again, those, that platform punish is really strong. Definitely. Yeah, you can, you can do a lot with them, and especially a lot of those uh, up throw combos, uh, up throw conversions as well. You've got so many options to get those kills slightly earlier with the, the raised platforms. Whoa, oh, wow. forward Just smashing straight through it, and he's got Gyro in hand, throws it down. Those down tilts doing absolute work. And a laser punish, the parry, okay, the, the jab jabs. Whoa, no, chasing another. right up the top. Oh wow, just, just kicking the gyro doesn't quite get Master of Disaster in his reach there. But uh, with such a low ceiling, oh okay, looking for the, uh, looking for the uh, down smash instead. Now with such low ceilings as Lilat, we're going to see maybe a couple more kills with up smashes, and we already saw him, we already saw Con trying to go for it. Wow, that was almost, oh, nice. almost hit him with that one. Oh, hang on. Oh. Someone's, uh, someone's still got a pro controller connected. Uh, that's uh, Hopefully Con does not have low battery. That would be an absolute travesty. That would be indeed. It should be right there. Oh, okay, great catching him with the, uh, with the Fox Illusion. Goodness gracious, he's just going straight for him. Catching with the up air. Now 150, this is going to be a rub with a bit of rage. We might be able to see a couple of combos that, uh, that Rob's got under his sleeve. If he's, uh, if he's got those classic kind of Sephiro ones, just dropping the gyros into the Ford airs. Uh, you, you can do some pretty crazy stuff with it. Alright. Oh wow. Not falling, to poke under for the, the stage. not falling for the up air there. Not again. Oh my goodness, but that laser coming through. 50%. Rolling away from that. Oh, okay. Interesting, I believe that slope kind of uh, kind of stopped that gyro from going anywhere, but the back air is not going to do anything, uh, any favours either for mod. Alright, down throw, and follows it up. I think they clash with that one. Gonna go for a, uh, a drill down there. And you can see Master of Disasters wising up to the grab, and wow, the push take forward down tilts. It's taking him across the whole entire stage as well. Alright, ooh, too quick of a mash out for the up air. Oh, okay, trying to go in with that neutral air landing. Oh, beautiful Ooh. stuff. Holding his shield up there, dropping straight into the gyro, getting that down smash. Great, great conversion there from Master of Disaster. Yeah, very, very smart. Great awareness. Master of Disaster going for a flight. I mean, he's in space, so it kind of only... It's only fair. Ooh, falling into the laser with the neutral air. And it becomes a more difficult proposition over time. Now, I'm interested to see, maybe those all these down tilts, because of the fact that Fox is such a fast faller as well, he can probably kind of get away with it. Yes. He just keeps dropping straight back onto the stage. 
Wow, Ooh, okay. okay, that was very clever though with the back air. You spaced it appropriately. Oh, there we go. He threw that gyro off about 25 years ago and it came straight back down and punished Fox. You can see Fox wants to get that up tilt just to get something happening. Nice getting the up throw. Oh, with the gyro. Missing the uh, missing that side B there. Oh, wow. So not the uh, side B, the neutral B rather. High percentage for Con here. He's really a danger percent. Oh, there we go. Speaking of dangerous, Fox, when it, when it comes to those uh, those smash attacks, they're going to be killing pretty early. On top of that, we got a bit of rage. Oh boy, oh boy. Down tilt. Nothing coming out of it. Great parry, but the forward air actually still passes through it. Yep. Oh, geez, Louise, he's used his jump. Very difficult. There we go. All right, we've got a real game three situation on our hands here. So the victor goes to top 32. They do indeed. And the winner, that's it. You know, uh, to the loser, that's it. Well, so, Con with his pick of stage. It really seemed like Lilat uh, helped out Rob a whole lot. So uh, intrigued to see uh, what the swap's going to be for uh, for Con here. He bants it between one of his mates behind him. As he floats around. Perhaps a battlefield, I'm not sure. I can't imagine anything with too skinny a platform is actually really going to do, do him any favours. Especially when it comes to Rob just poking through the stage there. He could do something with a higher platform like the Unova, I'm not too sure. Yeah. He's really taking his time with this pick. He, he knows it knows counts. Smashville it is, possibly. It can be dangerous uh, with some of the Rob Side B stuff, but... Yeah, I think as soon as we said it, he's probably realized that himself. Mm. So we're going to Yoshi's, maybe. No? Okay. Oh, it's a very, very... It's, it's a very indec uh, indecision. <laughs> You know, at one point we might actually just kind of just quit out and just go to Smash 4. I feel like that's how indecisive <laughs> we're looking right now. But no, we're sticking with it. Uh, now, after all that as well, I looked away for a split second. And we're going to have Fox and Rob sticking with the, uh, the, the red skin here as well. All oh, right, Master of Disaster wants the crowd behind him. They're getting rowdy. They're getting loud. Here we go. So Town and City, I believe, is going to be coming out. Or is this going to be Smashville here? All right, Jab's starting the damage. Oh, the get-up attack... Beating out the neutral air. Boy, oh boy. It's incredibly, incredibly patient gameplay right now. We're kind of just waiting around, seeing uh, seeing what opening either one of these players can find. Great catch on that neutral air into the up air. Beautiful stuff. Yeah, it's the fastest option Con really could have done, and uh, Master's is asked completely ready for it. Grab with the get-up attack, really doing quite well for him. There's the parry, the con parry. Pulling uh, neutral air. Wow, the jab not holding it quite long enough. Getting punished hard for it. Yeah. Nice, the side B into the up air as well. Oh, okay, getting back the bicycle kick. Yeah. Up smash. Back air. There we go. What a what a reversal of fortune. Although it did look like for a, for a little hot second, uh, Fox is in a bit of a state of disadvantage. He's completely uh, corrected us. All right, nice, there we go. Hawk Beautiful was stuff. Good choice. Yeah. Oh, there we go. The spike. Such an incredibly, uh, <laughs> an incredibly exploitable recovery. Yeah, very uh, linear, and just there's nowhere else for him to go up against like a wall. So yeah. Getting a couple of those down tilts. That's something you just got to respect out of Rob. Once you get caught, it's kind of hard to uh, hard to get away. Okay, getting the up tilt, neutral air. And then parry. Oh my goodness. Up to it again. He's laying it all onto Master of Disaster now. He is getting that back air as well. The damage is absolutely up there. The damage, 120.4%. Oh wow, just copping that gyro straight to the forehead. Oh, uh, getting that. Wow, into the forward smash. Not enough just yet. Oh wow, looking for the down air as well. Not going to connect though. Uh, Fox Illusion is much, much faster than the up. Ooh. Wow, okay. Gyro into up smash. That's a confirm. Stops me in my tracks there. 144% though. Oh, we're just going yeah, for the raw up smash. You can see Connors really wants that kill. He'll do anything to get it, but he doesn't want to put himself at risk in doing so. Nice. There we go. Connie All right. Game three. Last stock. Oh, my goodness. The down tilts are coming out. 
trying to land, trying to get a, a bit of extra shield pressure there as well. And for the up air as well. Air dodging in, he's not going to be, uh, not going to fall off the stage just yet. Oh, great, oh. great call out there. Yeah, that shine just took it from a, a losing percentage to a lead. Nice, back getting air, another back air. The next couple of hits are going to do it. Oh. Spot dodge. Oh, he misses the tech. Oh, tries All to right. read the uh, roll in. Parry into the up it's smash. A, and time he's is done nothing it. up. The madman, he's insane. Signature style. Parry into up smash. I didn't, I didn't try and build everyone up on that for nothing. This is what he does. This is what he's good for. Look at that. But see, th this is precisely why I love the Australian scene. Both players so incredibly respectful of each other as well. As soon as they finished up, they instantly went in straight for the hug, yep. straight for the fist bump as well. But I mean, look at the support that both players have gotten. They've garnered just behind them as well. This is a, this is you know, a, a, an event of you know 200 odd players, and uh, they're all here to support uh, these two characters on the screen right now. As Fox continues on, as Connor continues on into his bracket. An absolute Meanwhile, wave of adrenaline across the crowd. An now, absolute wave of adrenaline. People are smiling. There's, uh, it's just, hey, what are we here for? Some good games, right? Now, here we go, though. We've got, a, we've got a New South Wales resident right now. He was originally Melbourne. Now he's, uh, he's converted over to New South Wales. We've got Chip uh, Chipole. He's going to be playing, I believe, King DDD. So uh, I believe he's the only King DDD uh, on the, in the top 64. And uh, he started off in winner's side. Unfortunately, had to go up against Extra. So did drop down into the losers. But he's now currently playing against uh, a, bit of a bit of a hidden boss right now. He's been playing. He's playing against One for All as well, who is going to be the Little Mac player. Yes, not a not a character you see a lot of, and uh, definitely not. So it's going to be a very very interesting matchup. Two characters who are, I'd say, quite rare in uh, in the in the overall scene. King Diddy versus Little Mac. And if I'm correct, this should be the last match uh, before we go into top 32. So. Oh yes, here we go. This is uh, this is the exciting part. All right, so let's see. Now I'm really intrigued because I know that uh, I know that King Dedede as a character has a fair amount of armor on a lot of his attacks, uh, mainly his down B and his up B as well. Yep. Now Little Mac, meanwhile, has armor on like everything. Everything. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, it, with such a heavy hitter as King Dedede, I, I'm I'm wondering, you know, how uh, how is King Dedede actually going to beat anything that Little Mac has to offer, well, especially on the ground game too. Yeah, that's it. I mean, well, you got to. Got to get that off stage, and uh, yeah, I mean Gordos. I feel like if uh, if Mac is smart, you know, you just negate them. Yeah, let's see how it all goes though, because uh, if anyone's going to tell us how this matchup's going to go, it's going to be the two players themselves. So let's get into it. Game number one, one for all against uh, Chipotle. Let's get into it. Already the neutral air into the up tilt. Nice, jumping up with that. Oh, there we go, the F tilt again. Such a great and incredibly safe option yep. from our King Dedede. Already going for the up smash. Damn, it could, could have actually kind of killed on that platform too. You can see that platform uh, camping is something, yeah, look, it's not pretty, but you've got to do it against Mag. Really good oh, patience wow. there with the run back. There we Just go. The trot Just back. A hair away from uh, the KO punch as well. Nice, there we go, waiting out that forward smash. Now, King Dedede kind of has those options for sure. Oh, oh wow. You just cannot hold shield. And there's a taunt. Yeah, rolling behind, just going straight for it. Oh, oh dash attack takes it back. Responding in turn with the dash attack. Just because, uh, just because One For All has a bit of, uh, has a bit of, you know, a bit of support, Chip definitely has the answers for it. Oh, my goodness. All right, using that uh, Gordo doesn't really do anything. Oh, there we go. Oh, just kind of just it running around a little up. bit. Didn't cross it up. Nice up tilt into up B. Yep. Absolute max stuff. I love the up tilt of the Gordo there. You know, one thing we're going to see a lot of from Chip is going to be using that Gordo as a, as kind of an option to cover his landings. There we go. Beautiful conversion. Getting that Gordo using the hit stun. Oh, and the yes. forward smash. Oh, but the Gordo saving his life. He still has a jump and counters to come back. And he oh. still has KO punch. He still has KO punch after all of that. All right, there we go. Let's see. I feel like the KO punch at this point oh. is it? Oh! Don't want to be turning that one around there, champion. Otherwise, one for all is going to be coming for you. It's not a bait. It's real. Two KO punch KOs there from... There we go. But that back air, one such an all. incredibly heavy option. Nice. Getting the up smash. The sour spot, unfortunately. Don't know why they added that one in there. Oh, there we go. Again, that back air. Such a meaty hit. Heavy hitters on both sides. Indeed. All right, nice. Rolling away from that forward, uh, forward air. Getting another one, though. Great shield, but oh my goodness, the shield pressure from the forward smash was immense. 
Now, the, meanwhile, the Gordo, no shield pressure at all, but uh, definitely a lot of shield stun. Oh my goodness, pulling out the Jet Hammer. It's too early in the game for that, man. Spitting out, getting the up B out yeah, of uh, out very of clever, advantage. actually, just to... Whoa, I... Getting the up smash. The up end not going to take away from the KO punch just yet. Yeah, and this is... Oh, Here we go, the forward say. tilt, saving his life there. Now, he doesn't have anything else. Oh, but getting that counter. All right, this is looking pretty tough for Little Mac. Oh, there we go. Back air from center stage. There we go. Chip giving himself a little pop-up. He's happy about that one. There we go. Two characters that you do not see on the top of a lot of people's tier list. Still getting representation, fighting for a spot in top 32. Yeah. And uh, what, an exciting, what an exciting game for it as well. Uh, Town and City, uh, we're going to see, I'd say, a, you know, a, few, a few later kills, hopefully. But uh, I, think, I think maybe uh, Foe's just trying to go for a, a couple of those later stocks, you know, trying to just get open, you know, more openings uh, than he was really being allowed in that, uh, in that match there because he was just getting killed too early. Uh, despite the fact that he had KO Punch on board. So uh, he might be sacrificing a bit of that for the sake of uh, trying to survive a little bit longer himself. Oh, wow, oh, rolling roll directly through. behind the, uh, the inhale there. Nice, there we go. That's a bread and butter, the neutral air into the up tilt. Yeah, Reading down angle, forward smash, and side beat, sending DD up stage. Nice, landing with that inhale as well, the uh, the reverse beat. Oh, okay, a fraction of a, a second away from getting that. Oh, Good wow, counter. jumping up in the counter. On the dash stack as well, that's a lot of damage. Plenty of shield stun and shield damage off any of the forward smashes. Oh, just kind of footstooling that... Uh, that side B from Little Mac, Jolt Haymaker. Oh, okay, getting the shield out in time. KO Punch on deck. Okay, just walking straight into it. Oh, wow, wow. avoiding the up air, air and... Into KO Punch and another taunt. Beautiful stuff there from uh, One For All. It's such a back and forth game. They're really going blow for Oh, blow. yeah, you cannot armor through that one, champion. That's an up smash from King DDD. King of Dreamland itself. Down to into side B. Reading that roll in, getting the jabs. That's a frame one jab right there as well from Little Mac. A down tilt into the forward, uh, the forward angle to uh, Chol Haymaker. Oh, Just nice. camping some of those uh, extra jumps from DD. He has an easier time getting back on stage, but you can see that. Nice, one for all something. really ready for it. Oh, what a great conversion. to Gordo. Armors through it. All right, the KO punch still on deck. Oh, no. Oh, oh, facing no. the wrong way. Thank goodness the uh, bit of hit stun there. All right, the forward tilt not coming out just yet. There we go. Getting the back air on that Jolt Haymaker. And Mac having a bit of platform camping there. Oh, he just runs straight into the Gordo. And I, yeah, I was really scared of the back air there. Up air should take it. Little Mac is pretty light. I don't call him Little Mac for nothing. Meanwhile, 112%, a, uh, a stray forward smash. Even a forward tilt near the ledge as well is probably going to kill King DDD. He's a, he's a heavy boy, but Whoa. that Jolt Haymaker calling him out there. Great option, just covering the jump back. Oh, look at that. Wow. Oh, looking for that dash grab. Unfortunately, doesn't get it, though. Using those down tilts, up tilts, get things started. Oh, nice. air dodge away from away. it. Oh my goodness, yeah, again. second one. Yeah, that down tilt into the uh, Jolt Haymaker is not actually true as well. And I think uh, Chips just definitely figured that out. And the B reverse from uh, Little Mac just mixing up Oh my recovery. god, he's going crazy. And he, yeah. and he actually doesn't get punished for it from the stars. Yeah, just too quick in with a dash hack, and it's actually a lot less punishable than you might think. Oh no, goes to the inhale, doesn't get the right direction though. Percentage lead is now in favor of Little Mac, who's also dangerously close to the KO punch. Whoa, oh, there we go. Fire back KO punch. Gets it. That's going to be 1-1. One, one. one for all fighting back. But uh, Chipotle, the man himself, uh, he's, uh, he's a bit of a comeback king as well. I believe he did the exact same thing yesterday to Andre as well. Took game one. Andre took game two, and Chip managed to uh, clutch it out. And that's actually what led him to get onto winner's side as well. So uh, Chip's, uh, Chip's definitely got a bit of power when it comes to making comebacks of his own. Okay. Both back to their preferred characters. Well, you know, I, I think something with some platforms, right? Yeah. Yeah. But this is uh, this is for all the marbles for this game, though. Game number three, we got Battlefield coming out. 
I think realistically, you've got to abuse these platforms in this situation here. Absolutely, yeah. Beautiful conversion there, 45% already. Go for the inhale. No, but again, that Jolt Haymaker is such a great option to actually answer for the inhale as well. Because it's got a disjoint as well at the front, so you can't actually be sucked in in the meantime. And you can see one for all is uh, really mixing up the down tilts instead of going straight for the Haymaker, just following up with uh, maybe a dash in. See if he can get a different type of punish. Oh, tries to go for the grab. Oh my oh. goodness, and he gets the KO punch in time. 63%. This goes crazy on chip right there. Alright, nice. Getting the back air in there. Oh, going for the jet hammer. Oh wow, the jolt hammer can call him out again. The chip keeps rolling in there, and I think uh, I think one for all is actually kind of being a little bit wary of it, but the forward air catching him all the way up, way up there. Little Mac, what are you doing in the air, you crazy boy? Good jump. I think that was the right option. Shielding again would have taken some damage. Nice. Spitting out that go to the 21%. Oh, okay. Waiting for the forward smash, hoping that he would actually come in too. Up smash a great option when your opponent's on the battlefield platforms. Very good coverage. Now, 93% on King Dedede. You kind of needed to be getting a bit of a gimp here, hopefully. Yeah, getting the forward deck, getting him close to off the stage. Oh, no. Yeah. Again, he keeps countering all of those. Uh, all, all of those. Yeah, it's crazy. All the Gordos. I'm waiting for the mix up for Chip next time he goes for that. Oh my goodness, he's almost dead there. on the get up. Oh, oh he's been called out again. Third taunt of the game. I right, now 40%. Now he is back. Uh, he's behind, but he's also got the KO punch almost on deck. He needs to get this kill and he needs it right now. And he gets it. There we go. Jet Hammer straight through the counter as well. Vic versus New South Wales. Oh, massive damage. So much damage in such a short amount of time. 12% though. Oh, landing straight into the jab, 85. What's yeah. King Dedede going to do? What can the King do? Getting that down throw to forward air. Oh no, wow, such a, such a safe option as well. That forward smash turning the other way. Second Gordo. Did some of those hops. Ooh. Oh wow, falling straight through the platform. Getting an up air though. Looking dangerously close for the KO punch. Up such angling the forward smash. Great tech Not though. Not the haymaker. Echo not fast enough to actually get it. Oh no! Oh, it's oh a very dangerous spot here. Just getting the normal DDD's up DDD's far B. too heavy. Oh no! Oh. He's been, oh my god, but he doesn't get punished for it. One for all, both players are incredibly feeling the heat right now. Shield so low for Mac. Oh, oh he's just going straight for the no job. Hey Mac, but he's not he's dead! He's still alive! He's not dead yet! With a KO. Oh, getting the oh, inhale. This he's is very him dangerous. Out. He's still got the KO punch. What? How's that possible? Oh, the KO How's punch. That even possible? Oh my goodness, Chip just as surprised. He inhales him. He doesn't even knock out the KO punch. The only person who's going to be knocking out is Chip there. Oh my goodness. One for all, running away with that just towards the end there. Look, quite frankly, I think a bit of luck was on his side there, but geez, Louise with that KO punch. What a set ender. Yeah, a really, really scary place to be in. And look, the battlefield pick probably wasn't used the best that he, uh, you know, could. I think the Mac was doing quite smart to, to use the RPs, punish those platforms. But yeah, I guess that's our top 32 as far as I know. Absolutely, yeah. Now our chip's still connected. He's got to disconnect his pro controller. There he goes. Alrighty, wow. And with that, I believe, is this going to be the official start to the top 32? I believe so. Here we go. With that, we'll probably take about five-ish minutes or so. I'm not too sure of the break but I believe that we'll be going straight into it. Here we go. Okay. All right, so for those of you who don't know as well, Top 32 onwards will be a best of five. Very excited for that one. Sorry? All right, that's all good.
Alrighty, everybody, we're here. We've we're reached back. our beverages, we're yep. here. We've I just saw your set real close. Yeah, it was. I don't get much Mac practice because Gabe doesn't come to... Oh, he doesn't play at stuff he anymore. He doesn't play anymore, yeah. But no, that was the first time I've ever played a Mac in bracket and mm. scared the crap out of me. KO Punch is crazy. Yeah, but it's a bit crazy. It was a good set. I was it's a real that. entertaining set. Yeah, 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 no, I loved it. I loved every moment of it. It was terrifying and... Mac is just a nightmare in bracket. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I hate playing this Yeah, game. well, in theory, right, the character just sounds so bad, right? But if you never get off stage, you're fine. Yeah, <laughs> if you just maintain space. And I'm thinking, what stages do I ban against Mac, right? Like, yeah. flat stages, FD was always on the chopping block, right? It's like, get that stage out of there. I don't want him Battlefield was around. a good choice. I yeah, think. no, I like yeah. that. I'd like my Maybe town? To, yeah. I just but when it goes to FD mode, it's kind of yeah, yeah, yeah. And I just don't want myself dying from, like, F smash anytime soon. Again. He got me with forward the care smash, punch, care punch every single time, yeah. so it's terrifying. I always forget that you can't shield it. Yeah. So the first time when they do it, I was like, oh, damn it. <laughs> Forgot again. It's tough. It's tough. But right now we've got Stabby J and Rust. Rust and Stabby J. Rust beat J Dizzle earlier. And that is a massive upset, man. Massive upset. Massive SA upset. Really showing up on their own home ground. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. Awesome to see, right? Defending the borders. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Um, I hope you're all enjoying this tournament from your homes. It is scorching hot. Oh, it's a blazing. It must be at least 40 degrees inside this venue. It's uh, uh, 38, 38 outside, I think. So it's going pretty hot. And with all these bodies in here, it's probably crept up just a bit. A lot you know, of bodies. There's, there's, there's only so many things that a fan can do. but Absolutely. But you know what? At least we're, we got like doors to the outside pretty easily. Mm. There's, some, there's some ventilation. Correct. Correct. It's not like the basement of UTS oh, where it used to get like that a billion degrees. Boils. They're downstairs, you've got zero ventilation. There are no windows, there's no air. Yep. Anyway. We're just... likely to see Snake in England. I, I agree, I agree. So yeah, I played a couple of friendlies with uh, Stabby J last night and he sort of rinsed me, told me what to do properly. Stabby uh, J. Stabby J, yeah. yeah. A very cerebral player. Uh, I don't know too much about Rust, but I know he's very, very Long time vet. Okay. Uh, PR and Smash 4 as well. I did see um, a set of him at Big Cheese 1. Mm. So Affectionately referred to as Lord Rust. Lord Rust. Um, we're going to PS2 though. Pretty neutral stage for both these characters. I'm not yep. sure what they really get anything special. I don't think so. Yeah, okay. Rust keeping that pressure up. Don't want to let Stabby pull any grenades if possible. Oh, yeah. Bit of a misinput right oh, there. Probably, yeah, probably wanted to be a reverse grenade. Didn't want that Nikita to proc, but in the air right now. C4 on that platform. To a I like the idea with the Nair. Didn't mm. connect though. Again, a big active hitbox. It's going to be really good at confirming oh, yeah, enough grenades. So you're going to see Stabby J dial that a lot off a shield grenade. Let's see, nice spot dodge. Good job. Stabby J is bringing this percent back. Oh, yeah. And at reversal. You got the first stock. It's the classic you like to see time and time again. The snake up tilt. The leg, the anti-air. Yeah, exactly. The move is so good. Oh, yeah. And one of the best ways he's going to be able to kill consistently. Dropping that grenade, getting the easy 10. Trying to wall out the Inkling mm. approach. I like his movement, man. Be reversing the grenade to just keep out of Inkling's effective attack range. That time didn't work out well for him. Up for an up air, going to take it. I really like the way Stabby's playing though. He's putting down this wall of grenades, and when he happens to not have enough grenades out to do the wall, he dash attacked to yeah. cover Rust running. Yeah, exactly. And it's such a quick move, dash attack. A great get off me tool. Invincible at the front. Yeah, exactly. Now oh. back end, not killing though. Not quite the hit confirm. Nikita making it difficult to get back to stage as a normal day for Nikita. Better than some characters, you might say. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. oh, yeah, tries to deny the uh, follow-up with the C4, but Rust is just a bit too slippery right now. Yeah, just trying to absolutely not let Snake land. Mm. Yeah, he is nearing that um, down throw up tilt percent. Let's see what Rust is going to be able to do to Oh, he down absolutely tilt. is now. Yeah. Grab would be disaster for Rust. However, I don't think he's going to... I think Stabby even wants the grab. Yeah, I think he just wants to keep walling him oh, out. Oh, that's that a will good do it. spot dodge. 
Gets rid of his C4, puts another one down, refreshes the timer. I didn't. Yeah, I know. Oh, Good this time is... management. Oh, that's Grenade smart. Grenade to recover, well. but now he has to deal with Rust preventing him from landing. And again, that's the sacrifice player that you got to work with. Dash attack, blowing up two grenades. Oh, wow. Yeah, Cypher just coming in clutch so many, in so many of these interactions. Ooh. Here's the grab. I'm going to go for forward throw. Put up the wall again. Rust breaking through, however. That oh. up tilt, closing out the stock. Classic Pretty spot. dominant from yeah. Savage, honestly. Yeah, if you ask me. Rust had that first stock, got in a lot of pressure, mm -hmm. and Stabby put up the wall and nothing happened. Yeah. And that's a great option that he went for at the very, very end right there. The spot dodge up tilt just to stop the um, the sort of, sort of the aerial approach yeah. that he went for. I mean, I don't know why, I don't know why Sakurai had to tell us all about what uh, dodge attacks were with Terry. I mean, that already exists. It's just spot dodge up say, tilt yeah. the snake, right? <laughs> spot dodge anyone with a good up tilt. That kills yeah. as well. We're just going to be dialing that over and over in the scramble. Um, Stabby has said that this is one of Snake's harder matchups. I think he's playing this perfectly, but... He's prepared. Of, yeah, I think a lot of the time he is worried about um, a lot of Snake's normals low profiling. Uh, also, inkling low profiling a lot of Snake's normals. Mm. Um, you got to be careful of that dash dance. I well. imagine they play a lot. Yeah. So they're probably... You know, it's funny, right? The venue's the quietest I've seen it so far because they're both SA players. Yeah. So no one knows what to cheer for. Yeah. Well, everyone knows exactly, you know, either how this is going to play out or... How this is gone. I mean, this is my Do you know where Rust is ranked in SA right now? I have no idea. I know Stabby's three. I'd imagine he'd be. I want to put my money on like nine, nine or ten. Mid PR yeah. maybe. Yeah. Rust coming in. He's broken through the wall. Now he's got to prevent Stabby from landing. However, I wonder why they went to town. Because Rust is gonna have a hard time killing off the top with up throw up air. He probably wants to live for as long as possible against up tilt. Again, I mean, there's only a certain amount you yeah, can do. Yeah, exactly. Not going to be too much of a factor because Snake's just got so much kill power. Great kill from Rust. We've seen a few of those Nikitas from Stabby right? I don't think he meant to. I think yeah. it's meant to be like a B reverse grenade pull. Mm, exactly, yeah. Yeah. It's just part of, the, part of the trade when you play this character, right? Sometimes stuff like that happens. <laughs> I think we haven't seen much up smash from Stabby J. He's sort of been walling out on the stage as opposed to off stage mm. for the most part. I like the option to just go for more cerebral reads as well, you know, as opposed to just forcing an interaction. It's the first roller we'll see from Rust. <laughs> Here's the up air chance. Oh, and that's getting him so much value. I mean, this is where Snake suffers. He has a hard time landing. Oh, the you gotta make the most of it. Oh no, that's good great. tech. Good tech, but... Goes to the platform. Ah, smart. Yeah, we haven't seen much roller at all. I think it's good. Oh, what of sleeping with that. Again, the bait and punish. You try to follow up on Snake and disadvantage. You can just yeah, snipe Stabby you Day's out with a that. big fan of the minigame Where's the C4 where he sends you a picture of some sort of screenshot of some match. He's like, where's the C4? I mean, he just like, he just waits for a bit. And it's like, oh, I was wondering if you would notice it. And then he blows it up. He's <laughs> an anime villain. Yeah, exactly. I was wondering if you would notice my scheme. <laughs> what? Impossible. It was Impossible. <laughs> He misses it. Impossible. <laughs> I love how I just immediately go for the Vegeta voice. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna put it up the wall. Stabby Got the C4 content. ready. Mm, content with just playing at this distance. Oh, oh maybe not. Hey, tries to go in for a bit. Ah, nice. I like that. He went to the right side. Forced Rust to, to go to the left. C4 was waiting. Oh, no, I'm too. Yeah, Stabby showing some real dominance. Yeah, great catch from Rust. <laughs> Switch the stream thinking that it All was good. over, but... Stream wanna get a little bit hyped. I understand. <laughs> it's a hype set. Oh, this entire tournament has just been hyped. Oh. Yeah. There's the back air. Going to game three. Game three. We're doing best of fives now. Correct. This is winner's side. I think we're streaming all of winners for anyone on who wants to know. All of winners is being streamed on the mainstream, I believe. That sounds good. Sounds good. I, I don't know if it's mainstream. Is it mainstream or just like stream because of the side stream? Is the side stream still running or we just everything's I think on it's this? always running. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because I'd, I'd love for all the 
even the losers matches as well, just to be played on stream. It'll I take think. so long. Though. It does, yeah. But they've got the whole day to rock out to the top 64. It's true. So, and there's a good crowd here. Everyone's, no one's going anywhere. The energy is fantastic. Um, it's going to be a good time. Yeah. Having a bar in the venue is good. Oh, it is. It's so good. You feel bad because you, uh, you lost, you just go grab a beer. Just grab a cider or a beer or anything. Oh, little Mac. <laughs> oh, man. That's all right. That's all right. I got super messed up this weekend. I did really well in... Like, I felt like it was good games mm -hmm. against uh, Jacko. Last hit game three, and then I just got whooped by the Simon, who went really far in Amis. Yeah, all the... Um, now cakes. Now cakes. Yeah. Good kid, man. Like, putting on... Putting Noisy work. setups. Yeah, exactly. One, go! All right, going to town again. Rust enjoying this counter pick. I imagine Stabby's bands were just like Yoshi's, and like I don't know, Smash Roll. Yeah, Smash Roll seems to be a pretty good stage for Inkling. Um, and Rust does not, absolutely not want to take him to Lilat because that is Stabby J's favorite stage. Yes, you don't. Um, want to go there. Don't take him to Lilat. Whatever you do, folks. Pass up a toss. Nice. Rust is being much more patient this time. Not really just running in. Mm. I do like this hit and run technique as well. Oh, that's Ooh. dangerous as well. Stabby was ready for that to hit. Up there could have come. Watch the mortar. Yeah, and Snake loves the trade. Oh, oh. A Tries to what? punch with S smash. That's Definitely not fast enough. Mm. And then Nikita is going to close out the first dock. Sad hour popping off in the crowd because he loves his snake fam. <laughs> Nikki, baby. <laughs> what Stab loves to use is that smash throw with the grenades as well. Just yep. a bit of extra knockback um, just for those clutch situations. Throws so. it a bit further. Oh, great edge guard from Rust. Pushing Snake exactly where he doesn't want to be pushed. That's off stage. No punish, just a roll. So I think if he got the parry, he could have F-tilted maybe, but that's... Just trying to be safe. Yeah, exactly. Just opting to reset to neutral. Con content with trading and playing this game as well. Because I think he'd, he'd like the space as opposed to the damage. Rush just eating these grenades. Oh, dude. What's going on? So Very C4 patient, but... on that middle platform, Rust. He's going to have a hard time sort of landing in that middle. It's all right. Platform's out of the way. The threat is gone. Keep those nades up. Don't let Rust get in. That's the name of this game. So grab. Booyah percent. Up in. Definitely not going to kill. Oh, great Oh, the first roller we've seen, but doesn't oh. have time. Again, jumped up a bit. Didn't fast fall quite quick enough. Maybe it was just too slow. Oh, I didn't even see it. I would have died there too. I think me too, man. He tricked me. Took the life and kids. All right. We got to put the, put the wall up, just throw the grenades, wait for us to run in, react to his approach. Seems like a solid game plan. Goes to the platform. But this doesn't prevent much. He's still going to have to recover high. Nice. Get sent off the top. Air. And I think yeah. this is the closest we've seen a game yet. No, I do love how Rust is playing this. Um, definitely made some adaptations. Yeah, absolutely. There's the up smash. Looking for a back air. That'd be happy to play this camping game. Absolutely. Why wouldn't you be? It's been working yeah, so far. For as long as he wants, man. You can get those trades up, get that damage up until up tilt. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. It's a strat, man. Oh. That was so sick, Rust. Oh, that almost killed off the top. Cops a bit of a trade for it as well, but... And there it is. Where's the C4? Stabby J takes it 3-0 over Rust. Stabby J with the most explosive game of Where's Wally. And by the transitive property, mm. I guess that means WJ3OJDizzle. Yeah. <laughs> That's how it works, right? 
Yeah, I beat you and you beat him, so by definition, I beat Unfortunately, that guy. that's not how it works. <laughs> Not in, not in Smash. It's eight rock, paper, scissors. Yeah, this is, uh, exactly. 70, paper, 70 options in this game. 70 options plus, you know, 20 player plus skill moves. plus yep. different play styles. Correct. So, theoretically, an infinite amount it's of true. possibilities. I really don't like the way Inkling claps. Yeah, it's just a bit too too wet for me, I think. It's kind of like they, they did like a motion toying thing, but like. Forgot the in between keyframes. Yeah, it seems like there's a frame lacking. Because, yeah, right. Yeah, it's so jittery. Again, you could probably argue that that lends itself to like the cartoony and sort of wacky nature of Splatoon, but I still don't like it. That's true. Yeah. God damn it, Sakurai! Fix your animations. Yeah, exactly. it's the most important thing. How dare that's you? That's what we care about. How dare you? Give us a game that's unfinished. <laughs> We're getting Taicho and Rays. It looks like. Mm. So it's going to be Greninja. Alright, so Ray's plays all the sorties. He does. So I want to see Link, personally, but I don't think it's going to happen. Um, Alright, I got the trifecta, right? It's either going to be Link, Joker, or Dark Pit. I think it'll be Dark Pit. Yeah. That's what I've seen him play yesterday. Okay, good to know. Because, you know, he likes, um, he's told me he plays uh, Shulk as well. He just loves swords. He um, just likes swords, yeah. yeah. And why wouldn't you, right? They're great in this game. Always nice to have a... Sonic! Destroyed. Sonic! No, oh, okay. Okay, okay. I got freaked out for a second. I don't want to see that character. No one's seen that character I don't want since to see Smash it. 4. I don't want to see that character. <laughs> good for an 8-minute timeout, my friend. Oh, we got the banger. There we go. Taking this to Unova. I miss this stage, man. Why did we get rid of it? Bring it up with Sydney Smash, man. Yeah, I've I know. Everyone at Chef and tell them, yeah. tell them to bring, it bring back. back Unova. I want it back. It's uh, at chef underscore SSB for anyone. I, I seriously mean, go do it. <laughs> Time to bring back the stage, because we need it in Sydney. All right, Ray's willing to just shoot arrows. Taicho is the one who has to approach, really. Oh, you don't want to see those Greninja big combos. You don't want to be contesting against Greninja's normals, man. They're so quick. Definitely not. Yeah. That down tilt leads into guaranteed F, F uh, forward air most of the time. Mm. And when that stops working, it kind of leads into up air. Oh, you've got to be so careful as well. That nice. up smash, catching the tech in place. Good little scoop on that. Taicho using that dash attack to just get in. Break zone. Nice reflect. Bit of extra damage. And there's the forward air, closing out the first stock. So they're zooming ahead with a great read. Of course, Dark Pit can't change that arrow direction nearly as well as in regular Pit. It's more straight line, but it does more damage. Mm. And I guess the kills you need sometimes, those incredibly valuable snipes that Dark Pit yes, has got. Yes, definitely. I'm sure I've won re -raise, oh, Raisey a lot of games. Oh, he's right for something crazy right there. Forward throw gonna smoke him off the left. Got a great kill throw mm -hmm. at that. Here's the combos. Regrab. Oh, look at this. Yeah, Say yeah. hello to Twitter. Yeah. Oh. Raze is in the house. Raze doing what he does best, man. Making sure you get clipped and getting hit. Alright, that's not gonna be one of the mer one of the normals you can punish. Oh, you you got to be quick with punishing dash attack though. Yeah, it's, it's either very a shield fast. grab or a very fast near out of shield, which luckily Duck Pit has. Ooh. Here's a grab. What's the follow up? Forward throw. Put him off stage. Gets those arrows. Oh, he freaks him it. out. Yeah. The psychological warfare. Spooked as hell. May not do much percent, but it definitely does some mental percent. Especially with a recovery that's as linear as Greninja's. Or yeah. like, sorry, as manual as Greninja's, right? Yeah. You can't really angle it the way you want. Oh, great parry into the nair. Exactly what you need to do against approaching Greninja's. Definitely. It doesn't get the actual hitbox. Very strange. We haven't seen any Electroshock on stage, really. Just to recover. Yeah. You know, I feel like, yeah, in this high-level set play, it's better. Nice drag down. It's better to just use as like a recovery mix-up. Yeah. Um, bit of a commitment move. 
Taicho searching for something right now. Great catch. Oh, Taicho yeah. wanting to bring this back. Got a long road ahead of him, though. Doing what he does best, man. Outspacing the fair. Here's where it starts, though. Oh. Spot dodge punish. That's what he's going to do. Lead trap set up. Oh, here we go. It's party time. Friends here, and he's here to party. Jab. Massive damage. Again, and a good read from uh, Taicho. Goes for the goes for the counter. Sorry to shadow sneak. Get a drag down to maybe get re-raised the panic spot dodge. Cute little recovery as well. Taicho's bringing us back, keeping that stage pressure, keeping the ledge pressure, not giving Raze any room to move. Mm. I like the use of the resources there. That's right, going to be cool. it. Game one goes to Raze. Mm. That's good, actually. It's quite even. Uh, that, considering that Raze spooked Taicho. Um, Wait, is that how you say it? Yeah, I think so. Raze. Oh. I don't I know. I thought it was Raze, because he used to go. His tag used to be Re Raze. Re Raze, right? But I think it's capital R, A, capital Z, or Z, E. Maybe it's just the gamer who likes capitalizing letters. I don't know. I'll ask him later. Yeah. Crazy. I've been feel I've been seeing a lot of that lately because I was playing Breach when it came out, and it's uh bring me back to the 2008 days. Let me tell yeah. you that, dude. You got the XX underscore people XX underscore. pulling out their Xbox Live accounts because you have to log into Xbox yeah, Live. Yeah, yeah. Just take me back to Modern Warfare 2, man. Oh god. <laughs> Here we are. Nah. Yeah. No follow up. Great little coast to coast from Re Raze. Oh, gets the ledge trump. Goes for the. Oh, okay, both of them missing their edge guards. Nair too. What? Goes for a re grab. Oh, great it's use of Shadow go. Sneak. Yeah. Sort of mixing him up right there. Again, great little retreating fan. Taicho's got all the momentum right now. Oh that, man! It. They needed that tech bounces off by accident. Resets back to neutral again. Oh, nice little jab check. The tricky stuff. Absolutely. Got to respect from Greninja when he's coming back to stage. Shadow sneak. Good trade. Up smash. Taicho taking the first stock. Quiet pop off from the stream runner who can't say anything. <laughs> We see the first time that work that move working properly this set as well. You know, it's very yeah. common that characters fall out of um, the, the up smash. Hit, yeah, yeah, the one that you want. <laughs> Multi hits always a big meme in, in general. Yeah, welcome to ultimate. Here we go, party time. Oh, that, oh, that was, was so what? sick, and an auto cancelled as well, that so he could have cool. followed up with a grab. Ray Z, the technician. Oh, and Greninja Pivot Grab is crazy. Dropping the arms, being patient. Taicho's got the stock lead, he has no reason to be overly aggressive. Yeah, but... Oh my god. Nice no, little jump check. Closing it out. I like the trump there. I think it's, it's very beneficial for Pit as well. That's gonna do Great it! Great hit confirm. That down tilt... Best thing in Gren's kit, honestly. Oh, honestly, yeah. Because you can follow up into nearly anything that kills, right? It's, so it's basically unpunishable as well. The only problem is you, they've got to be at that right percent, right? That maiden percent, otherwise... I think it's actually a pretty wide range. Yeah, you reckon? Yeah, because you can put it into different things. Yeah, I guess. I yeah. guess yeah. The up smash is a pretty niche one, I think. Mm. Oh! Had the spot dodge call out, though. It's like true to his character, just staying so slippery. Mm, absolutely. Oh, look at that. Landing with the Nair. Ray's gonna do down throw back. Oh, end. that's a sick confirm. And he made the uh, get up attack whiff as well by a uh, short hopping. Nice. Oh, he wants something. Oh, oh fucking god. Okay, yeah, good reactions from Crazy. Had to check himself. Let's chill out for a sec. <laughs> Calm down, Taicho. Back throw. He wants this stock now. He really does. Oh, 
Well, that was dangerous for a moment. Oh, Chris great confirm. Back in. Four there, sorry. Oh, well, that time. Doesn't confirm. Right, so he's just doing a good job of using the DI to just mix uh, Taito up a bit. Mm. That's what you got to do with these high percents, right? And pretty soon, stuff's going to be a lot harder for Greninja to kill out, especially with that much rage. But this is reset. So we'll see. So let's see what Greninja can do. I think he really only needs a down turn now. Oh, even fair from center stage. Not going to be killing. Next fair should probably do it, though. Oh, it's blow for blow right now. Parry on the down air, but Greninja just pops back up. Yeah, gets the jump up. And Pike, what? Just living. Ray's on his last legs. Just flexing right now. Oh, dude, he had the spacing figured out and he everything, did, yeah. but Ray Z. Making things work. Oh, that's going to do it for, for sure. Taito taking game two to even out the set. Great composure from Taito. Not cracking at all that entire last stock. Knows that Greninja has a tough time killing. And if he starts fishing for too much stuff, that's where Razi gets where his punish game started. Yeah, I agree. Oh, rough. The team kill. Trojan's in <laughs> Sydney wins, but Sydney loses. The Airbnb team kill. Yo. We're getting the link. Yo. Big team. Yo. All right, Ray, Ray, uh, Ray Z. Three, Show us what you got. Two, one, go. Wants to mix things up here with his character switch. Absolutely. Actually, I think this gives more, opens up more opportunities for Tiger. Because he wouldn't do, he would never do full Sharken versus Pick as a reflector. Mm. See, now we're seeing more charged Sharkens because there's no danger. Oh, oh, that's a heartbreak. That's a rough one as well. Here's a punish though. Oh, no punish from the jab. Maybe it's a lot safer than we think. Down for up tilt. Oh, Boomerang's coming back though. Nice. He's Dodges it, gets it. two up airs. Great recognition from Taicho. Down throw. Empty hop jab. Tries to get the neutral air dodge down, but Taicho just jumping clear of that setup. Ray sees a up bomb smash. technician, but. Not gonna kill. Taika wants to start with a bit of rage on his side as well. Like they polish the stock off. Oh, dude. Four turn. There's the forward air, Good. closing out the first turn. Yeah, great pick up from Taicho. And even though his kill percent from Link, you know, he's got a decent amount of rage to work with. Oh! I'll be out of shield. Oh, there's that That's forward That's a kill. cute setup. <laughs> Ray's got a full stock lead here. I mean, unsafe on hit. Yeah, it's up B for you at low percents. Oh, there's the bomb. <laughs> Playing a bit of a hacky sack right there. There's the dash attack to forward it. No, back air, sorry. Yeah, raw back air. Set up on stage. He's got the shurikens out. Cute little grab. Ray's really liking those um, near down throws. Oh yeah. Even short hop up air as well makes it he makes it look so real. Whoa! Oh. I swear he had that one figured out. As punish picks up the bomb, piffs it. Oh, that's dangerous. Try to protect back. Oh, he's gonna finish that it out. is so strong. Raise up 2-1.
And that's a very honest out of shield move, right? Not exactly the fastest, but it's honest. Yeah, exactly. And if you block it, he's opened up to all sorts of punishment, right? He's there for so long. Mm. You don't have to worry about any of the multi-hits sucking you back in, because that is just one hit on the ground. Yeah, I mean, I think what we saw was Taicho trying to hold ledge pressure. Yeah. But Ray's also was building up percent while fighting his way back on. Mm. Like, it wasn't like, he wasn't just getting, like, chucked off stage constantly. He was doing damage back as well. Yeah. And I think because that works so well, Razy's going to be happy to stick with his character. Absolutely. Um, going into game three. Game three right now, 2-1. Razy wins this to advance to the next stage. I think that makes him into, puts him in top 16. Uh, no, not quite. Has to win one more, right? No, I think this would be this would be round one of top, uh, top 32. Yeah, okay. Actually, you might be right. We'll see. I, I should know by now. Yeah. <laughs> it's always confusing to figure out, but either way. All right, there's the bomb. Up to the field. This is going to be a pretty good approach character, especially with that massive double jump of his. But even the regular full hop is massive. And there's the two up airs. So yeah, it's like... Oh, that's a bit of an interesting option. Maybe try to get some DI air dodge down. There's the boomerang. The bomb catching Taicho on the platform. Bomb on the field. Oh, oh no, he's still, no, he's still got a jump. He had a jump as well. Oh, that scooped him up, but not quite going to kill off the top. Oh, that's very so honest. Happy. Keep you in check, man. I know my frames. <laughs> Getting rid of that bomb with the shuriken. Ray's gonna oh, be up man. in. Every hit from Link just puts on so much pressure on Taicho's side. So Link can kill pretty early. I mean, so can Greninja, but the stars really gotta align. Oh man, just the one hit. Taicho really needs to close out this first stock. What he does, we're gonna get a shuriken. Trying oh, to dude. gimp with the voice yeah. out. Okay, yeah, trying to use the the boost. Mm. Has to really settle this stuff. Wow, wow. that's so much knockback and full rage on Razor's side. Yeah. Greninja not exactly the heaviest Scaring character. All of Razor's way. There's nice. a down Con tilt yeah. forward air. Confirm he needed to stay alive in this in this game and this set as well, mind you. Getting that first stock. Long mountain to climb though. Oh, it's some damage right now. Great punish, drop down. And he's been so on point with that. Yeah, it's a good vibe check. Exactly, just styling every time. Wow, does it again? the bomb forward air. Oh no, falling out of the multi-hit. Yeah, not working. Oh, great spacing from Taicho. Dash in, dash yeah. out. I like it. Check that just a bit. Ooh, using that massive double jump. Maybe air would have punished that ledge trap set up. Mm. Oh man. He wants to end, end things right now, but... Oh, there yeah, and he's checked him on that every Ray's single taking time. 3-1 over Taicho. Don't dash attack my shield, buddy. Don't, don't do even, it. Don't even, like, poke my shield, man. Who do we have next? I see Purple Lake standing up. I do see him standing up. Purple Lich.
couple X. Our resident New South Wales member. Yeah, well, we've claimed him. Despite, we've claimed him. Despite the fact that he, he said was, it on Twitter. Yeah. It's official. I think it's pretty respectful. Victoria can't take him no, from us. No, you can't. You can't. That's, that's, uh, that's a beautiful, beautiful New South Wales man. Uh, yes, so he's from Germany. He's PR over there. And he is quite the player. He's been... Uh, Rose quickly to the top of the Sydney scene. Yep. Uh, but right next to him, we have another person from New South Wales who's been in Vic for a little bit. Mm. Rizal. Rizal. Who is also very, very talented. Oh, yeah. Nest um, player. These two, obviously. I don't know if they've ever played before. I don't think so. In, in Ultimate. Because Rizal's sort of been out when now Purple Edge in. came in, but he's back in at this, at this event, which is great. Unfortunate that these two had to meet in bracket. You know, we want to see New South Wales go far, but... It is winners. It is winners. So, you know, they've There's only so chance. much you can do to avoid Exactly, clashes. yeah. Especially this late in bracket, so... Let's see what these two are going to be able to show us. So um, we're going to see some Ness Wolf, probably. Yeah. I, mean, I don't imagine we'll see Snake into yeah. Ness. Well, I know that... I think Killian in particular dislikes... Nest Snake. It's pretty bad because yeah. all the explosions can be... But then, yeah, I guess I had a chat to Stabby J. It is, it is very, very... It is doable, put it this way. It's not unwinnable. It's not preferable. Yeah, right? exactly. Especially when you have a wolf. Mm. And a wolf as polished as Purple H is, of course, is going to be flexing that for sure in this matchup, right? Get those claws out. Get your down smashes ready. Mm. Get your down throw dash attacks ready. What's he going for? That's 114. I don't know. Haven't seen that one from before. S114. I'm trying to season one, episode 14. Yeah. He's a big fan of some TV show. Yeah, definitely. What kind of TV do you reckon Purple H watches? Uh, I want to say reality, but... Yeah, I can feel it. Yeah. I vibe with that. I want to say reality. Big fan of season one, episode 14 of Big Brother. Of Big Brother. Or no, um, this is true, because he had that yeah, Smash yeah, tournament yeah. idea about Big Brother. Oh, no, but was that you? No, no, that was him. That was yeah. all him. I sort of just added to it. Um, I think the idea was, yeah, you get a bunch of people in the one house, top 15 players from yeah. Australia in the one place. Big Brother style, mic up the room, cameras everywhere, have a bunch of mini games for them to play. And obviously the worst Smash player that week or that day gets voted out or kicked out. There'd be no drama though. That's no, exactly, yeah. Because we're all too chill. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we're not American, unfortunately. Anyway, into this top 32 set. Purple H, Rizal, PS2. The Purple H showing that weird... People always comment on it, that European play style where he doesn't really move. Always walks around. But they never let you, get gra they never let you grab them, ever. Oh yeah. Never mind. Oh, great out of shit off it from Ness as well. The Nair is going to be able to check Wolf's approaches, but see how Purple H is going to be playing this. Trying to figure out what Rizal's game plan is really going to entail. Lots of lasers, of course, is what seems like a good idea. Someone's popping off on the side screen. <laughs> No punish. Oh, oh great, great insect. Yeah, it's a back. I think he's killed himself. Oh, he's though. killed himself though. Fast forward, just a bit too quick. Ryzen will take it though. Oh, for sure. Can Purple H's Wolf? Mate. Taking everything I can. Few and far between those yeah. SDs. That's the thing, he rocks a down smash twice because there's enough cooldown on it to go for another option straight after. Definitely. Such a great move. out of range for that shield grab to connect. Mm. I'm surprised. Great oh, read on dude. the roll. Yeah. Oh, double force still. He comes Rizal though. He's keeping up the pressure. Yeah, Scooped good. by the up smash. Scoop up smash again. Another really, really great out of shield option. Wolf. But Wolf has the bonus of being able to scoop from so far away. Yeah, definitely. Even if they cross you up. Down throw dash tap. Here we go. Tomahawk, maybe. Peppering with lasers right now. So not committing too much. Knows that side magnet is up. Ready to roll. Mm -hmm. Absorbing a quick, maybe like 9% each time. 
Oh, forward smash. Give him the open hand paw, the Buddha palm. Great angles from Rizal. Snapping ledge, normally pretty hard to do that with Ness. But he's been playing this character for like, you know, 10 years or something yeah, like that. Yeah, something right? like that. Down throw. Oh, I saw that up there coming. He wanted that drift. Started forward tilt, doubles down on it. So he doesn't want to let uh, Rizal have any stage control at all. Oh, Untackable. Not much you can do there. Go. Oh, that was so sick. Reads a jump out of shield. Yeah, the mix up, man. Well, when he jumps like that, you're always thinking Tomahawk's coming, man. But uh, Double H knows to mix things up. Oh, oh the rocket! Yes! Rizal's sick. Rise will give him the classicness mix up. Let's go, my Airbnb. <laughs> Damn it, my Airbnb. Come on. <laughs> He's this in is your, my Airbnb. Yeah, yeah, in yours, yeah, right? Mine, yeah, yeah. This is the, 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 <laughs> the Inter Sydney Airbnb clash. Come on, Purple Lake. Maybe there is room for Big Brother in our community. <laughs> See, so yeah, trying to avoid that PK Thunder. Hmm. Went to the other side of Ness, got hit by the classic mix-up. Right, let's see. Him. Back to PS2. Just kick him in the feet. Down throw, goes for the forward air combo, doesn't land it. That laser is very hard to deal with if uh, Ryzen wasn't prepared to magnet. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, that note could have been scary, but. Like, holding a sigh of relief. The roll past the F smash. I don't know how valuable Reflect is going to be in that interaction right there. Would have been worth know. something this might kill? Not quite, maybe. Not like, yet. Oh, this is bad. Oh, Reed to the up yeah. smash. Now, where to go at that point, right? Even if you air dodge inwards, that up smash has such a good range on it. It does. Oh, man, purple. Fiending for this kill. Try to do the same. We'll set up the empty hop uh, up smash. Gets the tomahawk instead. Unfortunately, Wolf can't kill too easily with throws, so he needs a solid hit. Mm. Still has that option. Maybe not at this percent. This percent, possibly at ledge. A back lead, man. Back throw, yeah. Yeah. Maybe. Oh, wow. Able to jab out of that, yeah. Getting a bit antsy. Pressuring for a. Up smash oh, will yeah. do it, bro. Taking the first stop from Rizal. Exactly what you gotta do as well, punishing just those dash attacks. <laughs> just chilling. Just waiting for a bit. Purple's thinking, man. The cogs are turning, he's trying to figure Cogs something are turning, out. dude. The machine is worrying. Oh, there we go. He's figured something out. He's trying to push Ness. Disadvantage a bit more. Oh, this is bad. Goes for a magnet confirm, misses the magnet though. There's the grab, shield grab as well. Oh. Can't take in, can't take in place. <laughs> Absolutely not. Wolf back as spacing them. One in try and catch the mess as he jumps in. Now back Yikes. throw taking it. Yeah. yeah, that's pretty fresh from Rizal's side. Only dial it twice, so. Plenty of kill power at his disposal. Smash not quite gonna do it off the top. There's a Nair. Down smash set up. Rising fair, but trying to convert into a dare. This oh, is gonna hurt a lot though. Massive damage. Oh Another no. Another one. 65. That dash attack. Closing out the stock. Get a taunt just for some mental enthusiasm. Oh, the taunt to power up. I'm a big fan of that. 
great air dodge to get to the platform to avoid that pick and fly setup. Not gonna get me with that this time, yet. too far away. Does need a bit more percent to work with before he's sort of comfortable to box, I think. Does not, Definitely. Does not want to risk a back throw at this at ledge at this percent, so. Now. Forward air back air. It's comfortable for uh, purple. Purple edge bringing this back. Forward air into what? Get away from the wolf to land, the approach, put out the wall. Oh, that's a it's very close and up to confirm. Purple Edge would spot dodge, so didn't. <laughs> great, great rollout. Again. He doesn't want to approach Ness at the ledge. He really doesn't want to get grabbed. No, he knows, he knows. He has to fight Ness center stage, and even then, one mistake is going to cost him at 137, so. He does not want to risk a back throw whatsoever. Oh, that was a risky laser. Not quite going to do it off stage, though. Gonna do gets the go for a three. No. Oh, scooping it. Purple eight. He's hyped. Off. He's hyped. Oh, he's ready. He's locked and loaded. He's hyped. He's got the fish shake. You might be scared, but you know in Sydney it it happens all the time. It just means he's ready, dude. Just another day at the office, of Purple Lake. He needs to release yes. that old pent up emotion. Yes. Oh, got something <laughs> in my eye. <laughs> Ooh, all right. Where are we heading to? What do you think? What's the band here if you're a Rizal? Oh, what's the counter pick, sorry. What's the counter pick if I'm Rizal? Kalos, I guess. Yeah, Kalos. Yeah, no, that makes sense. Uh, <laughs> now I've got to reverse engineer this decision. Um, I don't know, probably wants to live a bit longer to the up smash out of shield. That yeah, seems to be seems copying to him a lot sense. more. Uh, Wolf has a wall jump, right? Uh, I don't know, actually. I think so. I'm pretty sure he does. That might come into play here, we'll see. Down for a forward air. Gonna get another one. Easy 30 so far. Falling out of the second hit. Oh, it's going to cop big percent because of it. 79. Yeah, PK fire lock. Hangs ledge. Drops back out. Oh, man. And i got to say, Pepper Lake's always the smoothest tunnel hawks as yeah, well. Yeah, definitely. That's exactly the right angle to just fade right in. Ness. Getting juggled off stage. Gets the wall bounce, makes it back. Great play from Rizal. Purple Lake covering all bases, man. And that forward sure. tilt taking it. Making sure that Ness stays off stage and remains off stage. Oh no, that's a big with punish. That back air closing out the stock. Very even game so far. Oh yeah, confused them with the angle as well. Yeah, definitely. Grab. Oh, Doing another one. Yo, oh, great that read. Killed center stage. What a monster move. Oh, a bit slow on that Tomahawk rise. Yeah, Pepper had to scout it out. <laughs> it's the right idea, though. Spot dodging the. Yeah. Um, the grab. Down throw, dash attack. And we are now in the ledge trap situation. Rizal takes control though. Things are now reversed. Purple like still has a stock to work with though. Absolutely. Complaining what are we going to see? Around. Yeah. Makes it back to center stage, regains some control. 
Now we're going to see that ledge trap come into play again versus Ness. Oh, that's death. Back throw will be death yeah. here. And Rizal. Oh, look at that little kid run. He goes fast. Let him go, Johnny. Oh man, look at that, covering all the bases. The quick nair to catch a neutral get up. Oh man. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> Still feel double jump bait. What is Rizal going to do? 14%. Very big disadvantage for Rizal. Can't afford to take any more hits. Oh, this is not quite good for Purple. That's surely not going to do it. Oh, just man. Just living. Just. Thank you, Lucky Stars, for this counter pick, right? Kalos. How many clutch might be the edge he needs? The Nair is so fast. That will do it, though. Purple H up 2 1 versus Rizal. But not fast. Needs one more game. Extremely optimal. The BKB guys mm. in the front row popping off for their boy. BKB. BKB. Who's playing on the side stream? People are gathered. Seems I'm gonna take like a look. A, seems like a big one. Can't tell. Pardon? What's up? Oh, we're just wondering who's playing on the side stream, that's all. Alright, taking it to game four. Here we go. Three, Unova. Two, one, go. Here we go. Being very patient down for. I think that was meant to be a dash attack, a miss input though. Great parry. Forward air punches coming out from Rizal here. And what is Purple H going to do at the ledge? We're going to see some ledge trapping. Goes oh, for yeah. a down smash but misses it. And the usual stuff from Purple H, right? Down smash, forward tilt, using the Nair as well after he's done one of those to cover his bases. Mm. Whatever the um, Rizal decides to do from ledge, obviously. That Nair is going to scoop you and reset the situation. We'll tech on that, rolls back in, Rizal. Nearly had the right idea, just missed the spacing. Probably he's trying to look for jumps, I think, by down smashing on the top platform. Oh, for sure. He's a big fan of that as well. So it's just he's a big fan of the down smash on the platform. Oh yeah. Yeah, as unorthodox as it looks, it's quite good. Won him some games. Missing the up smash. Rise will be able to take center control again. It's going to be that forward throw. Up air. Not going to do it off the top. Back throw. Not killing, of course, but setting up a ledge situation. Can he tech? He can tech. Oh. That's going to be death for a double rage. But it rolls him into a sticky situation. <coughs> Gets the power up. Woohoo! Sending out those lasers, of course it doesn't matter at early percent if he heals because he's at zero. Yeah, exactly. And he's going to mess up at least once, right? It's not exactly easy to time that side magnet if Purple X Definitely. mixes up his uh, laser timing. Oh, dude. Nearing straight through. Back throw, get him off stage, set up the harassment tools. Back throw. Yeah. Nice. Still saved this double jump, so making it a lot easier to recover. Whip yeah, punish. definitely. Yeah, trying to whip punish a dash attack. Surely not. Nor killing. He's 
what is Purple Edge going to be searching for? It's being evasive for now. Nice little turnaround dash attack. Just a quick first move. Look at that, how that immaculate spacing. Oh yeah. Dead. Oh, Rizal healing some percent from dropping your laser. It's in a good spot with a stock lead. Dead for sure. Oh, that's a massive trade, exactly what Purple Absolutely. needs. Absolutely. Even game now. Oh, yeah. Getting so much value from that tip of down smash. Raz is trying to start something, and Purple Hedge wants none of it. Willing to just sit and wait. Into dash attack, laser. Let's track time. Oh, that is such a good string. Knew exactly what Rizal's defensive options were at every moment. Big fan of that neutral air dodge. A forward up smash. Arm. Big forward smash. Yeah, using that directional air dodge like a third jump. But does have to be careful because it does make it a bit more easier to two frame. That way, it has brought back the percent lead now. Throw. Oh, there you go on the field, maybe. Up. No, Purple Egg wants none of it. Wants none of it, yeah. Here go. There's oh. that dash attack. Purple H taking it. Dash attack. 3 1 of Arisal. Pops off. Big Let me see the hug. Ghost and Sadow on the mainstream now. That's a big one. That's a big one. I think we are approaching the top 16 bracket. We must be. Yeah. Let me, let me ask, actually. Is this still top 32? Okay, good to know. All right, this is still top 32, so we're going to see Sad Hour and Ghost sticking around for a bit longer. Yeah, that's. I think that's good. Oh. Yep. Cool. Ghost rocking to me, Brawler. At least I assume so. Versus a snake. Sad hour. He also has a Lucina. The Lucina. We might see it. Who knows? In this matchup it might be it might be real, right? Possibly. Um, Having a sword to contest against a brawler type is always quite good. Always good, yeah. Um, I agree. You want to beat out those stubby normals. But, you know, with the Mies, they always got that weird stuff, right? <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> they got that weird stuff. You always have the matchup experience, or you have the upper hand when it comes to that matchup. Mm. There's that weirdness, you're just not sure. Yeah, exactly. Unpredictability, and I think that's what Ghost has been thriving on. Um, and obviously his fundamentals as a player has a Peach, has a Joker. Yeah. Um, but I think this edge, this actually gives him a big edge, I think. Mm -hmm. Very I scary. So we'll see, man. Ghost did take out the um, evac. So I think it was the pre-major weekly. Oh, he did? I think okay, he took cool. it out. Yeah. Beating Extras Wolf. Ghost is currently number one player in South Australia, I believe. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Um, one of the few South Australians that can really contest nationwide. Loads of right. cheese, mate. Definitely. Loads of cheese. Double cheese. Double cheese? Double cheese. Double cheese. What's good, guys? That was a sick transition. I love that. Loads of cheese. Loads of cheese. <laughs> Loads of cheese. Well, what is I'm your favorite cheese, Chipotle? Camembert. Oh, I like it. Camembert. Yeah, yeah, good option. Sometimes, you know, you do feel like the dirty craft singles. They work oh, God. Right. The space yeah. cheese. Yeah, the space cheese. The plastic cheese. Yeah. The it astronaut sometimes. cheese. Sometimes you feel it. You're like, dude, give me some of that dank stuff. I want to fe like peel the plastic off, have my cheese like fall apart as I'm peeling <laughs> the plastic <laughs> off. Um, using I was using guess, guess D, guess D, D of course. Guess, guess D. Two three three two, the combo that Ghost loves to use. So, correct me if I'm wrong. Is that that's not shot put, right? That's the flurry punch. Uh, I think so. And it's the the piston punch up B. Piston thing. punch up B. He loves that. The I know that. flip kick, obviously. 
to extend the recovery. And I want to know. know oh no, suplex, right? He uses suplex. suplex, yeah? suplex yeah. Okay, good to know. Because I know he likes to use the flurry punches to catch like neutral air dodge when they're falling down. Mm. Just like puts a meaty yeah, hitbox yeah. there. Takes him off the top and it's mad strong as well. Um, suplex obviously for the damage. Mm -hmm. And um, what was the last one? The flip oh, kick. flip kick, flip kick, just to get out of disadvantage. Just some movement, yeah. Because yeah. you need that as me, Brawler. Not exactly the best offstage game, but definitely not. <laughs> We'll, sh we'll see. We'll see how that does against that hour's um, snake. I assume snake, yeah. yeah. I think he'll rock the snake round one. If he doesn't work, we might see the sword come out to play, but... Yeah, maybe. Mm. Either way, Queensland just rocking the front row. Mm -hmm. I, think, I see Ari, I see... Sh uh, not Shatashi. I know Shatashi's sitting down right there. He is. And, um... And Shadru. Shaddy Daddy. Shaddy Daddy. Shaddy Daddy. Shaddy Shaddy Daddy. As they affectionately yeah. call him up in Queensland. He's <laughs> a beast, man. Dadger. Dadger. <laughs> Dadger, are we... <laughs> are we getting McDonald's? It's like, no, son, there's McDonald's at home. And it's like... Yeah, we have <laughs> It's like McCain's chips or something. Oh, I don't God. know. All right. Here we go. It is the snake. So we're going to be seeing Brawl versus the snake. Here comes the grenades. Oh, tried to go for the suplex yeah. right there, but just dashing, dash attacking him out of it. There's a down air out of shield, great off the snake. Mm. You can see those grenades, he's happy to take those trades all day. Happy to have them set up on the field. Definitely. Ghost doesn't really have a projectile to work with to contest these grenades as well, though. Up tilt, not killing, but so strong. Yeah. Oh, this, compared to the last game, this game yeah. seems so aggressive, man. And Snake, normally a defensive character, but Sad Hour seems so just aggro with his ledge traps. Yeah. Nice grab, that might do it. Not yet. Not quite. Next Rubble grab will. Grab definitely do it. will. Grenade That's the killing. smash throw, right? Bit extra knockback just to clinch it out at that 150, 160%. Yeah, definitely. Thank you, Stabby J, for that info. And then comes Ghost Lose Oh, Trust. man. Misses Ghost. the up yeah. but had the read. Oh. Scoops the roll with the double, with the forward tilt, too. Great out of shield from Sad Hour. And we see our flip kick to get out of danger. Mm -hmm. There's that oh. piston punch, catching the air dodge, closing out Ghost, uh, Sad Hour's first up. Lots of grenades pulling out. Yeah, Sad Hour really had nowhere to go in that interaction also. Landing is hard for Snake. Yeah. There's only so much you can really do with B-reverse grenades, and that up from Ghost really does put in work, but either way. Oh, up tilt. So strong. This rocks it raw. Close range mortar. It's a nice trade off of that. Oh, that was yeah, sick. Bro. Grabs him. Piss and oh, punch. man. Kills off the top. Schmixed him with the DI. You Takes him in. Schmixed. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. That's a max rage meat brawler. That's that weird stuff we were talking about. Yeah, Not absolutely. used to an angle like that. The ghost has the lead. He wants, he wants an up tilt. I think it's fiending for it right now. As if that happens, sets up the trap. Mortar, don't is. grab me, man. Yeah, absolutely not. Get me out of that suplex. Oh boy, yeah, having that C4 on that platform, just, ah, oh, that's a rough yeah. misinput. Obviously wants to be reverse grenade as all snakes do. Woo. Nice movement from Sad Hour. Yeah. 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 straight out of the range of that grab, but again, this is costing him. Piston punch. Not quite close enough to the top blast zone to really do anything. Lots 
some grenades. Garrett's got a large percent lead, another piston punch. Oh man, where's the C4? Who knows? Nobody knows. It's about to jump. Oh, I love Ghost fading in there, not but that's not gonna. Yet. Yeah, not gonna kill from the ground. Back that there. certainly will, though. Ghost taking the first game over Sad Hour. Unfortunate man, it does seem like Sad Hour's sort of game plan with snakes uh, uh, appears a lot more aggro than what Stabby J was going yeah, for. Yeah, definitely. Um, I can but see it, it. And, it, and it definitely was working in that game one, especially towards the uh, like the first two stocks. Mm -hmm. He did get schmixed. Much more aggressive though. Yeah, exactly. Unfortunate that he got schmixed to oblivion by that piston punch, but what can you do? So Joe and Lumi are doing some practice, so I'm assuming that means Lumi beat Trojans. So. Is Trojans Joe or is Trojans... Did they switch tags? No, why would they? Because Joe said he lost to Sad Hour. But Trojans lost to Sad Hour. Trojans lost to Sad Hour. Joe might have lost later in winners? Yeah, okay. Maybe Joe was just really sad that Trojans lost, because I thought Joe lost when he told me No, that. I think Joe's still in winners. Yeah. I think. Day is, I know Day is. Yeah, okay. Anyway, going into game two. Oh! Combing off the grenade as well. That is the sickest Spicy. thing. Spicy. Your blast is my blast? <laughs> yeah, Mikasa Sukasa. Yeah. Blasted my blast? Oh, just Whoa. suplex on top of the grenade. That looks so. That was like the manliest thing ever. Despite the fact that Ghost is using the. Is that Daisy? Yep. Yep. Ah, this chick's got this chick's got some hands to throw, man. Grenades. Up the wall, but Ghost certainly knows how to get through. Set hour not out of the woods yet. Oh, that did that actually sent him at a pretty good angle to nearly catch the uh, recovery, but mm. almost hour. getting it. Yeah, I know. Looking for the back air there. Oh. A little bit of a standoff right there at ledge. Yeah, a bit of a stare down. A dash tag punching through. Right not going to kill way. just yet, but a grab certainly will. That grenade's going to take Ghost off the top. Oh, yeah, away. exactly. Smash throw grenade. Sometimes it works. Back around dash attack. Nearly had the platform retreat scouted out from Ghost's yeah. side. Oh, and there's dude. that piston punch. Ghost evening it out. I actually think Piston Punch is that perfect angle to catch Snake's little dip up, right? Yep, absolutely. Very, I agree. Very good, like, parabolic drift. Not quite going to shmix him this time. Not enough rage. Already built up 67%, though. Yeah. 83. Looks like it's true as well. Depending on DI, obviously. Oh. Not killing. It's risky every time. That's Go. really scary with that stage four. You really got to keep an eye out. Here we go, back air. Ghost looking for the edge guard. Oh, oh waited dude. for it. Oh my god. Great fast falls from Ghost as well after he rocks the up B. Just so it can reset to ground. That hour just trying to put as many explosions out as possible. We need to catch Ghost with something. Put him on disadvantage. Smash throw grenade. Sets up the mortar. Yeah, it's trying to get Ghost to play in his zone, but I think Ghost knows a lot better to... To, to play snakes game. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I agree. However, Sad Hour's back in the lead. Bit of an unfortunate overextension from Ghost's part, but... That seems extremely negative. Good punish with the dare. Mm -hmm. Dash up dare. I like that. Yeah, great. 
clever, clever man. Putting that Nikita out to drop it on top of yeah. Ghost's head. You got, you got the Sam Q, but again, you don't know where it's coming from because you don't know how far he's going to shoot it. Yeah, exactly. And deactivate it. And it's coming through. Oh, that was meaty. From One out. stock apiece. Ghost's got a lot of comeback to do here. You think grenades all day gets caught by two? 15 on Ghost's side. Thought that dash attack would cross no, it no, up. Tilt's gonna up do tilt. it. Sad hour on the board. Sad hour on the clock, man. Absolutely. Sad hour. This couch is too comfortable. Gotta it, sit up. It really is. I, I'm getting sleepy. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Right. <laughs> and it's the perfect temperature as well, where you can just like, oh, I'll just sink back yeah. and I'll let that down smash. <laughs> Grenades. <laughs> Grenades, reads, oh, perfect summer weather. I know, right? It's actually pretty nice in the cast. We got the fan as well. Yeah, we do. Okay. Here we go. Heading over to Battlefield. Sad hour. Or well, probably Ghost wants that platform extension. Definitely. Keep in mind that Sad hour does have the ability to deny a single platform with uh, C4. Oh. Big, big lead from Ghost so far. Lots of hits. Here's the suplex. Suplex City. Grenade. Oh, oh. that would have been sick. <laughs> there it is. Ghost. Quick stock off the top. Mixed him with a DI. Actually, that is so quick. I don't even know if good DI would have helped him. So you're never anticipating that follow-up. Counter pick stage working wonders for Ghost right Seems now. Seems that way. And he's got enough room to maneuver around the grenades and the traps the snake has set up. Here we go, he's in. Getting off stage, but he's now coming back. Still basically a full stock lead. Happy to be patient and camp out the platforms. Willing to just wait for an opening yeah. against uh, Sad Hour here. Because well, it is a bit hard for Snake to cover that top platform, yeah, especially definitely. if he's not up there himself. Oh boy, here we go. Is he sticked? No, he's not. Uh, oh, that's not going to kill yet. It is getting real close. Field, does it reverse the punish? Great hit confirmed from Grenade into up mm. The snake Sad hour true. evening the stock count, but not the percent lead. Again, yeah, nothing. Yeah, nothing. So cool. Oh, far out. This percent deficit is nothing Sad hour can't make up, but with the way Ghost is playing, just avoiding everything. Wow, the movement. Yeah. He just dropped down on a couple platforms, gets a suplex, wins that ledge trap scenario. Ghost looking very, very dominant this game. Absolutely. I think we're going to see more platform extensions. That's really what he wants from Battlefield. Yeah. Here we go. Oh, that's exactly what you need to that's do. That's going to be it. Ghost taking game three, so he's up 2-1 to Sad Hour. Ghost. Ghost. And if I was Sad Hour, I would be frantically banning Tripods. Battlefield, yeah. yeah. Instantly, right now. You know, lock it in, Chief. But no I'm more Tripods, please. Yeah. Well, yeah, exactly. If I was Sad Hour, I'd be like, yep. They get me out of there. Don't take me to that... That low ceiling stuff. Mm. So we're not seeing a Lucina yet. We may see one in the future. Back to PS2. Who well, knows? Might be a secret game five pick. Uh, we'll have to see. Yeah, we'll see. Suplex, Suplex City. City. What are we going to see? Here's the Nikita. Definitely oh. a mistake, so we're going to see the flurry of punches come out. It's a punch.
punished, right? Misses the piston punch. The hit effects from these two are so cool. Ghost is willing to trade though. Also, Snake is just willing to trade, right? I suppose. Primed and ready for up to a kill percent? We'll have to see. Oh. Misses ledge that time, finds himself nearly stuck under the yeah, lower part of PS2. That's a... You cannot be misinputting that. really big back end. Yeah. yeah, you really can't. In these clutch situations, right? Definitely not. Ghost is going to run with the money and capitalize for it 100%. Smash throw. Down throw, perhaps. Right, tries to get a mix. Great Does mix. Does get it. Right. Dashes out and then back in. Makes the get-up attack whiff. There's a throw. Punches the hell out of the grenade, deactivating it for some reason. I don't think he wanted the punch, he was just looking for a way to get around <laughs> yeah. it, yeah. There's a grenade wall coming out. Ghost has got to get around it somehow. He does have the percent lead then. Just got to cop not too many grenades from Sad Hour here. It should be good. That's going to be an opening. And that's bad because it's lost his double jump, has to recover with Big C4. Big capitalization from Ghost. Yeah. What are we going to do? We've got a directional Good air dodge. dodge. Critical in saving Sad Hour, his winner's spot right now. He has eaten a lot of percent, though. Mm. Oh, and that's now going to it. close it out. Final stock for Sad Hour if he doesn't take this game. Yeah, sending him to losers where you do not want to be with Jay Dizzle down there. That's true. It's the scariest place on earth. That was so much damage. Ghost loves this choice. He's getting out of stock. He'll do it all day. Oh man, and he had him spooked with that directional air dodge. Didn't dial in anything. No buttons pressed. Good little Tomahawk. Crazy wave land as well. Ghost, content with staying on that platform. Yeah. What's Snake to do? Down tilt. Looking for the up smash, but doesn't hit. Oh, man. Detonation not fast enough for Ghost to get clipped by it. Oh. Yeah. Moving around. Lots of rolls. Oh, man. Piston punch. Not killing, but it's real close. Might have been a good punish if the grenade didn't proc so quickly. Looking for a roll there, Don't I think. Throw. That's oh, good. Oh, yeah. Caught him playing Ghost taking chicken. it 3 1 over Sad Hour. Ghost knew, man. Hungry that Sad Hour. Uh, Ghost knew that he was knew that Sad Hour was going to be hungry for that Q, that kill. Extra and day to the mainstream. Oh, that's huge. That's this is going to be a good set. That's going to be Our a good boy set. Day. Having all of my Airbnb come through the stream. <laughs> no bias here. No bias here. No, we're telebiased. Were you kidding me? Yeah, you know we're what? We're both from Sydney. Disclaimer, Sydney. I love Nick. Don't get me wrong. Me too. So let's go Day. Let's go Day. Let's go Day. Big sick Nick versus Day. Yeah, okay, before the set starts, let's go Day. During the set, you know, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Like an extra one of the favorites to win this entire thing. Absolutely. Uh, alongside Ghost and Jay Dizzle. Jay Dizzle's run, though. It's going to be hard. Yeah. Let's go through losers. Bit of a monkey wrench thrown in the works. In the form of Rust. Rust the guy. The Lord vet. Rust. Yeah. The old Rust. That's not new. Rust can't be new. He's not. Exactly. Yeah. Name doesn't allow him. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. We're going to see uh, Day, who's a Pikachu player, Sydney. Doesn't play anything else, really. No, it was yeah. Lucina, but it's really a Pikachu. I, re I agree. Yeah. Reformed Pikachu player. Obviously, that character got, Reformed. got yeah. slapped with the Reformed. nerfs. You know, really one of the hardest hit characters by Definitely. any sort of balance patch in Smash. So, a bit unfortunate that we don't get to see that character variety. But I think 
this is much better for a bracket setting. Um, mm -hmm. A lot more consistent. Definitely. Just better in general. And you want that You want that consistency. You want that safety net. Yeah, absolutely. When do. you're playing in tournament. And we're going to see the Game & Watch from Extra most likely. Mm. Does have a he also has wolf. a Rob. And a Pocket Wolf as well. And a wolf. Maybe it's not quite so Pocket because maybe it actually functions like a real secondary. Here we go. He's been playing it a lot. Pikachu Libre coming out. So we got Dave versus Extra. Yeah, this is a good Two one, big fellas. Names. Dave's been on a run. He got second at doubles yesterday. Yeah, with Purple H. So. With Purple H. Extra going for that third back air. Doesn't heal it though. Here comes the combos. Oh, the get up jab. Got to be willing to SDI out of that one as soon as possible so you don't cop at least 20%. And you got to be careful for Game & Watch bucketing the, uh, the Thunder Jolts. Mm. I mean, it's not the worst thing, but it's still not great. Yeah, you get copped by a decent amount. I don't think... Oh, the forward smash! Oh. Great spacing. Give him the chair. Give him the chair. Good reaction from Extra. Going to be able to catch the neutral getup, leading into the back here, taking that yes. first stock. Brilliant stock from Extra. But here's the loops. No, no. up he's out. Very tricky character that game launch. That anti-loop tech, that frame. I'm not sure what frame it is out of shield, but extremely quick. Notoriously quick. Game and watch. Chilling, ready to give the chair when needed. Otherwise, if the onus is on day to approach. Mm. Oh, dude, that was a good catch as well. Just throwing out a big active hitbox to catch the quick attack. Yeah, definitely. That's what you gotta do. The key coming out. Day really confident so far. Oh, that throw. I'm surprised that shield grab actually managed to connect. Again, Extra does like that setup, that up smash into the forward tilt. Mm, definitely. Very potent at ledge, because you think you can whiff punish the up smash, but very little going. end lag on it. More bucket coming out. Every time they get up attack, sound comes you in. I always out. I freak out, because yeah. it's like the nine. But we're good, we're good. Day taking that with the dash attack. And that up smash closing out day's second stock. That intangibility on startup, you cannot challenge that you at all if you land it. Back here. Extra is using that up to get out of any sticky situation. Well, if it ain't true, right? You got that up the out of shield to really hammer things home. Oh, yeah. Get you back into neutral. That's been working out for him. Yeah, the empty really hop, has. forward smash. It's caught by the bomb. Another bomb. Chef on ledge. Yep. Did you say chef? <laughs> Isn't it chef? That that move? Oh right. <laughs> yeah. I thought you were saying like chef is on the ledge. I was like, huh? <laughs> what? Okay. Oh, the down oh. smash. Dave was in the air though, so he didn't bury. No sweet spot. No two frame as well. Gotta get that ledge trap set up. That's gonna be not safe enough, apparently. Okay, so that's gonna be it, I think. Oh, maybe not. Yeah, you gotta be a bit closer to that blast zone. Oh, great tech Text from the spike. Extra. Good DI in as well. Knew that was coming from a mile away. Thunder jolts at ledge as well. Oh! There's the chair. Take ne a seat, my friend. <laughs> Neutral get up. <laughs> give him the Shrek, you know, one line Shrek, and that lady's like, the chair! Give him the chair! Give him the chair! Is that Shrek 1? That's Shrek yeah, 1. Yeah, Shrek 1. Yeah. The best. I uh, agree. I agree. Actually. No, I gotta give the edge to Shrek 2, sorry. I need a hero. But oh, no. It's the hectic scene. Oh, no. Sorry, man. Shrek 2 is not the play here. Shrek 2 is the I don't play. I believe this. It's a sequel that's bigger and better. Okay. 
I think we can all agree three is trash here. Oh, dude, Shrek the Third is ass. It's yeah, so ass. It's ass. I didn't watch Forever After. Neither do I. I don't want it. was so ass, yeah. It was mega ass. And I didn't watch Puss in Boots because... That can't be good. Yeah. <laughs> There's no way in hell that's going to be good. Okay, PS2. Game 2. Oh, PS2. Pokemon Stadium, ladies and gents. There's the Mare, the up air. Yet another one. Quick 53 on day. Can't really seem to find his footing right yeah, now. Yeah, having hey. a tough time. 90% on day. Actually doing a great job of racking up that damage. Nice. Down to proccing the trip. We see Day's aggressive options, just his signature yeah, the aggressive the, options. The bacon into the hammer. I know. <laughs> beating the meat, right? No, beating the meat. <laughs> Let's oh, go, baby. Go. <laughs> Beat that meat. Beat that meat. <laughs> oh, dude. Cancels the chef early, gets the chair in time as well. Oh, yeah. I'll be out of shield. Day just struggling to land, and again, it's a signature aggressive approach style that seems oh, to be yeah. snuffed by um extra's wall of options. Oh, that's great! Not quite enough knockback. Extra answering back. Yeah, there's a parry. Just trying to catch all these approaches oh, with yeah. that up smash in neutral. Knows that day's a bit antsy with those that forward button, hey. Oh, that was sick. You That's see sick. that? A crouch reverse. I love it. Baited out the shield. Still 100% deficit. I know. Shield grab on the dash attack. Here's the loop. Here we go. Gets the tech on the platform, gets out of it early. I guess that's why Pikachu prefers flat stages like FD. No real tech situation to be put into. Oh, versus the chair would have been dead otherwise. It's a good trade. Pikachu using the frame data to get out of that. Oh yeah. The back air. Oh, oh manhole sending him out of here. I've never seen that move kill. All right. No, it does kill, actually. It's pretty good. Yeah, I mean, Pikachu's light as hell, so... Yeah. It's gonna be doing wonders at 150. Back her into the jab. Oh, man, he's going super Making aggressive it back now. Making back with the parachute. Yeah. Here it comes. Hit that back air. Oh. The Lincoln Hitbox of the up air, gonna catch the quick attack. Skull Bash just tries to get to the ledge. Oh my god, he really rolled into that up smash as well. Yeah, definitely. Jab. What's the follow up? Down his last dark. I'm surprised Extra didn't go for the chair after that reverse uh, up smash, but mm. it seems to be working quite There's the well. Chair. And that's going to be the parachute taking game two. The kill screen, he Just was a so flat, thin. Like, yeah, the yeah, flat dude. The flat dude. <laughs> Mr. Flatman. Yeah. Mr. Flatman. <laughs> yeah, day scared of the uh, back air, so try to go high. As yeah. high as possible and extra red that. Pretty hard, I must say. Going into game three on town and city, it seems. I don't think we'll see a switch. No, not for, for sure. I think this is Day's best character. I don't think anything in his arsenal quite comes close to the yeah, results. I believe you're right. I mean, if we're talking about, you know, pre patch Pichu, it's a different story, though. Yeah. So, yeah, probably wants the safety kills that that back air, with that back air. Um, oh, yeah. Because we saw that not killing, especially when it needed to on um, PS2. Mm -hmm. Here's the loops. And the 
ends at 43 because of the platform. Yeah, good on Dave for managing to nail that combo, especially on a light character like Game & Watch, right? Oh yeah, I agree. Um, I feel Even like... Percent. Yeah. And a lot of the mind games will revolve around when extra decides to just get out a jail free card. Definitely. Um, to escape those combos. It's a matter of whether or not they can read that, but... Set fire to the Pikachu. Really, really put strong start from that. You know, he's doing well in this set so far. Yeah. Day seems to be struggling to find openings. It's incredibly difficult, I think, just with the caliber of play that Extra is. Um, it just seems like a match made in hell for Day's sort of play style. I oh, think. Yeah. yeah. Not exactly the most patient player, I would say that. Sliding in the landing. Oh, great spot dodge on the down smash, but... The back is Day, let's see if he can close out extra stock. Doesn't seem like it yet. Good little forward tilt to just push him off. Mm -hmm. Oh man, I'm surprised that interaction worked out alright for him. Oh yeah, let's see if the stock <laughs> can be closed though. Nice, you know? Oh, oh what? Whoa, grabbed him out of the jab. Again, Pikachu's jab, not exactly yeah. the most reliable. <laughs> and there's the chair. Bomb chair set up, right? Pikachu clear of the bomb. Day's last stock and winners. Alright. Gets the drag down though. Another back air. He goes, there's the landing. Oh, oh that's massive! They just gave him a <laughs> new lease on life. Yeah, I know, right? Back in the hot seat. Extra. Here's the loops. And no platform, no platform to tank on as well, yeah. There's the out of Gets out of it though, 33% only. I feel like Pikachu's so used to getting more damage off of those loops. Yeah. Good punish. A bit greedy with that forward smash, but it's alright. Get, I'm getting the biggest punish. Here we go. Dash attack, opening up extra. Let's see if we can hold the ledge pressure. Great jump read. Oh, he just scraping down the way past him. Takes the approach with the down tilt. Day off stage. Resets to neutral. Let us see. Great patience from Day with that shield grab. Oh. Let's see. Make sure looking for a ledge guard. Oh man. Rolls out of the strong hitbox. Get the heels on that, that's alright. Nearly Almost taking off killing. the top. Oh, and there's the man. key. Yeah. Extra takes it 3 0 of a day. And that's the follow up that uh, Day is always missing a lot of the time, right? Extra's yeah. just going to get a very, very easy, nice whiff punish with that key. Works wonders. I wonder how much more of Top 32 there is. Yeah, me too, me too. I think. Is that Master of Disaster? Looks like. Uh, he's not going to the no, setup. No, he's not going to the setup. Let's have a look at this oh, bracket. It looks like Joe. Marazza. Joe coming to the setup. Marazza beat Con 3-0. Sad hour in Lee's. Joe and Sabre. Yeah, man. Damn. How much more is left? So that's losers. I don't think we'll get any of... Let's see Jay Dizzle's tear. Boom. Boom. Beats Ryan, beats Luma. Luma. It's Ryan 2-0, beats Luma 3-0. Trojans out to Lumi. Uh, <laughs> Classic Vanessa. Me hungry. Me hungry. Uh, let's have a look at winners, because that seems to be that seems to be what we're getting a lot of. Joe Saber. This seems like top 16. 
No. No, maybe right. not. <laughs> next round, I think. Yeah, next round. One, two, three. Oh, wait, is it? Okay. Yeah. That's top eight, so yeah. this would be top 16. Top 16. So we've got all these bad boys to go, I think. I don't think they'll put that one on stream. DD Shitashi? Yeah. You don't think they will? I don't think they will. Why? Well, that sounds like a, like a bit of a longer one, I think. Because they've got two streams running. Uh, unless the second stream is for losers only? It could be. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Then they will. Then they will. Good to know. Good to know. ANS and Sepro, that's a OH Chen rematch as well. Oh, it is. That's true. I think. For now, we have Joe and Sabre. Yeah. Yeah. yeah we don't mind. Good. Yeah. Sounds good. Um, I believe she'll be playing Krom. She's a Croy player, right? Yeah, I think yeah. so. Because I remember early on in Ultimate's life, when she came to Phantom, she was playing Lucina or something yep. like that. Yeah. She plays Sorties. Sorties, okay. Yeah. Well, again, why wouldn't you, right? Good to have. Joe will have the Zero Suit, of course. Unless he plays Paltana, which I really doubt. No, I don't think so. I think he'll take the lack of inexperience as well. That. Mm -hmm. um, what is it? The rest of the states don't really have too many zero suits as well. Yeah. Or at least on Joe's caliber. Here we go. Something of, something of a New South Wales exclusive. Let's Head. see. Oh, well, SA has some. Oh, yeah, Andre. Andre. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Heading into game one. Joe, ultra aggressive as normal as you do with this character. It's gonna be a very. This is gonna be a slobber knocker, I said. Oh, for sure. Three cents. Okay, three yeah. cents. Okay. Like we thought. Yeah. Yeah, all good. Good to know. Um, here we go. For sure. Okay. Always gonna be a bit of a slobber knocker. What's the ledge trap? There's the yeah, flip kick. Yeah, there we go. New South Wales exclusive net a flip kick. We see it no every week. No one's ever week. seen it before. <laughs> yeah. It's New South Wales invented. <laughs> yeah. Out of status, take notes. Oh, but here oh, here's Sabre though. Sabre, she's coming alive with those up airs. She does need to kill as soon as possible because it's, it's hard enough maintaining a lead against Zero Suit. It's even harder playing when you're down. Absolutely. Oh, tried to go for a Ra right there, but. Yeah, misses it. Mm. There's the Paralyzer. Oh, that's going to be big, isn't no, it? No, misses the flip kick. Yeah, they trying to compensate for the weird timing, but... Straight spy with the back air. Great Saber, she start. closes out the stock. Saber on the board, and we've got a Chrome that's running at you. Looking for that roll in for the Paralyzer blast. Oh, yeah. Traditional Zero Suit Samus, they either run at you while you're on the ground. Oh yeah, there's the, there there's the boost go. kick. Yeah. Just Ooh. barely closing out the stock. And Joe is a full stock up on Sabre right now. Here's the Nair Train. From coast to coast. Great combination. Or flip kicks back to the ledge just in time. There's a grab. Forward throw. Take the neutral tech. It's attack cancel. Double back air. Joe, with the huge momentum, just comes in swinging. I don't think Sabre really had a chance to play too much in that last stock as well. She know? didn't. Yeah. Joe takes the first game. That's the power of zero suit. You cannot sleep. No, you cannot. You cannot Absolutely sleep. not. I wonder why... Would Roy be a viable pick in this matchup? Or would you rather have the consistency of the full sword? I'd rather be consistent. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Especially since Joe's going to be spacing aerials in his shield. Yeah, that's right. Well, she's hard enough to catch already. When she's, you don't want to have yeah. to be close as well. Yeah. Yeah. So you'd rather... even If you do get the hit, you get the most out of it. Yeah. I like Coffee. that. But down there to follow up. He's back swinging. Oh, that back was so air. smooth. 
Tries to go for a platform but misses it, and that's going to cost the stock. She panicked a bit with that option, but... Let's see, still has the kill power, especially on Town and City. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Deletes are interested at this point. And again, you let Crumb reset to neutral, you just might get ledge trapped for it. We'll have to see. Oh. So much mileage off that down air. The down air actually delays the landing. It does. So you can bait throws with it. Oh, that's so smart. Yep. The tech chase. What's for breakfast? <laughs> What's for breakfast? Uh, boost kick? I've never heard of this cereal before. Oh, man. Kept him in the air. Save Kept her in the her air. Last I know. There's the flip That's hit. ridiculous. Game two going to That's Joe. That's actually mental. She Such seems, a quick game. I know, she seems lost. There seems to be nowhere to go. And despite the fact that Chrom has great ground speed, great air speed, I think Joe is just playing at a breakneck pace right now. She can't really keep up. She can't, no. Yeah. Or at least from what we've seen. Yeah. Going to FD. We'll check the adjustments that she might make this game. She's Still staying with Chrome. Stay with the Chrome. I don't, yeah, I don't think the character's the problem. Oh, oh are we gonna I don't are we gonna think the character's the problem. I don't think the character's the problem. I agree. Yeah. Joe's just reading uh, her options quite well. Yeah, well, and she, playing she's, Super Saiyan. She seems to be a bit antsy with her defensive options, right? Always dialing like a neutral air dodge, maybe. Um, Here we go, though. Oh, big damage from the get go. <laughs> Seventy-four in the way of Saber. Oh, it's a Nair. Good amount of damage. This is looking already a lot better than the previous two games. Oh yeah. Rocks the beefy. Oh, there's the Tomahawk. Cancel forward tilt from Chrome. One of the most dangerous. Saber in moves. the lead this time with only 50%. Nope, off stage. Got a jump, goes high. Comes back swinging, trying missing the tech. Yeah. Yeah, playing at a great range right now, Saber. Able to get the most value out of that crop sword. Oh, catches the directional air dodge. Air dodge, yeah, exactly. He has to burn it early. Back through. Great jump read. Saber really dominating this game so far. Yeah, jab at ledge, not really working yeah, out. Stock. She gets clipped by the dirty noodle. Joe's got a bit more work to do to catch up, though. Back air boost, back to ledge. Reading the jump, getting big percent off of it as well. So they're not working out, but has a double jump and the boost kick to work with. They're extremely controlling this extremely, game. Yeah, exactly. Great so far. Oh, oh my god! Wow, that's a kick. rage you want to land. Especially when Saber came out. She had so much momentum coming out the gate. But Joe just destroys that lead in an instant. Nice yeah, one's Joe, no Trojans. I know we're getting mixed up a lot. Oh, yeah. The Zero Suit boys. Trojans popping off in the crowd as well. Is very, it? very happy with nice. that with that uh, previous stock. Oh no, that's a missed tech. Parry down tilt. Good tech chase. Tech chase with the forward tilt. Tether working out all right that time. Flip 
kicks. This is so dangerous. He goes for the paralyzer instead, but misses it. Oh my days. No, he's still alive. Great no flip. No flip jump. Saber on the board. Just on the board. No flip jump. Has to go low. Has to go low with that boost kick. So exactly. And definitely did, right, Crom? The training did pay off, right? It did Those first pay two off. games. I think the lack of platforms helped Saber chase down Joe a lot mm. more efficiently once yeah. Joe was in disadvantage. Well, yeah, exactly, because there's no fear of the ladders that way. Yeah. Which is just another part of a kit that we haven't seen yet. So Going into game four now. And I wonder what Saber banned. Either way, we'll see. Town and City, this we'll is a see. great pick from Joe as well. Gone for a flip kick. It's a smart idea, right? Chrome only has armor on startup, not exactly at the very apex of um yeah. of his moves. So. Seems very difficult to pull off though. Mm. Gonna get some up airs now. There's the grab throw. back throw. We didn't see the flip kick. Looking for fun. a jump. Yeah. Oh, I don't know how that. Just in time. I don't know how that fair from Prom just missed before, but there's the back air closing out Saber's first stock. Thank you, Town and City. Small horizontal blast zones. Base aerials right now, catching the jump with the forward tilt. Saber, she's doing a good job of just keeping her locked in place, right? Yeah. So I can't really act out a shield fast enough. And that's going to be Joe's first stock. Closed out by the forward tilt. Pivot cancels just so he gets an extra slide distance. Have a grab. Again, that was so close to landing that flip you confirmed oh, yeah. before, but grab looking for the forward smash. That's the, that's the Chrome Kryptonite. I remember, I remember Joe using that tech against Trix. It's hard to land though. You really yeah. have to time it well. Mm. But even so, you know, if Chrome just misspaces the up B, it can spell death. Oh man. Good DI up from Joe. Maybe Great a bit DI. too much range. And there's the Noodle. Noodle gonna take. Saber on her last dock for winner side potentially. Still very much alive and kicking. Oh, Joe catching the Great jump. Great damage. Has to up B. Oh, no. the weird And this is the turnaround Saber needed. Mm, the weird interaction. Oh, that's oh, going to be bad. That's going to do here. it. And that was the smooth. Joe taking it. Smooth straight. 3 1 over Saber. Looks like we're getting Didi and Shitashi up next. I'm keen to comp some Mega Man. Let's go. I don't think anyone has ever said that. I'm keen to comp some Mega I, Man. I am too, honestly. Yeah, yeah, I am too. I like Mega Man. I think Mega he's, the, cool. he's like the zoner that has some stuff as well. Very it's unique. Not just, yeah. Yeah. It's not quite pull my hair out zoner. It is sometimes. Oh, yeah. but uh, it can be. Yeah. Especially in the hands of Shitashi. Yeah, exactly. But still, a very stylish character with some crazy options, you know? High burst options. Mm -hmm. No stranger to comebacks, which is always exciting about his play. Did you see his play yesterday in doubles? Oh, it was crazy. Oh, it was nuts, man. He did a 1v2. 1v2. Nearly brought it back as well. Shoutouts to Nikes. Clutching that. Alright, we're gonna see the warrior from Diddy, of course. I wonder what stage we're gonna head to.
So we're heading into top 16 soon. I think there's one or two more sets of... Yeah, so I believe it's this one. We might get the uh, Anus uh, set pro, which is going to be... Should be the last set of yes, Anus side yes, top 16. Actually, yeah, they, they're going exactly in order. So top 32, sorry. Yeah. Didi Shitashi, Anus set pro. And that should wrap up all of 32. Here we go. We're getting into it. Mega Man and Warrior. I'm interested to see this, actually. Uh, I don't know how well this works on paper. Yeah, I'm curious. I mean, Shitashi's always going to be backpedaling, but Wari has that really superior um, air mobility that allows him to break zone in an instant. Also with that bite, you can tank some of the projectiles. Oh, yeah. It's his favorite move, the leaf shield. Shitashi really just want to keep Didi out at all costs. Oh, yeah. The bike covering the approach. I, mean, once I love that move. It never gets old to me. The warrior forward tilt. The forward tilt, the little swipe, the slap. My favorite is the forward smash, the panch. Panch! The panch, dude! Hopefully we see some panches. Good punish. Lean on him. Yeah, that's what you need to do against Leaf Shield. One of Shitashi's favorite moves. Did he just eat metal? He just ate a blade. <laughs> There's that guy who eats planes. Have Warrior's you seen that ready video? to busk on the street. <laughs> Swallow some blades, get some extra money on the side. Oh, it's a, it's a He's always axe. on the grind. Yeah. That's the real hustle right there, right? Eating blades, eating bikes, eating bombs. Yeah, eating is really the hustle, to be honest. <laughs> it's the best hustle. There it is. Empty land, come sure on. What's she gonna do here? I don't think Didi's likely to go off stage that much. Do you like that angle uh, diagonally down a metal blade? Yeah. Again, it just Sliding comes. through. Try on that forward. Oh, the footstool, but of course that isn't going to kill Mega Man. And the slap going to close out Shitashi's first blade. stock. Oh, Shitashi answering back though. Oh man, nearly had the timing. Flame Blade not killing Warrior yet. Diddy also hasn't built up that much damage on Shitashi yet. Yeah, this might be one of those sets where we see Diddy use Waft earlier rather than later. Mm. Short hop back here, not quite gonna kill. 178 on Warrior's side. There's the down gets air, the but attack. accidentally hits the Warrior side. Not enough distance. Shitashi would take that, you know, happy to outstand that. Whoa, that was quick. Okay, caught the metal blade back up with oh, the yeah. up air, but even managed to maintain shield pressure. And Z dropped it, I think. Yeah. Just so we could get another maybe up air, potentially. Nice little catch on the jump, that diagonal metal blade. Such a good read option. There's Ooh. the one. And against a patient player like Shitashi, you will burn that. Most of the time. Yeah, yeah, to take that early lead, I think. Good situation recognition from DD. He's eating lemons right now. It doesn't matter if they're so sour. Just eat them all. Or he doesn't care. He's eating metal. Lemons? Piece of lemons cake. Lemons are nothing to them. Yeah. Up air, up air. Oh, it's party up time. Tilt, Look at the damage. Oh. oh! That did not hit. Yeah, quite odd. Dash up, up tilt. There's the up tilt, yeah. Not gonna kill, though. <laughs> Blows him I off. I probably would have charged, started charging in this match. That's actually a good interaction. If it hits the bike, it actually procs immediately, so. You can actually just knock him straight off. A back air. Gonna try go for a little... Oh, that's oh. so sick, Shitashi. Crash Bomber confirm into the hard knuckle. Knows the angles. This is the man who made Oz Smash. He's a genius. It's true. He is a lab monster. He knows his angles. 
I like it. You know, if Shitashi's willing to play the, the patient game against DD, that might actually give him... There it is, half waft. The poo. The poof. The poof. DD taking the first game. And we're going to go into game two. No switches, I'd say. No switches, I think. I think this is Shitashi's... He's committed to this character, and I think it's a very good character to commit to, because I think on paper, Mega Man has hard matchups, but they're all winnable. They're all winnable. Yeah. It's the bonus you get when you're a Zona. And here we are, going into game two. Gonna see Warrior Mega Man again. It's time on Town and City. Gonna play at that arm's length that Mega Man excels at doing. I oh, he absolutely yeah. does. Peppering Diddy with pellets, but that Nair hitting twice. Gonna be able to get so much damage off of this. Going really deep. Needing the bike to come back. Oh man, nowhere to run. Couldn't even roll out of that situation. Yeah. Been answer with that forward air. Definitely wants a bra back air there. Mm -hmm. Oh, air dodge is off stage. The down air, there it is. Schmicks on him. Burnt the jump. Yeah, Mega Man recovery. Great edge guarding from mm. DD. You tell Shitashi try to what? <laughs> Tries to eat it, but it doesn't work. Yeah. Goes just above the mouth, sticks the nose. I always forget Warrior has a crawl. It's so strange. It seems to like counterintuitive as well, because he doesn't really shrink his head. No, he doesn't. He's just too He's fat. just a big weirdo. Oh no, here we go. It's the back air. Oh yeah. Tasha is trying to get that hard knuckle to cover his landing. Leaf shield. Playing the keep away game except oh. he has the lead. Good spacing check on the get up attack. Mm. Knew there was enough range of that to oh, challenge yeah. the up smash. Back, Back throw. throw. Not closing it out. Mega Man's back throw is still pretty strong as well. Oh my god, that was so scary! Yeah, it is. Satashi gives himself some breathing room right here, but one up tilt waft away from death here in Town and City. Maybe an edge guard with the waft. Satashi really wanting to stay away, put up the wall. Oh, oh my god, the patience. Out. Well, he knew if he rolled in, he was going to cop the up to the waft. Exactly, yeah. If he rolled out, then oh, it'd be geez. very Here easy we go. to to. Oh. oh, bounces on Rush. That's my dog now. Yeah, get out of there, the bike's coming back down. Tomahawk command grab. Oh. oh it burns the waft, but dies anyway. Good space denial from uh, DD. Mm. Great yeah, space denial from DD. This is actually going a lot faster than um, I thought it would be because DD is just relentless in pressure. Relentless, Shitashi. absolutely. And you got to keep the heat up on Mega Man. I think you he has do. he has good angles, but um, pellets are quite lateral, and mm -hmm. the only like his most flexible projectile, which is Metal Blade, is quite laggy. Quite laggy. Yeah. Um, it's a good move because you can confirm into kills off of it, but. Again, if, you, if you're too reliant on it, especially with Rush Down like DD. Absolutely. And here we go into game three. Yes, and there's party time. Oh no. It's so party time. Down smash, spin on him. Yeah, nice. Procs the bike, get him off it. This is a no-ride zone. Oh, 
Just shielding, doesn't want to eat the crash bomb. Yeah, great space denial from mm -hmm. uh, Shitashi right now. Just full hopping, hard knuckling to stop Didi creeping under him. Oh yeah. Uh, even if he blocks it, that move is plus on block, even safe. Damage, bit of a poorly spaced back air out of shield. There's the back air. Knocks Metal Blade it. catches it. Him off the bike, tries to get the Buster shot. Eats the Mega Man. Again, eats more metal. Oh, and he's lost his double jump as well. He really wants to land one of those knuckles. There we go. I mean, I love hard knuckle. It's a good move. Gets a bike ready for the ledge trap. Donks him on the head with it. Oh, that's so weird. Bouncing off the leaf shield. Right, out of shield, fair. Check the spacing on that back air. Again, trying to read Didi's ledge options. Back air, falling back air. Shitashi taking the first stock of the game. I think it's his first lead. Uh, what is it? Stock wise as well. Definitely. It feels like Didi's just always got him. The better of Satoshi. The dash attack will definitely close out his stock. Not allowing too much of a lead to be made, though. Yeah, not at all. Oh, powers through the clap. Deck, of course. So, Shitashi's got to be worried about that. Eating as many projectiles as possible. And if you eat like the uh, charge shot, how much damage it recovers. I can't imagine it'd be too much still. Mm. Oh, there it is. Man. We saw it come in. The first hit of the Nair, running down to a big waft. Oh, what the hell happened there? Did he fall off with the bike? Back her. Looking for Crash Bombers, Metal Blades, Knuckles, the whole lot. Yeah, this, this man is throwing the whole kitchen sink at Warrior right now. And that trade with the Leaf Shield actually allowed Didi to get mm. a, lot more, a lot better of a combo. And Didi is moving to 175, <laughs> or was at least. And you're going to get taken off the top, even if you don't jump from that move. Oh, the big oh, head. Oh no, that's a lot of damage. Into the bike. Ledge option from Shitashi. The bike is still coming down. That's such though. a strange interaction with the bike. That net clipping Shitashi on the way up. What is Didi going to do? There's the back air. Shitashi. Back air going to uh, do Losing 0 3, 3 0 to Didi. Completely convincing and dominating performance by Didi. Definitely. Um, and we're going to see our last set of winner side tops 32. Oh, this one will be a good one. Whoa, 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 whoa. Have they not played yet? Oh. Well, unless Anus have... Maybe they've already played. Because that means we're off. Because that's the top 16 match. I think match. that means we're off. But we shouldn't leave the stream unaccompanied. No, we'll still stick with you until we get confirmation from people as to what's going on. But Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. According to my logic... I'll just give a stretch oh, in the meantime. Go for it. Oh. Show the stream. Oh, was it on us? <laughs> yeah. Whoops. Oh, well. Not anymore. We're safe. Okay. You're safe, You're safe from Grizz's uh, kahunas. Yeah. No one wants to mess with the No kahunas. one wants that. No one wants the Grizz No one kahunas. wants that. All right, so that sounded like Razy and... It was Razy, you were right. Yeah, okay. Uh, Razy and... They're coming? I'll have, um, have Doc and All Seb right. played. Okay. All right, looks like we're off then. We'll leave you since the others are on their way. Yeah, yeah, no, we'll jump. Um, 
in case uh, you want to follow us, we are Chipotle. Chipotle underscore SP and Grizz. At Grizz underscore Grossman. You can find us in Sydney. Oh, yeah. Sydney uh, Smash. Shout outs to the guys back home. If you want to see more of D Joe or Day or um, Doc. Yes. In Purple H. And you can Purple find H. them there. All right. We'll leave you guys. See you later. Peace out, guys. Enjoy. Good afternoon, everyone. This is Spears on the microphone. Welcome to top 16 of Big Cheese 2, largest tournament in the world with Hero Band. <laughs> largest tournament we've ever run. Joining me soon will be uh, my co commentator, Blue. Uh, he's on his way as we get set up for the bracket. Hello. Hello. It's my beautiful face. Good to see you all. Um, what a wild tournament we've had so far. Um, Biggest upset I've seen today was first seed or third seed? Join me for a second. We've got Taisha for a second. Yeah, so the fantastic big upset. First seed, Jay Dizzle first losing seed. to 30 se second seed. 30 second seed? Rust, local league player. <laughs> local <laughs> league player. Doesn't, doesn't even play, play the, the game. game. Lots going on today. The vibe's good. Vibe's good. Vibe's very good. Crowd's popping up. I off. like to call this sourced comms. Sourced comms Source is comms definitely is the wave. From six, from top 16 to top 8, you got us. Not mm. Jaicho, but yeah, he's filling in while I'm we're... I'm filling in while, while we're, we're waiting on up. Blue. Yeah. And Patrick Anderson. Yeah, yeah. So, very exciting stuff. How do you feel about this set in particular? What do you reckon? Against WJ, who's he playing? Razy. Razy. Razy, oh. the absolute tech fiend. Oh, Razy, very good. With a ton of characters very at his good. disposal. I saw him against you. Mm. And there was a set, I can't remember who I was copped it. Before. I really copped it. I very good say. player, very good. Very, um, very good. Very patient, very strong. Look, Stabby J, also a very good player. He mm. also plays Snake. Yes. Which is a very frustrating character to play against. Um, has look. the reads? Has, <laughs> has the, the reads? Has yes. the technology? Yes, has the Snake technology. Look, I don't know enough about how the two of them would deal with each other to make a call. See, Rosie would be very familiar with Snake, I feel. Yeah. However, he has consistently been ranked lower than Tommy I was gonna in say, every rankings thus far. I was going to say, how does he do versus Tommy? That's a great question. No idea. No actually. idea? All right. Sorry, we can't see the chat, so if you're telling us, sorry, we don't know. Not available to not us Not available. Um, look. However, regardless of how he does against Tommy, he's got the experience. Yeah. They better not be starting. No, I did tell him to wait until our commentator yeah, yeah, yeah. has arrived. Yeah, uh, he has... Good. In fact, Rizzi has left to take the pee before <laughs> our commentator has <laughs> and arrived sooner. We're I really wasn't prepared for this good, one. Good start. But good it start. means they can get them to uh, we're, we're, we're listening to tunes, it's okay. Tunes is good. Yeah. And doing RPS early. This is. Oh, we're getting bands out the way. We can get bands out the way. This is, Very this efficient. Is, this is one of the smoothest run tournaments I've ever seen. Mm, it's going quite well, I must yeah. say. Yeah. As one of two head TOs, uh, <laughs> I'd like to think it's pretty great. Ah, <laughs> uh, you're not that alright. Uh, Oh, you're good. Thanks, mate. Well done. Thanks, mate. Doubles did run a bit late, but like, Doubles we always ran does everything that. on stream. Oh, okay, they he's gone the dark pit. I think this is like really oh, the one starting. that I didn't tell them to start. That's all, all right. right. Do you want to? Yep. Oop. We're producing. Hut. All right, dude. Three, two, uh, oh, we've got it. One, go. All right. We're out the gate. All right. So the dark pit's interesting. I mean, this is probably the comfort pick, right? The assumed... Uh, first game yeah, character. Yeah. Big, uh, uh, talking to other big players, they say he's his best. Mm. Uh, he feels most comfortable with this one mm. in his reads and combo game. Yeah. He just needs to find. Can oh, caught the roll with up smash. That's a really weird option. Oh, no conversion of the grenade. That is unfortunate. That is. All right. Dude, there's just a lot of like back and forth this second. Oh, we've got him back. All right. Sorry, Jerry. Just doing a lot with grenades. Like, not a whole lot of close close combat coming out. Alright, jumps into the nair, unfortunate. No, WJ, oh. like you say, WJ really hasn't been able to set up um, his grenade game at all. Razor's just been putting on the pressure where he needs to. Mm -hmm. I think he knows exactly where the gaps in snake yeah. pressure is. Oh, yeah. like. Oh, the snipes? Just one snipe, unfortunate. Going for a big re trying to get that electro shock, which will kill him out of that cipher for free. Oh, he's gone for that twice now, not he? He's like, and he's really letting Stabby know exactly what he wants. <laughs> I think that's the key thing yeah. about that. Good, uh, good jump read. Really good jump read. 
And now yeah, this is exactly where you want to be. You want Snake to have the earnest of trying to come yeah. back. That, that, that first hook was really just a lot of Brazy putting on the pressure, not letting Stabby J have the opportunity to set up mm. his, little, his little cave, his little wall. Yeah, absolutely. And now he's just chilling, full screen. And Stabby J needs oh, to run in, bang. but gets Electro Shock. Oh, it doesn't it. actually pop the grenade early. Yeah. <laughs> Big aggressive dash attack. Uh, kind of surprising. Got away with it. Hey, sometimes it works. Right? Hey, sometimes you just got to throw it out. Yeah. You know? I feel you. Uh, he's getting red trapped. Yeah, good high. Good high recovery. Landing Bear fails him. Ooh. Never seen that before. Oh, that's a that's high up air. Look, I don't like to say conversion a lot, but that was just a conversion. That was definitely a conversion. Uh, converting off of gr Snake's own grenades. Grim. <laughs> <laughs> like, you love to for see sure. it for, as for a sure. player, but like, for any Snake fan out there, <laughs> that's got to hurt. Oh, oh, too almost, slow on the grab. Almost catches the recovery, there we go. Razy doing Fine. a lot of spot dodging, really avoiding Jacob's assumed option. No yeah. attack. Yeah, that yeah, is yeah. a quick three stock. Look, that was just clean. That was All just right. clean. Look, we got blue back. Coming in. We got blue. Nice <laughs> try. Thanks for having Lewis double part. <sighs> Can I have one? No. Why? Because this one's almost empty. Oh, okay. You should have. You right. should have planned ahead. No, no, no. I, I oh, have to have a sippy. I'll have a sippy. Have a sippy. Have a sippy. Have a See, I got all my drinks out of the way beforehand, and now I got water. Now you can just go. Oh, that's smart. Yeah, I got a bottle of water, but I left it behind. Mm. So I just lost a money amount. Right. Of so that game was really game just. Two. The race was just putting on all the pressure in it. Dude, race is sick. Yep. And I know it was a double SA comms team. <laughs> <laughs> Look, we are. We should be no, exhibiting no, no. some very outward bias, but I can't. Be no, no, reach no. any other conclusion. No, no, no. Other We're sensible. People, Dude, Razor's right? sick. Razor's sick. <laughs> I like. I played him in friendlies a little bit last night, and like, yeah. I got so destroyed. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, no, it, but like, it was like it was so cool. <laughs> like, have you ever just <laughs> have you ever just been like wrecked? Yes. But you just been like, I yeah, can't like, even. I, I can't sick. even get mad yeah. about that. It was so cool. That was sick. I can't say anything. He yeah. was hitting me with all like the sick ass link bomb confirms, like yeah, you yeah. know, explosion is down air and they're like Z drop forward, Z drop yeah, forward, yeah. Z drop forward. He's not even playing Link now. He, that's how like you know <laughs> he saves his sickest character. He's, he's playing the secret character. The secret right character. Now. The band character. The band character. <laughs> <laughs> no one's told him yet, but yeah, well, it's, it's fine. Oh, oh my oh, god, good what out. a call out. Jesus. Yeah, look, it, that's been the story. Dude, like, that was so brave though. Like no, Jacob was just holding shield and he side beat. This, like, this whole set, Razier's just had the, the read on when Jacob's going to press a button. Yeah. So he's, he's just been flat out, full on pressure this whole so, time. Jacob, he's so sick. Stabby J really hasn't had a moment to, to, to let no, him to do like anything. No, to get his, get his game plan yeah, going. He's exactly. just like, Razier's just absolutely smothering him mm. with like pit aerials, which is kind of an impressive task considering that pit aerials aren't that good. <laughs> they have some, they have some glaring shit hit boxes. <laughs> some glaring blind let's, spots. Let's, let's oh, I thought uh, Jacob was going to grab one carry. Through. Okay. Okay. I am. Oh! Yeah, look. Did you see it? I didn't spot did it. Did we both fail? We, we both died. We there. both did. <laughs> <laughs> we both. Oh, yeah. Yeah, spot the same. I know where that. Oh, I saw that one. I saw that one at least. I don't. Oh, grenade in the back end. 30 I don't, damage. I don't necessarily blame Rosie for that up smash, though, because. Uh, look, if you don't see it, he went for it. He no, that's, a, that's the thing. We're, not, we're passing no judgment. We both died there. Yeah. We both got hit by that. Yeah. And I saw that one, though. We all saw that one. Play Spot the C4. <laughs> you follow Stabby J on Twitter for <laughs> Spot the C4. My favourite mini game. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Especially when it makes it actually impossible to do and everyone's just like yeah. really mad at it. Yeah. Anyway. The setups from Stabby J here. Ooh, Good. Okay. Good call out. And just like that, we were saying he's he's got his game plan going. Yeah, so this is exactly where I'm speaking. Boom. Except Ray's Great use of the grab invincibility yeah. by Ray's. Good space. I mean, like Ray's is just well, I don't know. It's it's not exactly hard reads, but he is calling the yeah, calling the moment. Oh, so it's, oh we see, see ya. you later. That's the ultimate spot dodge right there. Yeah. He probably pressed that like yeah. two seconds before yeah. that actually happened. You know, you know what we call this? We we actually just say Razy's outplaying Stabby J right now. He is. He's yes. getting he's getting all the reads in neutral. And like it's hard to do against Snake, but he's just like I'm gonna see. I'm just gonna nair right now. Exactly. And it's gonna work. And he's he like, does it. You're gonna come in right now. I'm yeah. gonna nair. That's it. Bye bye. I wonder why he goes like Dark Pit here. Uh, probably. Have, well, I mean, I, I'm not Electro Shock and Arrows, right? Yeah, I suppose. So maybe he wants Electro Shock. Do you over reckon the Dark Pit Arrows knock Snake off the Cipher? Uh, great question. They need That's to do over nine percent or something. And they might. That might be the difference. Maybe, maybe not. Oh, nice parry. Oh, see, yeah, he didn't up to it. He knew. But Jacob needs to needs to close this out. Like, yeah, real quick, smart. He's, ah, oh, there, there you go. we go. Dive on him. Now. This is definitely within the realm of possibility for Snake. 
Snake does so much damage to it. It's actually cooked. See, he shields that and yeah. actually gets punished. Oh, he goes okay. for the cheese. Look, Iris. Oh, great tech, great tech. But he's still really far out. He's going to yeah. have to C4 himself to make this. Yeah. Uh, he had one on stage. Look, I don't. I think I think the <laughs> go for the cheese was the wrong call. Yes. Yeah, like, no. Ray, Ray's is too good of a player to, to he, fall he, for. Yeah, like, he's aware of that, right? Maybe if that was, like, super stressful, like, game mm. five if, or if something it, like if that. If it was, say, last hit. Not when Stabby J's trying to claw himself back. Right, Because, like, right. Ray's is not really stressed Dude, he's so, look out. Look, he's just yeah, ice like, cold. Like, he's like, okay, I'm I'm at 0%. I have, he's, he's throwing me off stage. I'm just going to go low. I have 16 safe. billion jumps. Yeah. I'm making this back. Yeah, like, like he's just chilling. Yeah. Uh, and, and at the same time, I understand why Stabby Jacob did that because yeah. when you're that far behind, well, you got because he, he's stressing. You got to go for the Hail Mary. Right? Yeah, exactly, exactly. Oh, he's J Jacob's two games down. Jeez. Yeah. So wasn't a fan of Lada. He's gone to PS2. I suppose I I believe that Rays have a fair amount of knowledge of this matchup against. Oh no, <laughs> this oh, no dude. <laughs> oh no. <He's, laughs> what do you do? <laughs> I don't think there's any counterplay. That <laughs> that's rough. <laughs> Look, sometimes you cover it. Sometimes right? you just press B <laughs> ten times in a row, and they're like, "Dude, yes, go <laughs> <Goat> race, yes." <laughs> <laughs> We're just are we just cheering against Jacob because he plays? Snake, <laughs> let's be let's be real here. No, yeah. I, we love Savage, yeah, and yeah. he's played fantastically today. But this is mm. like, uh, he's got a long, he's got a lot of adaptations to make here. I was going to say something. You're going to say adaptions, weren't you? No, no, I was going to say something completely different. Oh, okay. I lost uh, my train of thought, dude. Okay. You said something funny. Was there something about... Oh, oh boom! Uh, yep. Good, oh. call, good call out on uh, Stabby Joe running off the platform. I uh, See, again, just He like, just knows. He just, he's got the reason to you're, you. You're coming in right now. I'm going to hit yeah. you. Look, I, I don't know what else to say. Stabby Joe is getting now played. And, and Jacob's like uh, trading grenade damage, but like, Raze will take those trades. Yeah. If, if you issue. get the hit and you both get hit by grenade, that's a win. Right, right. When you've got a stock lead, like, who cares about your percent? Yeah, for sure. Extra credit, as they say. Uh, we don't say. We don't say because we it's a terrible cliche. But I can't think of anything else that would take its place right now. Up smash. You just say pushing the lead. Pushing the lead. Extending the lead. Extending the lead. There you go. Uh, okay. Oh. Okay. Nice, nice release. Just straight in, straight, just punch him. Yeah, because uh, he, he, he noticed. Ooh, okay, that was that was actually a great there. reaction because like when he gets that freeze from the grenade, Jacob's been kind of paralyzed the last couple mm. times. That, that mm. time he knew what to do. Yep. So, so he's making the required adaptations. Dude, nice oh, oh, that almost that almost hit him. Go yeah, these 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 arrows. They're the work, they're working. They are actually. They're putting in the hours. <laughs> okay. That was that was good. Ba, 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 ba. Sixty? How? Who who knows? Jake, Jake has been very uh, aggressive on the recovery. He slowed it down a bit there. Yeah. Caught Ray Z trying to punish him. And I now suppose Snake can't do all that much about the hit low recovery. Ah, bad bad C4 placement. Spin around. Oh. Will that kill? Yeah, we go high. We just chill. We just we just going high, dude. Oh, yeah, grenade Nate's saved him, I reckon. Ooh. Yeah, imagine Aris not just Aris. Where is he? <laughs> We can't Where did see. he go? Oh, oh he's oh, the dead. grenade got oh, him. he's dead. Oh, dude. <laughs> <laughs> he just spent too long outside. Yeah. Out, uh, the game just killed him. Just <laughs> the game was like, nah, nah dude. dude. Nah, Get back out. in the fight. <laughs> down throw. Down it. Okay, that grenade pull worked out. Took him. Stop Jacob from taking mm -hmm. more damage. Oh. Jacob's waiting for a roll in or something, but Raze Ray's ain't giving it to him. Is it Raze or Raze? I think it's Raze. Like, I, I, I've heard him being called both. So. Okay. I'll I say Ray Z. I'll say Ray Z because like I've heard it. Hey Taicho. Taicho says Ray Z, so like, is it Ray Z? I, I follow what he says. Ray Z. Taicho says Ray Z. Okay, okay. Oh, yeah. He's got a whole story on Twitter about the tag. <gasps> really? Because he used to be re Ray Z. <sighs> Didn't he? Surely. I don't know. Look, it's sorry, wait, he's about to win. <laughs> he's about to win the We're set. just talking about his tag. <laughs> But it's no, look, this, this has been quite a convincing performance so far. I won't yeah, lie. There you go. He's he's played exceptionally. Yep. Stabby Jacob has had a very good run, but he just looked lost. Yep. I mean, I mean, that's win aside. Like exactly. Stabby Jacob has a chance. He's still in this completely. That that. Ah, <laughs> oh, it was the way his grandfather pronounced lazy. There you go. And if I was to repeat that, yep. it'd be kind of racist. <laughs> well, I said it. Yeah, I know. I'm just saying. That's funny. That's funny as. Yeah, that was just Stabby J getting out play for three games. Yep. Like Rosie had straight all the up, reads in neutral. Straight up. Was and playing and pressure what I, what I honestly the, think the right that is, is what catches out South Australian players every time is the matchup and experience. 
Because we're, uh, we're such a small state, and like Pitt's banned in SA. The Pitt, Pitt, Pitt's banned. Uh, literal, I mean, literal fact: Pitt was banned. Pitt was actually Hero. banned. Yeah. <laughs> and I mean, like, people, like who plays Pitt? Right? People like Pitt's banned, but you know, do you see any Pits? Mm. Mm. Well, banned. now we do. Oh, yeah, actually, now we do. Yeah. Hey. We've forgot, we forgot to enforce this ban. Maybe we'll we'll see some in SA after this after this set. Ah, uh, maybe not. That character's banned. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> no. This is. I'm being facetious here for anyone who tries to take me too seriously. Pete is not actually banned in South Australia. Pete is not actually banned. We say that he's banned because nobody plays him. Just because, oh, you know, we got. There's a lot of Twitch viewers who'd be like, oh my god, you know, someone's yeah, typing, yeah, exactly. someone's typing that's, up a tweet longer right now. That's why I have to be explicit because yes. we've got, like, I think last I saw we had 200 and some viewers. Like, that's, that's Jeez, that's I don't not know bad. how many we're at now. That's we could not be, like, bad. high, we could be that lower. That is it's very exciting. Purple Edge Ghost. Thank you so much for tuning in to Big Cheese 2. Can we? I don't know how much discussion people have had, but this has been. Hey, I don't want to. I don't want to toot my own horn, so to speak. How many viewers we have? Hmm? Far Seven. out. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so, so, bit of history. Last Big Cheese one uh, on the very tail end of Smash Four. Literally, like, wasn't it? It was a week before Smash Ultimate released that our first tournament took place. Uh, yeah. No, sorry, no, sorry. That Big Cheese one took place. Big Cheese one took place a week before. It was like Ultimate December first. Uh, whatever the and week Smash before. Oh, look, was. I'm just going to Google the Smash Ultimate release. Nah, so like you. Real what, it's the week quick. before Ultimate. It's alright, I left my phone at the bar accidentally, yeah, so I can't. But, and then. Uh, so, it, unfortunately, it wasn't great. It was it was like an okay turnout. The SA scene was very small at the time. So we had 36. 32. 32. 32 entries. It was a perfect bracket. It was a perfect symmetrical bracket. I think we did round robin pools. Yeah, we, we did round robin pools. We did round robin pools. Yeah. It was great. Everyone got a lot of experience. But, like, Smash 4 was. To put it bluntly, dead <laughs> at that Super point. Super dead. Nobody was excited for it. Nobody was excited to travel for it, given that Smash Ultimate was releasing so soon afterwards. Yeah. Uh, but it was so good. It was a good tournament. But we were like, we want to do better. And so we, so this weekend we have approximately five times the entrance. Of we Big have Cheese 152 one. entrants. So if that I can extrapolate awesome. a little bit, the next Big Cheese is going to have 750 <laughs> entrants. <laughs> as many viewers in the chat. <laughs> If all of you come to come Big down Cheese to 3, SA. yes, 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 yes. All right. So we got, all right, this match coming up. Purple H goes. Oh, I'm, dude, I'm so, I've actually been keen for this like since. I have been a huge fan of what I've seen from Purple H. Hello, everyone. We're going to look professional, sorry. Yeah, sorry. It's Pretend I'm not wearing shorts. Just like look at the shirt. Look at the waist. The, the buff. What, what were you just talking about before we got distracted? Uh, I'm saying appearance. Purple H is sick. Purple H is sick. Um, dude, I just talked to him like on the stairs before. It was like the first time. Yeah. The whole weekend. I'm like, thanks for coming down, man. He's like, oh, no, thank you. <laughs> thank you. For, I can't do a chair. That's fine. That's so fine. so bad. We, look. Oh, oh snake. Okay. I'm going to say hide your bike. Look, Ghost has done the Daisy Brawler as well. I, it's so gross, dude. Yeah, I, it's, I think it's actually because I said it to him before. I was uh, like, why don't you do Daisy Brawler? Oh, sorry, I said, why don't you play Daisy anymore? And it's like, I'll do the Daisy but Brawler. Anyway, I said hi to Purple Age. He's like, no, thank you very much for running the tournaments. I'm like, we're nothing That's without the people who rock up. Exactly. Is the thing. We're nothing without, exactly. without the loyal attendees. And it's super nice of him to like uh, come down from it. Come down to SA for the weekend. Yeah, can we just talk about how Purple Age is going to snake game one? Yeah, so... I goes, haven't seen a snake. Ghost beat uh, Young Sad Hour in this matchup yes, earlier. Yes. It was 3-1, I believe. Um, uh, yeah, it was. It was. So either Purple H didn't see that or he, he reckons... Oh, what? Well, in the world? Yeah, nice, nice DI. Oh, nice no. DI. <laughs> oh, no. I mean, that's a mistake you only make once, right? You, you I mean, well, it looks really similar to Jab. And it's while that, that move. was... Let's, like, sidebar. Let's talk about how dumb that move is. So, like, <laughs> there's no me brawlers in Australia aside from Ghost. Like, no, it, okay, there sorry, are a couple. In, in the world. In the world. <laughs> Ghost is the only me brawler player in the world, so nobody knows where any of his moves are. Yeah. And there is a neutral beat, which is what you just saw there. It was, like, the rapid punch into the finishing hit that, like... So, I'm just, uh, I'm just getting going, sidetracked. Yeah, no, you're right. But most me character moves are basically copies of existing moves, right? So you've got like the me gunner charge shot, which is the Samus charge yeah, yeah, shot. Yeah, yeah, You know, like, mo you know, you've got the, you've got the, you've got the flip kick. You've got the flip kick. You've got the me brawler kick, which is the flip kick. The, that neutral B has no <laughs> it's, analog. It's in, unique. It's, it's unique Completely to me brawler. Unique. And because of that, everyone's like, what the hell was that? It looks exactly like rapid jab, but it but lasts forever and it kills it like a hundred <laughs> as we just saw. You can get some nasty edge guys with it too. Anyway, that was a really long run up to say that Meepro was secretly <laughs> really broken. 
I mean, look. Ghost is hanging on to the stock at 184. Oh, he's dead. Oh, yeah, he's dead. Duh. I was going to say, Ghost is just doing really well against Snake. He's not committing when he doesn't have to. He's yeah, yeah, getting yeah, the yeah. hits. Putting oh, the, I like grenade. to say, putting in the 9 to 5. Right? As, yeah. <laughs> oh, God, he almost uh, di that. Ooh, Did okay. you see Sad Hour die to up air, up E at 60 in their set? A, num a number of times. That'll happen against this character. Yes. I'm still not 100% sure if Ghost thinks Me Brawl is busted or if he's just playing Me Brawl because it works. He like, uh, he reckons they're like, you know, borderline mid high. High, mid high? Yeah, fair enough. Fair like, enough, they're, they're a good character with some bad matchups, you know? Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. So some characters, they work really well. So you play Brawler against them. Oh, that was an unfortunate drift in by Purple Age, but he's making it back to the ledge. Purple Age is kind of actually. Maintained this stock, which is important, and he died that well, so he didn't die. Great work by Purple Age. If he can take, you know, Snake with Rage. Okay. Up till, up till we'll kill now. Like, strong hit. Yeah. But I mean, so we'll get so that. There you go. Good call out. Yeah. I do. I was just about to say. I that that piston punch. I've seen a lot of, a lot of call outs on Snake landing with that. Right. Because I suppose it like snakes likes to land with like back airs and stuff like Cause, that. Cause it'll they, be, they, it'll be gonna, aggressive options. Yeah, they're gonna like be reverse, back Oof. air, maybe air dodge, right? The big foot. And if they air dodge, then you reset to neutral, it's fine. Right. But if right, they do right. anything else they die. Yeah, so, true, true. So it's a pretty Dude, they did like twenty three. Yeah, it's, what it's, the, it's like a smash attack. It's strong there. It's so good. <laughs> what the heck, dude? Ghost just hacking on fifty real quick. But okay. oh, oh great nair by Ghost. Yeah, yeah. Otherwise he was copping the full nair damage. Da -da, da -da. Yeah, there you go. Bah. Damage, damage, damage. One hundo. Uh, good landing by Purple right. Age. Ooh. That was so close. But, ooh, bro, good cross up on the up air by Ghost. Okay. Goes for a shield grab into an up throw. Can he? Yeah, oh, he, he did it! Again, does he it pulled the trigger! There you go. That was, that was, like, that was sick. That was. I don't, I don't know how else to describe I'm a it. fan of what I'm seeing. I, I can't. <laughs> I can't, I can't be in a better position right now. This yeah, is yeah. front row stuff. Too. I mean, if I was in the crowd, I'd be... I would we'd I'd be, be screaming. We were already screaming already. Yeah, yeah, I know. We can't. I was I was popping off for Ghost when I was, like, stream running before. And it was, yeah, yeah. I feel kind of bad. It's hard. It's hard when you're behind the decks and you... You've got to be professional. <laughs> <laughs> no, we, one, we, one of us should, like, cheer exclusively for Purple H just so we don't express quite as much bias. Ah, uh, shotgun not. <laughs> Let's go, Purple H! <laughs> Switch to Wolf! Look, his wolf is like sick nasty, and his wolf is the only other character so, I've seen um, him play in Winners so far. That's it, right? I'm curious. See, look, it's the same animation as Rapid Jab. Sorry. I'm curious why he went Snake Game One. Ah, because I went to Lila. But you pick character before stage. Yeah, you're right. So, Damn it! So he blind picks. I, I thought I was like so smart there. No, like, oh. no, it's not game two. No, because I, right. I yeah, I haven't seen Purple H play. I could be wrong. No, I've only but, seen his wolf today. Yeah. Uh, and so I, I haven't seen all of his matches. But does he have some previous experience with Brawler oh, or with something? Brawler? Like that? I'm not sure. There could be a German Brawler. Mm. Potentially. Or a New South Wales Brawler. Does True Ball play Brawler? <laughs> does he? Don't assume that every <laughs> German knows each other. Jesus. I don't, yeah, I know. That's, <laughs> that's kind of general. Oh, oh great yeah, power! Call that. No, every German Smash player probably knows each other. <laughs> the same way that every Australian Smash player knows each other. Uh, it's true, a very tight-knit community. Yeah, yeah. Oh, this oh. is just platform extensions, like Buh? over and over. Buh? Great narrow to shield. He's he's swiping. He's kicking. Oh, oh god. Staying calm. Okay. Ooh. Goes. Yeah, for the Maybrol is recovery mix up surprisingly good. Mm. That hit super deep into the stage. Da da da. Yep, Brawler is actually like in the box realm of uh, of full speed. Yeah. Somewhere around there. I think it's slower, but. Like within that super fast fall range. Mm. It's crazy fast. Da -da. It got nerfed, didn't it? I think we brought this <laughs> It got nerfed then, re and then changed back to what it was. Oh, really? Yeah. Actually? Yeah. Is that what happened? So it got changed so that fair auto cancelled and then it got changed back to what it is now. Yeah. Yeah, alright. <laughs> Thanks, <laughs> Obama. <laughs> Oh, oh up up scoop up air into oh that I thought that killed for a second. He just appeared on the top. That's actually true commerce. Mm. Yo, maybe like scoop up air? Is this character actually cloud for throw? Uh, could be cloud. Scoop up air into up it's, it's punchy cloud. Duh. Car, Ghost can't kill him off the re-grab there yep. apparently, but F2 almost does it. Ah. Uh, no punish on the side B. Okay, go back, try again. Do not yep. pass go. Side B? No, up B this time. Ghost not taking any unnecessary risks though. 
Nero had a this shield. This is very like. Really? Yeah, yeah. Insane. Yeah, yeah. Insane stuff. I believe it. Yeah. I mean, well, that's, we're, we're learning. Yeah. Book learning. But I'm seeing a lot of ghosts just playing very, very straightforward. Very yes. like, this is what I'm meant to do. It's going to work. He has I'm a game plan it. and he is sticking to that's it. That's it. And that is really what you need to do. Where people say like textbook play, and it's like that that has a negative connotation, but no, I it's, th it's it, very textbook right now. Yeah, but like he's getting all the right call outs when he needs doing to. Doing exactly what he needs to do. He's not taking unnecessary risks. And I that, believe that's the, honestly the, the name of the game in yeah. Smash Ultimate. Yeah, remember when like the first few months and everyone was complaining how this game was super offensive? Yeah. And and now actually, as it turns out, it's you're just camping is just it's equally good. Yeah, yeah. Except you camp differently. You camp with moves instead of like not instead of run up shield instead of run up shield. Did I? <laughs> you remember Run Up Shield? <laughs> I mean, I play Cloud, so I like, I still kind of miss that, but I still. Oh, oh big nice kicks. back. On. Good call out on the return to stage. Upbeat. Oh, he reverses it accidentally. I imagine. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Unless he was going for something galactic, right? But. Ghost finding his way back down to stage right now. Purple H wants to rack up a bit of damage. The down air is actually enormous. It's awesome. Yes, good one. Uh, Da, 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 da. Good call out on the recovery from mm. two to go. Joshua Ghost Francis. Joshua Ghost Francis. Ghost Boner. Neko Bone. Ne go. Neko Bone. Neko Love. I wonder if he is still technically Ghost Bone or if he, Oh, Neko Love? Yeah. 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 I don't think he's Neko. No, I don't he's, think he's, he's never been Ghost Bone. He, oh, no, sorry. He was Ghost Bone. No, so he's never been Ghost Boner. <laughs> no, we definitely invented that one. <laughs> That's definitely made That's up. definitely not safe for work. Well, Very true. I mean. That's fine. Yeah. It's fine. Who could possibly be watching? <laughs> Just, uh, just a lot of a lot of people on the Twitch front page. Ah, oh, never mind that. Game three. All right, all right. PS2 the pick again. Gone back to. Snake. What is it? What do you reckon? One four seven means. Uh, no idea. I couldn't. I thought maybe he. Guess. I thought maybe Purple H was a fan of Australian drill rap group One Four, but <laughs> probably, probably maybe, not. Maybe, maybe. Probably not. But he's gone back to Snake. Not, oh, not a, good not, read. Not a fan of the Wolf. Ah, uh, look. It's hard to say what went better, actually. They did perform quite similarly. Pretty similarly, honestly. Mm. And maybe, this, it, so in this case, it could be a stage thing, very possibly, if, if, he, if Purple yeah, H just really likes yeah, Snake potentially. on PS2. Maybe he just felt like this. he was more comfortable in the Snake. Bird, down throw, up B. Oh, up air, okay. Take it back, take it back. Yeah, very possibly. Okay, oh, suplex. That's the, first, that's the first one of we've seen all set, by the way. You're, of that like you're landing correct, shield though. mix up. But it's it's so good. I don't think he's pressed the button before now. Actually, I'm sure he's maybe. But nah, like, nah, nah. Surely, surely not. Which is like, oh, good right, read. Ba, ba, ba. Oh, oh, the double. Oh, oh. okay. Look, Ima look, imagine. Imagine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, call oh. out. That does enough damage to knock him off the side. There you go. Punch, punch, punch. Yo, yeah, yeah. Oh. It just, it just, it just. Dude, go, has Ghost wait, right waited till game three to start pressing side B? He's got two of them. Like it's, it's the it's the adaptations, mate. Or maybe maybe Ghost is like, all right, I've conditioned Shield enough now. It's time. To Ooh, oh, good, okay. exploding. Okay. I did see that one. Uh, so I lived there and Ghost. Look, I wasn't looking for making it, me so better. You can't you can't call me out. Uh, I wasn't well, looking. Look, you should have made it. <laughs> I should have been looking. Bup, 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 bup. Ooh, falls out of the last hit. You rarely see that. But okay. Ooh. Oh, he tried to sh he tried to Ghost tried Ooh. to snake him. But great grab. Uh oh, but. Yeah. Good shoot. Yeah. Me brawler's jab better than snakes, possibly. Uh, Frame two, maybe. Oh! 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 He just does it. He just did it, dude. <laughs> That's sick. That that moves active for like two frames. <laughs> That's really hard to do, dude. That was a that was <laughs> crazy. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Fifty damage right off the. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, he just went. Yeah, for settled, it. settled. Look, when you, you're this far ahead, Look, you're like, you I'm not gonna die for this. I'm going for it. Okay. Purple H. Wants to wants to slow this down, I think. Yeah, for sure. Ba 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 ba. The ba. ghost just like not letting him breathe. He's, he's doing it. He's doing. No, okay, he didn't do it. Yeah, he didn't do it. it was a bit obvious. That I time. think I think Purple H was just in the right spot that time. Okay. Uh, yeah, roll in. Nope. Okay, caught it wrong. Caught okay, it wrong. catches up air. Good drift out by Ghost. Oh, oh, he did. Oh, that, but, oh, so that would have like, killed. Interesting <laughs> fact that you can't be reverse that move. Really? It's so bizarre. It's so like bizarre and weirdly specific. Down throw, explode. Oh, okay. I, dude, Again, he Ghost, Ghost actually could have comboed off that grenade explosion. Mm. He just didn't mm. quite react in time. Yeah, so me brawler's neutral B can't be B reversed. Interesting. In the air, maybe full stop. 
I did try playing me Brawler for like one tournament. <laughs> Uh, is he, he going to oh, do it? Oh, okay, oh maybe okay, not. Okay. It's just okay. I mean, Ghost has like taken the. Oh, oh, there we go! That's yeah. it. <laughs> let me just let me just poke my head up here. Real quick. Let me just have a look around. <laughs> Stick what's, your head up. What's this? What, what's going on up here? <laughs> <laughs> oh, whoa. What's Congratulations. This? Three. Oh, I'm sorry. Congratulations. Do I have to tap you out for yeah, touch on here? Might be. Nah, sit, sit, straight, sit down. Sit Brad, you t you tapped in. Don't worry, don't, don't worry. worry about it. Don't worry about it. Fantastic play by both players. And of course, Purple H still in winner's bracket. I'm oh, sorry, instantly loser's bracket. Yeah, now. but let's go Ghost, right? Let's go Ghost. Let's, let's go, go Ghost. He played real good. And dude, like me, Brawler, nobody nobody sees it coming. Well, because nobody's seen that character before. Nobody's seen right? that character. Everyone's just like, yeah, they're bad. At least at least he's not playing like Sans in a dress this time. That was, no, actu that was playing, actually the he's worst. He's playing stuff. the ridiculous daisy the hair. Because I was like, why don't you play daisy? Blank, like, dead yeah, eyes. Yeah, let me put. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so God, haunting. It, it, it's really horrifying. It's awful. Let's move off me, me fighters, please. On to Extra Joe. Extra Joe. So ZSS Game Watch. So I was, I was chatting to uh, Ghost about this before, about this upcoming mm -hmm. match, and it's it's interesting because like I feel there hasn't been much buzz around Joe so far. Like there's been like I don't know. He's Go, Ghost put it very succinctly. He's like he hasn't really been a part of the storyline so far. But actually, oh, yeah. he's been working well behind the scenes. He's been destroying people. He's like he's been doing well in Sydney, right? Yeah. No, I mean like uh, of this tournament specifically. Oh, this tournament. He's just but he's been winning. He hasn't that had that many games on stream. I don't right. Know. Okay. Uh, and like, well, he's just been like playing as he's just been to playing point, really right? well. Yeah, yeah. But that's the thing. And Kinda he's got to this point of low key, low key, understated, low key. understated. understated. Put, putting in the work. That's all right. we need to do. Exactly. Right. You just show up. You do what you're meant to. Ba ba ba. He's just here to play All of a game. sudden, you're almost in top eight, like right. But w without much buzz going on, is is the thing. Maybe that's just because everyone thought he would make top eight. So he like. needs to be extras game and watch a notorious matchup for game and watch from Smash Four. I haven't seen much of this game. Yeah, I. Th it's got to be different, right? I don't think any of our knowledge on this. Well, you don't die at zero you don't anymore, <laughs> right? Through that. So we're town is big, and like both these characters have similar movesets, but they play very differently. See? Like, back throw. You wouldn't see that in Smash 4. <laughs> back throw? <laughs> back in my day. <laughs> back in Game Watch just died, you know? That was that was stock one. Well played. 50% of the match. Up air, up air. We're done! So, yeah. <laughs> We're the later. world's shortest commentary slide. See you at Big G3! <laughs> <laughs> well played to Joe. He got a grab <laughs> against his character. Yeah. And actually... I think I think we're in for the slightly longer haul this time. Yeah, right? no, I think this is a much more real matchup in this game. Yeah, right. I, I imagine there's still all the crouching stuff, but probably to Maybe. lesser than extent. I'm not sure. Oh god, that I'm no expert. for some reason. Calls out the jump. Okay. Yeah, so zero suits campier in this game. Like, oh, for sure. Uh, she's more defensive. She's more evasive, and uh, Game of Watch is just cooked. <laughs> Game Watch is good. Absolutely. He's just, uh, it's, it's just got like, it's kind of he doesn't seem like a good character mm. on paper, but he's got a lot of really good moves. Yeah. It's just kind of weird. Best out of shield in the game. Best out of shield in the game. Like F tilt. All his tilts are incredible. Mm. All of his arrows oh, are excellent. really good. That was actually, excellent. you very rarely see a forward air getting a kill like that, but that was a perfect catch that, in the neutral getter. That stock was all oh, extra. A footstool in the down air. Okay. Goes, See, but, uh, sorry, Ghost. Uh, Joe, like, pot, like I don't know how Zero Suit actually gets kills in this match. Oh, there you go. Like that? Finish my sentence like, for we, me, we, but we, Without be able to shield. Without be able to shield. There you go. It's just a matchup of don't screw up on the other player's shield. Yeah. Apparently. Ba, 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 ba. Okay, okay, okay. Pretty big damage. Ooh, Ooh. nice. Yo, so, you know what? You want to know the cooked thing about um, Game & Watch's up air, which I only learned recently. What's that? So, it's technically a projectile, but, like, it doesn't flank. Unlike, you know, like, let's say you can clank with, like, oh, nice up smash placement. Dude, this guy's crazy. He's actually really good at the game. <laughs> you might say he's one of the best in the country. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, maybe. 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 Just a hunch. Just right. I mean, Joe's, Joe's looking... That was a really nice combo. He didn't do that much damage. Mm -hmm. You know, so, like, most most physical project... Ooh, you can't shoot that, apparently. And I'm struggling to think of an example. Like, imagine, uh, like, I don't know, Mega Man's Metal Blade. You can, like, hit it, yeah. I think. Uh, like Samus missiles, you can hit them. Mm -hmm. A lot of projectiles you can like that aren't intangible. You can just hit them and beat them out. But like Game Watch Upper, it isn't intangible, but you can't beat it out. 
Uh, it's just like completely unbeatable. Well, it's transcendent. Got a reflector. What? It's transcendent? No, it's not transcendent is the thing. Well, it's, like, it's like Rob's lasers. Maybe it is transcendent. It's probably transcendent. I'm not sure. It's a good move. Let's <laughs> it's move a good on. move. Let's move on. <laughs> Look, Reveal my lack of we're, knowledge. We're, we've just seen extra... Oh, oh that hit? Cool that. Jeez. I think Joe, Joe tried to shield grab. <laughs> that move is so scary. X just had a dominating mission this whole game. Uh, oh! Nice He's fine. He's done that before. That's crazy. But, like, when you're a character that's built on kind of, like, evasive play, how do you force this stock high? Like that! <laughs> that's the second time! <laughs> Come on! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, say, it, say it again. <laughs> say it so again. There's no way Joe can <laughs> take this stock there's right no now. There's no way! No way that could possibly Joe happen. Oh, he's dead. No, no, oh! he's dead! He's actually just dead. Yep. Very solid play from extra there. I cannot punish the up smash. No. It's so good. It's so strong. It's, uh, it's And it's yeah, almost it's definitely, like, there were not very many safe moves in Smash 4. There was, like, Ryu back air. Like, Game & Watch up smash. Cloud back air. And Cloud back air. Sorry, I just... It was peanut... Okay, anyway. um, never, never mind. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> but in this, so that was already a safe move, and it's safer in this game. Yeah, no, that especially when out of shield options are less universally worse. Yeah. Shield grabs bad. There's you, more you, shield stun. You've, you've got up B, which is the best in the game, and then up smash for when you want to kill it, ninety right. or hundred or whatever the percent is. Baba. -ba. Okay. okay. This is a grab. Good, good drift away by extra. Uh, yeah, there you yeah, go. Yeah, there you go. He can do it before the final jab comes <laughs> out. Like he doesn't care. <laughs> He's out. He did put go extra put himself on the top platform, which is kind of rough, but he's still doing pretty good. Mm -hmm. Ba, 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 good. Like extras diing all these like nares away, which yeah. is exactly what you need to do to avoid getting like back air forwarded. Yeah. When, whenever Joe starts something, like he, he he gets a hit in neutral and he's going for the follow up. Extra, he's, he's not getting that much off his off his starters, is he? Yeah, no, just like e that. Yeah, extra like, like either up be out of shield or do or like just air dodge away. He's just picking and, like, the right stuff. Like, Joe's getting, like, very few stray hits in between. Yes. And, like, his combo starters, he's not getting quite as much off as he'd mm. probably like to. But then again, look. This, I think this character, like, Game & Watch is... Ooh. I was about to say, we'll see, like, a Nair or yeah. a Down da, 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 And he does. As I go. was saying, <laughs> Joe just needs, like, like either a neutral B or a flip I don't kick. know how Joe kills, really. It's just no, no, hard, no. you know? I, I think that's just the way this matchup goes. Like, Game & Watch, because he's so evasive, he can just get out of all these, there's this, right. reset he's combo Because he's, he's a lightweight, but he's, like, got weird characteristics mm. as far as, like, oh, okay. yeah, like it. But, he's... he's so, oh, oh I'll take a look. See you later. But he's so light. He's so that light. He just loses after Joe has gotten all these straight hits. Jo Gets hit at 80 and all, he dies. all of Joe's kills so far have been up mm. I mean, like, if that's the matchup, you got to do it, right? Yeah, I, no, no criticism there. Yeah. It's just like, up E out of shield or like, oh, yeah, yeah. or, you know, whatever whatever works, really. Yep. Or like, Burry up E. That was, that was, yeah, yeah. Like, Burry's not really a reliable option, though, because it's like, you know, technically, I think that shield poked. <laughs> like, full shield. Holy moly. Up E out of shield? No, okay. Too, good drift away by extra. The, staying safe on shield is the name of the game right now. Yep. It? Which both of these characters are very good at. Oh, oh that catches roll. It's yep. so big. I mean, that was safe anyway, even if it didn't roll. Yeah, you're right. You're right. That's so the, extra just does it. But it's like, it's got like 25 frame startup or something dumb. It's like very slow, so it's not like something you can just spam. Extra has to like have the right conditioning to be able to pull that option out and not get hit for it. 25. I, I don't believe I, you. I, I literally. I don't believe I just you. guessed. I just <laughs> guessed. It's not. Sm it's not fast. Okay. All right. Yeah. It's good. Look, it's comparable to Mario Smash, but better. It's slower, but it's safer. Yeah. Oh, that was so close. Uh, yeah, good job. Yeah, there wow. you go. He's safe. <gasps> that works! I didn't know you that could That works! It. I didn't realize you could do that. Did he get full bucket? I didn't see. It was very, either full or very close. I think it maybe it's two thirds. But like, yeah. Uh, he's probably, Extra's probably not going to fill up the bucket before he loses the stock, so it's kind of a moot point. Oh! Okay. Uh, almost, almost Extra, I think, wanted to like spot dodge F tilt. Mm. <laughs> F tilt almost killing. Crazy. Yeah, do yeah. it again, do it again. Joe, do it again. Joe just fishing for his list traps. Stay, stay safe. One of them's got to work eventually. Yeah, yeah. 
No, he's, he's, Joe's doing a good job of just keeping but the... Yep. Oh! oh Goes for the same option. We, we both thought he was going to up B, right? Yeah, but well, like, Joe probably knows better than we do. Yeah, Joe's not confident that what he's, he's got the hit then, because you can't really oh, react to it. You true, have to do, true, 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 true. When you don't do the full charge, you have to sort of preempt. Very good point, especially considering the input delay. Yeah. yeah so so good he's good. just jabbed being like, this is the safe option. Oh, oh good good wow. Match. Straight up. Yeah, very close. Bye bye. Oh, oh what, a, nice. what, a, what a grab. Okay. Joe doing the ZSS thing. Just keeping the game watch at bay. Yeah. Goes right down here. Extra. Another one. Uh, it's only did 10 damage, but oh, that's more. That's 34. Yo, trapping these landings very well. Landing hitbox of back air, just catching Joe out a little bit there. In a rough spot there, underneath that platform is like. Hard to get out of. Up in the upper. Up be out of shield, dude. Bar. Yeah, both these guys staying safe. But that was like a actually really good reaction by. Jo oh, re grab. Did that, did that catch it? I didn't see. It. Oh, oh yes, yes, it, it did. He got it. Is he he got the full bucket. Do you keep the bucket between stocks? You apparently you yeah, keep you the do. bucket between stocks. Yeah, that's been oh, there you go. Yeah. Dude, he just like. He's like, I got this. I got you this little. Get splashed on. It's a. Get splashed it's a trap. That well, <laughs> wait, what's the? Are you, it's are something you, are secret you, that will help us out later. Are you, are you yelling me right now? Am I not? What? What are you doing to What? Me? Never mind. Never mind. I'm what just what are you quoting? Uh, I hesitate to say. I'm quoting an internet meme that I don't know the source of. Oh, uh, okay. I'm sorry, I can't get it off the top of my head. J j jettison. <laughs> ben this chip. topic onwards. <laughs> that was three. Dude, so he got the full charge? Yeah. And he just weed like. Well, I wasn't I sure it, it, he like got it the third time. Right, right. I was like, did that, did that? It killed him so him. early. Yeah. Ledge hop, ledge hop, sludge bucket, or whatever you call it. I don't know. Oil bucket. Oil bucket. Oil, oil, bucket. oil panic. Oil panic. Oil panic. Yes. I just call it bucket. I think most people I mean, call, most bucket. call it bucket. I like, because it is literally a bucket. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Which is probably why. Look at that shield pressure. They call it bucket. Extra just. Oh. oh. Meaty. Pressing all sorts of things on Joe's shield. Then just up his out. Dude, it's like 30 seconds. It, uh, Joe's at 100. That's cooked. Yo, something's popping off on the side, side stream right now. Side nuts. I kind of want to... Oh, no, it's not the side stream. I think it's a money match. Anywho. Okay. All right. Let's stay focused. <laughs> but it's, there's a lot of exciting things happening in the big chair yeah, yeah, yeah. right now. Or oh, parry. Parry. Parry, parry, parry chair. Legendary. Perfect option. Is, is that slower you know than Inkling Jab? <laughs> we were there for like a good 20 seconds. <laughs> yeah, we're just like, all right, it'll be over in a second. <laughs> Give it oh, a minute. Oh, nah, nah, nah. Okay. okay. Yeah, that would have worked if Smash 4 did. Ooh! He's Speaking alive. of Smash 4, he's alive. He's still alive. I reckon Joe could have gotten the spike if he went out with the flip kick ball. Maybe. It's, but like, that's hard to it's get. It's so hard. You sort of just need to like can, do it and hope Can you, you angle right. uh, flip kick? Like, yes. can you go further? Yeah, it's not a fixed trajectory. No. Oh, cool. Uh, oh, good catch good. on the jar. Oh, good. Yeah, but like, it's... It's similar to what I was saying with Paralyzed before. You can't really react to it. You sort of preempt like what they're gonna do. Yeah, 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 yeah. And like hope you get it right. And like if you do the close one, like Joe did, it'll hit no matter what. Yeah. It just might not spike. Oh, what in the world was that confirmed? That was that was kind of nasty. And now like Joe with no jump, really struggling to find a way down. Gets a little mini punish by extra. Uh. Oh. So like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, ju I just saw that landing there at that percent in Smash 4, he would have died. <laughs> Extra would have died. Like, 100% unironically. Uh, Zero Zoo Tether just not working for no reason there. As it does. Oh, oh god, Extra's going for some very big reads right now. That one almost Will he do, will he do it out. again? He's got it. Uh, now watch this, watch this. Watch this. Okay. He's gonna read the... Up Smash? No, okay. We're, just, <laughs> we're too hungry for it, dude. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> We've lost it. This, <laughs> this is why we're not in bracket anymore. Oh, ba 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 ba! Yes, good down smash by Joe. Feels like he almost lived that, but. Nah, 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 nah. Great usage of Zero Suit Rage. Yeah, Probably gonna out. go F throw, yeah. Get him off stage. Joe just okay. like boycotting the ledge. Out again. Oh, good catch. Reese? Oh! Wow. That's Who hot. cares he didn't get the spike? That's hot. That's, that, was, that was a great option. Okay. That was like five steps ahead right there. Up yeah, smash. Yeah. Up smash water. Yeah, nice. Nice, quick 30. Why did that work? That's so much damage! Jesus That's 40 damage! Nice. And Etch you know, is just, Etch is just smothering all the Joe like jumping attempts. Yeah, for sure. 
Turtle's, Turtle's like much better in this game, I think. Mm -hmm. Alright. Oh, we haven't seen that many of the landing keys from from Extra, which is like, it's kind of normally a game and watch staple, but... Yeah, I think... Giving, a, giving Joe the respect. Probably here. because Extra is aware that Joe knows about it. Right. So he's expecting it, right? I suppose it, it, it's not like Extra's playing someone who's never played against Game Watch before. You are very correct. So... I, I'd I, be interested I, to know the stats on these guys in Smash 4, actually. Oh! Oh! He's, he's dead! dead! Is he dead? Oh. See you later! Great paralyzed usage. And again, it's like all of these stocks have been up -ease. Yeah. It's kind of that's, that's the matchup. Egg, um, Game Watch it's, is... Dude, he's so hard to hit. It's so evasive. He's so hard to hit. So you got to like make him stay still with the paralyzer. Mm -hmm. Or uh, up the out shoot. Yep. Just sorry, you were saying something there. I, I cut you off. Well, you said what I was going to say. Extra just catches Joe. Sorry. Other way around. Joe just caught Extra there. Trying to dash in in neutral with the down smash. Yes. Exactly what he needs to do. Like, he, all he can get is these stray hits, so. Mm. But you died 80. But you died 80. Three, so. Two, Clearly, like, one, Rage Rage is go. interestingly still maybe kind of a factor here. It's not. It's kind of weird. Like, Rage used to be. It's, it was a. Sorry, I'm talking about Smash 4 a lot. It's weird. <laughs> well, it's because. But well, that's our experience in the Smash that's, <laughs> that's, that's our only frame of reference <laughs> at this point, yeah. So, like, Smash 4 yeah. Rage was, like, a constant. You know, like, every time you. Do oh! oh, oh in so two! <laughs> speaking of Smash 4! Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, not quite, not quite, not yeah. quite. I was about to hit him with a wait a minute, but. Uh, no, no. So oh! Wow! No. That two yeah, frames? Crazy. Kind of, but not really. Yeah, he didn't really get much off. You it. sort of have to. Joe might have been able to like down tilt possibly, but like probably not kill him. Yes. Actually, it doesn't. I'm pretty sure Uppy hits on the ledge. I'm pretty sure Zero uh, Suit boost kick. I'll see ya. No, he's not dead. He's so dead. It's Game and Watch, man. Jeez. Come wow. on. That move is like super nerfed and it's still really good. Yeah. Nah, I don't know why that surprised me. What was that? What was I saying about Smash 4? Like. He's not dead here, don't worry. Oh. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> so rage used to be a thing that was like constant. You'd die, or you'd be like, "Oh no, he's got rage." It's not really a consideration in this game. No, like you very see. infrequently, and and this is one of those those infrequentlies. Like, you sort of just die ten percent earlier sometimes. But but in this kind of in this matchup, for whatever reason, it's actually proven to be quite like a boon in Joe's favor. Yeah, back it. Ooh, that was even better. Even better than back it. Oh, nice parry. Into? Nah, he's good. <laughs> Into. I, just, I just zero C zero suit hit up there and I get nervous, but nice side big Joe. Flashbacks man, it's okay. Shh. Oh, back air a little high there. Uh, uh. Joe's staying safe. Like keeping keeping extra pin in the corner. Extra doing the game once you've just, just wait well. for him to mess up. And hit him with the hit him with the trampoline. Oh, and he's catching the. He's caught out a lot of those foot kicks with us. Yeah, right. He's, he's placing them like just slightly mm -hmm. in front of uh, where Joe's going. Really smart. That's that could have been a maybe a bigger punish possibly. Oh, good drift away by Joe. Yep. Down air. Nice up to it. Close stuff, dude. It's Game of Watch is so hard to hit. <laughs> Do you see the, the <laughs> Oh, that probably shield poked, I think. Yeah, yeah. Crazy. The amount of Joe's back airs that are hitting just like centimeters too high. But I mean, Joe's got the, tool, the tools to stay safe between between like there yeah. and, and there. Like, so uh, it, it really feels like it's extra's, extra's duty to go in here. Which yeah, is like well, I was saying before hard position to be in. the game watch is really evasive, but that's more so on the... You can't really hit his shield because he just gets out Zoom. of it. He just zooms off, he yeah, hits yeah, you yeah. for it. ZSS can sort of just choose not to interact. Exactly. Very, very well put. Oh, oh that was a fantastic read! Fantastic stuff. Brilliant. That was that was like fully charged. Yeah, like call the air dodge, call the air dodge away as well. Like uh, yeah, that, that's flat out. You're gonna air dodge. Joe's catching on, man. You're gonna air dodge here. He's learning. Bang. He's learning. Shoots him. Can extra Kicks learn him. back? <laughs> Who's gonna learn? Who's gonna learn more? <laughs> School's in session, baby. <laughs> baby. I like that. Interesting. <laughs> Look at the game five scenario. It's a game five scenario. You know, I was looking pretty hot for extra before. It was. I was. And just then about Joe's to call just. It, but Joe's just 
had the call out last week. He, he knows exactly what extra's gonna do. Have a hundred percent of his of Joe's stocks been up east? Look, I, like, uh, I don't know what this info. I don't know what to do with this information. I don't know what it means. It's just it's just interesting. Well, yes, but it means what it means is Joe has a very good game plan. He has a very. Like, got a, you got to kill with flip kick. What? You got to kill, kill, kill with flip kick. You're totally right. Off the side, but yeah. whatever works. It's just like Joe. Maybe Joe's figured out what he needs to do. Yeah. And extra is getting like good at racking up damage at these low percents, but he is struggling when it when you know it gets to kill percents. Because like uh, the up the game watch up air will never kill. Yeah. Like almost never, unless you, you you're already in the magnifying glass. You can get him to two hundred percent, but then like what do you do after that? Right. You still gotta you still gotta hit him with like a tilt or a smash attack. Because no game watch doesn't have a kill throw either. I don't think up air shield kills either. So and Joe, Joe maybe has just been doing a really good job at avoiding the kill moves. Mm. So you know Joe with rage, like Gumbus. Oh Edutch. I called that one. <laughs> well done, so good. Dude. Well done, Pat. So good. <laughs> oh, that's oh. that'll just straight do it. There you go. Back air kills as well. Yeah, back air kills as well. So does forward air, but yeah. it's really hard to hit forward air. Because I was surprised to learn that the explosion only happens when the bomb hits the ground. Yes. Uh, it's like you can't bomb people in the air. I don't. Yeah, know. it just has that like send down hitbox. Yeah, right. Which is like inconsistent yeah. at best. But Joe not being able to find these these hits he needs in this last game. Uh, extra like extras by all accounts doing the learned and catching the flip kick with the up air again. See, you can't beat out that move. That was 60%. That's insane stuff. And if extra dude can just keep juggling Joe like this. That's where he's getting nearly all of his damage. Knock okay, him up okay. in the air. Oh! oh! Good Dude, catch! How did he know? That's crazy. That's happened a couple of that times. That was sick. Yeah, but the last time, like, extra air dodged away. How did he even call that one out? Because he knew! Just sick. Because he knew! Just sick. Extra sick, too. Don't get me wrong. Nah, but did extra do that down? Extra didn't, extra didn't hard read that one. Yeah. And it, oh, in two? Okay. okay, okay. Nobody okay, overcommitting okay, okay. there, which is like game five. Yeah, I clearly understand. We chill, we chill, we relax. We're just, just vibe. We're back to neutral. Vibe for a sec. Nice parry. Parry the jab. Up, Lovely. Uh, Makes it back. Yep. Okay, okay. C try extra trying to catch the roll in. Staying safe. Name of the game. Don't mess up. <laughs> yeah, it gets up oh, here. Oh, up here and up here. That's exactly wow, that almost killed him. Jesus Ooh. Christ. <gasps> Clutch I thought extra was dead, but that was really well placed. Super back. clutch back, yeah. Oh, yeah, bombs him. Ya. He's out. Wow. See you later. Extra just jumped straight oh, over him. Goes to the hard read. Ambitious. What are you doing, Joseph? Joseph. Stay cool, Joseph. Stay cool, Joseph. <laughs> back air. Is there? No. Okay. No. Okay. Stay cool. Can he get the yeah, two yeah. frame? Oh, that was so close. Did you get up into it? Dude, that was it. so brave. Did you get up there? Oh. Uh, okay. Okay, okay, Joe. Okay. Oh, look, I get it. Yeah. I get it. Look, he's, uh, he's this far behind. He's that up. was I so need close. To make right now. Extra text correctly. Yeah. Look, I think Joe should side beat because it like shield poked last time. So if he can just get that. Well, there you go. I mean, it's pretty hard to hit. I'm scared for Joe. We're all scared. Oh, okay. I'm trying not to show bias, but like Joe's just so sick. Oh! Ba ba ba! See? Oh! Oh, he shot okay. up. He should have upbeat. He was, he was extra's, on extra's like aggressive returning to stage is so good. Yeah. He's just keeping safe. And this is looking real hard for Joe right now. Yeah, I think he squandered his one opportunity yeah, there. That was it. That was it. And now extra. Oh, uh, up air up into up Sick combo. With all the pressure right now. Yeah. Yeah, uh, there that's you a go. Great catch well on the neutral get up. Well, well done, extra. Well played. What a set. What a set. That was. Joe almost with the comeback. Gets the berry. Barely Dude, stuffs that's, it. I mean, oh. if you think about it, right, like, sets like that, it's it's a good learning experience because it's, like, very clear what to do different next time. Mm. Well, as far as that, that last... That, that last Well, that one upbeat, interaction. Yeah, right? that one interaction. If you upbeat, it, it's like, oh, hey, I can just up. Oh, does upbeat not scoop out a berry? Yeah, upbeat scoops out a berry. Oh, he did that earlier I'm in the sure yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I, I believe Joe would have just been confident enough that S-Mash would have killed. Yes. And he's just like, I don't want to dash through and mess up the upbeat. Fair enough. Completely which, which is like, like no. So Joe's the egg. Joe's better than us. We'll, we'll of course, say that. of course. Uh, so we're not. We don't want to, you know, judge his decisions too closely. But it's just like ah, uh, 
yeah. when you're in that kind of situation, surely you, you just pull the trigger on the option yeah, yeah, that yeah. will get the kill. Now that, that that spacing on the platform is a bit awkward possibly, to make it work. Possibly. So I, I don't really snub Joe for, no, no, no. for Joe, making that they, choice. They all played well. They all played well. They all played well.